All right. Call person out with two bucks to guess the Tifa bikini was beta after all, huh? I actually have I actually have some thoughts on that. Yeah. Because it appears it's less of a bait and switch and more of Square Enix is fucking crazy right now. Because the games industry is fucking crazy right now. Eh. Now, the games industry is only crazy in the West right now. That's where all the layoffs are. Solely in the West. No, they're affecting the global market too. Mm -mm, nope. It is. We have several thousand here in the West, but none of them have been announced over in Japan. I thought Square Enix had to uh, lay some people off. Not yet. All right. Not yet. Uh, one week, two bucks. Uh, got a hundred on quiz today. Post nut clarity is strong. Strong yeah. nut. We'll spend for two bucks. Hello, still gonna buy FF Seven R with Tifa recensored. That wasn't no. that wasn't Rebirth. Yeah, it's not. Uh, it's not Rebirth. Rebirth uh, had the same design as Crisis Core. Yeah. Uh, it was uh, fucking... Integrade. Integrade. What a dumbass fucking... What a, what a dumbass subtitle. Yeah. Uh, Integrade has uh, the flashback scenes with Tifa, and they went with her old cowgirl outfit. Yeah. Uh, which is, like, the actual fucking outfit non, non-covered. non Yeah. And... Uh, they decided after four years to go back yeah. and recenter that. Well, it, it, it was, like, two and a half years, but still, point still stands. Uh, they went back and, and censored it. If you want to look at it in a very uh, these people aren't psychos type of way, it's it, it would be because Tifa every other like, every, no every other they don't give a fuck about underage characters. Anyone who says that's a fucking dumbass. Oh, I know. I had uh, to throw it out there so it could be addressed. Yeah. Uh, no. The uh, it's because yeah, in Rebirth and in Crisis Core they both have the new yeah. design, and the only time that that design wasn't used was in the in the flashbacks. Yeah. Well, obviously, it's like just go to Rebirth and change it to be the flashback because. Mm -hmm. Crisis Core is just kind of there. It's a spinoff game. It's not really meant to be like tied into what they're doing now. I'm sorry to say it is critical. It is critical to the plot. It is critical to the plot for OG7 in regards to like new remake stuff. Still critical, actually. Yeah, yeah kind of. Uh, Culper's Knife, five bucks. Thoughts on the Unicorn uh, Overlord localization stuff. Didn't realize Matsumono himself uh, commented on. Also, Virgin Pat was a base pulp fan. I don't know what the fuck a pulp fan is. Uh, he's a professional translator kind of weighing in on localization stuff. Okay. Basically going... Hey, anyone telling you you can't directly translate is a fucking liar. Yeah. Uh, Zealous known for two fake money's lessons. Don't pre-order not even once. Well, that's data. Yeah. I, I think the Final Fantasy stuff right now is more of Square Enix being schizophrenic and they can't choose a side. Where, like, hey, let's show off Tifa's tits all over the place and, and you know, shove them on screen and then in the same breath go, well, let's go back and censor the flashback. They, I think there is a legitimate tug-of-war happening at that company right now. Uh, Vito Fash for two bucks. Free Palestine. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire, fire. Burn it all the way God intended. Yeah. Start with yourself. Yeah, the, the Unicorn Overlord thing, I think, is one of the lesser cases of, of localization. I know people are complaining about it, where it's like, oh, well, it's too Shakespearean and too flowery. It's like, well, they outright said they wanted to style it off of how Final Fantasy Tactics and Fire Emblem were, were like the older Fire Emblem games were localized. So it's kind of trying to sound more Shakespearean. Mm-hmm. I will take that any fucking day over let's shove in dated memes and bad jokes into the game. Yeah. So at the moment, I'm like, yeah, it's not directly what's being said, but nothing nothing that I have seen has been so egregious where I'm like, fuck this game, fuck this game, fuck <laughs> this game. No, the, uh, the, whenever, whenever, uh, localization is bad, it, it is when they're, they're actively changing, uh, the script, like, properly changing characters and how they behave. Yeah. Uh, the biggest, most notorious example of that is Fire Emblem Fates. Yeah, yeah. Entire, That's why I had to clarify the older yeah, Fire Emblem games. Yeah, and entire branches of dialogue are just completely cut out. Because they thought it was because, funny. Yeah, yeah, because they thought it was funny. Uh, Krispy Kreme, 10 bucks. Hey, Lala, I turned 23 today, so here's some money. Got the jeans made by prisoners in a Lego set. Never <laughs> grow up and have fun with little things. Yeah. What jeans are made by prisoners? Are they the diesel jeans? I enjoy the little things. Uh, twin, twin Nick and Poops are always trying to defend Magneto, huh? Trying to excuse it by saying Magneto was a Holocaust forever, ignoring times where he says he wants mutants to rule over humans. Yeah. That was one of the more horrifying things that I found myself in on Twitter. No, well, like, people, people, uh, nowadays don't understand, uh, 
like back in the day, you'd make a story with, with Magneto, and he'd be a bad guy, and the parallel would be like, yeah, just because you suffered a great tragedy doesn't mean that you yourself can't you become the right a to monster. Victimize others, yeah. yeah, a monster that can enact the same tragedy. And these people now are like, no, because someone suffered one bad thing in their life, it's completely and totally justifiable for yeah. them to literally become Hitler too. Yeah, and I will never view them as Hitler well, too. The, the the astonishing part about it is is like I point that out where it's like, hey. Magneto's whole thing is he's fucking Hitler. Like, you know, Red Skull literally tells him to his face, you remind me of myself. Yeah. And I had people going like, did you actually just say the Jewish Holocaust survivor was Hitler? It's like, yes, yes, that is the point of the character. How many, how many, how many Holocaust does it take before you understand? Or we just Sephiroth, but my only complaint about the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, yeah. yeah. I mean, the, the fucking gameplay sucks dick. Yeah, hopefully Rebirth will fix that. But it yeah. looks exactly the same. Looks like it looks uh, the same. Bird for five buckaroos. Dude, they lit himself on fire. Made a post about how uh, there are no civilians in Israel. Simply went out the window. I no. never. If you light yourself on fire, you deserve to fucking die. That's not what pissed me off. What pissed me off was the uh, the post where he was specifically talking about how helicopter. Yeah, it's a helicopter. Uh, he was posting about like U.S. troops that died in Jordan from a terror attack, and he was talking about how that was a good thing. And I'm like. Motherfucker, you are part of the U.S. military. <laughs> he's an IT guy. It's okay. He's, yeah, it's like he's, he's not involved. That's something to where if you didn't light your ass on fire, your friends would have done it fucking for you if they heard what you said about them, you motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, Zoom Desk with Friends had an exciting last few days. One, uh, one at sh- uh, Shutgun uh, at an outreach event in my church hosted and cleaned the inside of my laptop. That's oh, pretty cool. God. Cleaning laptops sucks, Dick. Uh, a couple of times, a few dollars. Magneto is a power fantasy to them. They're fucking rabid. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, they're, they're fucking... You see they're Paul, just dumb. Do you see Paul Heyman from WWE making fun of the guy that set himself on fire? I, I didn't see what he I didn't see what he posted. Uh, I saw people whining that he he's like, oh, he's clout chasing off of someone killing themselves. And I was like, honestly, everyone should be making fun of a dumbass like that. Yeah, it's like, don't don't encourage people to kill themselves for political reasons. Especially not for like political reasons that involve the fucking Middle, uh, middle East. We'll spam two bucks. How many times do I have to tell you this, old man? Yeah, how many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Lights on fire. Uh, surprise! Opening song wasn't this fire. Or fire about the brown. Mm-hmm. Self immolates just much more to the point. Yeah. The music video literally has guys lighting themselves on fire. Uh, one week for two hours. I stab at the E G G William Shakespeare. Nuh-uh. Is that you arguing with Pat on Twitter? Uh, I actually didn't. Uh, that was Pult fan. It is a. Uh... It is better to to avoid arguing with Pat. You always get drugged into some shit. I I grew used to Pat's nonsense, and it was like, you know what? Okay, Pat. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Curls DB for five buckaroos. Uh, which Baldur's Gate three female party member uh, would make the best mother in your opinion? Also, Act three keeps crashing, and it makes me want to self delete for Palestine. <laughs> uh, all of them are horribly fucked up in their own They're ways. All bad people. Fuck them. Probably, All of them. Probably Carlac. She's the only one that seems like a decent person without any bullshit. Because, <laughs> like, Shadowheart worships a sadism cult. Mm-hmm. And uh, Green Chick, I forgot her name, is uh, a Gintiaki. Yeah. We don't trust those We don't trust those types here. We, we just don't. We just don't. No sadism near the baby. Bad. Go in the room. Uh, with Square Enix patching and censorship, should we be worried for FF Rebirth? So far, it doesn't look like it. It just looks like more Final Fantasy VII remake. I mean, uh, I was gonna say Rebirth comes comes with that shit default. Yeah, how's the weather in Kentucky? We were supposed to get like horrible, awful storms, but so far it's like completely blown past us. It wasn't sunny. It wasn't sunny. Uh, yeah. Whenever it's sunny and you get weather like this, uh, that's when the tornadoes come. Yeah. Since it was overcast and dark all day long, we didn't yeah. have to worry about it. Where are the guys lighting themselves on fire? It was the dude who lit himself on fire to protest uh, the Palestine war. Because apparently, supposedly, the U.S. Air Force being used to bomb them. But people dug into his social media accounts, and he was actually just a schizo. Yeah. Got to see you guys streaming. Flu beating my ass. Also, it's really telling us people can't get the idea. Magdino's was literally doing a Hitler with the mutants. It's fucking terrifying. I legit went, oh my god, this is the state we're at. This is what happens whenever... Every single villain in all media that people consume is a sympathetic villain. Yeah. They they can't understand the idea of like, all right, yeah, the the actual sympathetic villain is there and you're not supposed to find him that sympathetic because of the lesson revolving around him, which is he's doing the same shit uh, to others. It's really warm here in central Kentucky, bro. It's, it was 70 fucking degrees today. It was awesome. That's the chair force for you. You got him right. Before the stream started, all the chat refu- failed to do a racism tower. I, I like the guy that compared the the racism tower to the the commie matchbook in, uh, in <laughs> Disco Elysium. 
Uh, that was a good metaphor. Featherless bipedal for ten bucks. Finally got my hands on a black two uh, P two two nine Legion. Six hour only sells them to law enforcement, so I had to find them used. Gonna shoot it tomorrow. Good, nice. good shit, good shit. Uh, Christina V got bullied off of Twitter all because someone accused her of being pro Israel, ignoring she's half Lebanese. Uh, then again, she probably cultivated this. I'm sure. Best part is I have no idea who Christina V is. <laughs> Porsche for five dollars. I watched the 2023 D and D movie recently. I'm having a lot of trouble uh, reconciling it being in the same universe as Baldur's Gate three. Well, it's it's clearly a lot more lighthearted. It's going with more fun D and D compared to how Baldur's Gate three dips into fucking horror D and D. Right. Opening trip and this fire burns. Put a screenshot of Eva's chest and put it on my TV right now. Yeah. I'll put it like on my TV right now. Uh. Though when I was in the Navy, I had a CS uh, who was straight up had autism. Yeah, it makes sense. Oh, yeah. And the Magneto shit on Twitter proves the commies are just Nazis in red, and that uh, they only dislike Hitler because he invaded the USSR. Oh, completely. It is, it is two extremes that wrap back around to the same end goal. That's why Kafka is my favorite villain. Just once, uh, just once, and got to see the world burn. True. Yeah. Dub actress voices Megamine. Well, no wonder I don't know her. <laughs> How far do Marines go for a joke? Uh, you'd have to ask them, but the few that I knew are fucking crazy. Horror D and D is peak though. It is pretty good. I just learned that the cop went over, uh, went crazy over an acorn, huh? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that guy. Yeah. Uh, it a uh, fucking acorn dropped on his on his cruiser while he was uh, walking by it, and he, he dove down behind his cu- uh, cruiser and opened fire on uh, the the suspect he had apprehended. Yeah. Fucking uh, unloaded the entire. I think he unloaded two mags into the yeah. dude. Lulu four five bucks army slash twenty four k jobs because no one wants to do them, and I'm glad the government can't trick us into service anymore. Yeah. It's a double-edged sword on which, on one hand, it's like, yeah, I don't want to go die for fucking foreign wars. On the other hand, if I don't do it, who's going to fill that job? <laughs> uh, listen, okay. There's no good solution here. We have an open border for a reason. She actually voices Darkness. Megamine is Erica Mendez. Mm. I don't watch it in dub. I don't I say, watch it in dub. I think I recognize uh, Mendez. Uh, Bro's like, going to be bitch with that lawsuit. I think he's dead. Yeah, he's fucking dead. <laughs> he's running over here in my part of Cali. <laughs> uh, hey, Loli and Shota, uh, what would be a good gaming TV that has a, has 120 uh, hertz? I've got no fucking clue. I think Samsung makes some good ones, but they're expensive. Uh, should be a set of books heading to the P.O. Box, copy of the Annihilation Book Trilogy. Oh, that should be pretty cool. Oh. Hopefully they won't like hide it in the back room, and then when I ask for it and give them literally the exact information they need to find the package, they go, well, your name wasn't on it, therefore we couldn't find it. It's like, no, no. I gave you my fucking information. I gave you the, the box where it's supposed to fucking go, and now you're telling me because my name wasn't on you couldn't find it? You didn't even know my name until you grabbed it. You didn't know my name until you gave it to me. I think Eric Mended voiced Ryoko uh, from Kill a Kill. Mm. Cop missed every shot like XCOM. <laughs> <laughs> See a trailer for Horizon American Saga Western from Kevin Costner? I've not. I'm a Z for two bucks or two fake monies. Alex, Sam, or Clover? Which was the dark-skinned one? I think that was Alex. It was either Alex or Sam. I also go with the dark-skinned one. Yeah, she was good. You know they're bringing that show back? Yeah, somehow. Yeah. Curls DV, two bucks, top hat pick of Winston makes him look less ugly. Yeah. He got mad at me and pissed on my jacket, though, for <laughs> that. But it was worth it. It was worth it. <laughs> it was so worth it. Sam is the dark-skinned one. Okay. Favorite type of horror? Lovecraft's pretty nice. I like a lot of it. Most of it, actually. How about no more foreign wars and the military fixes their issues? Like, no more mold in the barracks, at least. No, never gonna happen, chat. Yeah, quite literally never gonna happen. We will, we will recruit worms into the military before we ever, ever get rid of the mold. Why did you name all my love? Like, how'd you come up with it? At first, I thought it was just funny, and I thought about it for two seconds. Now it's actively at a point of, like, alright, I've seen so many people just completely shut off and refuse to listen to a single word because they see that. And now I'm like, you know what? This is probably the the best username I could have thought up because uh, the Disco Elysium video especially has shown it where it's like, oh, people will actually just plug their ears and not listen to anything you have to say if there's like one detail they don't like. Yeah. That's on Worms. 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 Alex the Dark Skin Tomboy. Sam is the Nerdy Redhead. Clover is the Blonde Bimbo. I refuse to believe you. Yo, even Neanders is clowning on Uki from Niji Sanchi. <laughs> yeah, 
And show it to our brother draw you giving birth to Link Arles, Fear Hunter watching an abject war and quit review shouts. Wear the lefty shirt, show to wear the lefty shirt. Cold first time two bucks. Why do you think Tifa stuff is due to Square Enix infighting? Because Final Fantasy VII Remake has not been a consistently censored game at all. If anything, it's one of the more horny modern AAA games we've had. Uh, look at Tifa's design when you go to the fucking uh, brothel quest line. You know that quest line. Uh, Scarlet, she like she has like a fucking revealing ass shirt and her tits are out. Uh, they still keep in the part where where you can go into the various brothels. Uh, they make a joke that you know Cloud is molested by a uh, a fucking madam at one of the brothels. Like it's a thing where it was leaning more onto the fan service, which I thought was like kind of surprising. So hearing about like oh well they went back and censored uh, integrate, it's like that's fucking weird, especially after four years. And now with with rebirth with them showing off the bikini scene, it's like they can't seem to decide. Do they want to censor everything? Do they do they not want to? What's going on at Square Enix? They Excellent. Wanna, they want to have everything. Yeah. Hawks in Texas are growing like orcs. Jesus Christ. Yeah, they always have been. To find uh, Disco Pretentious, but at this point, uh, your taste and mine differ. You like Pretentious Soviet Wizard of Oz? <laughs> Disco fans be putting their fingers in the air and go, la, 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 I can't hear you. Some of them outright admitted that's what they did. I was going to say, like, yeah, they just outright do. Maybe we saw the issue streaming it to oh, my lollipop. No, fuck them. No, fuck them. But- Hearing about how another Smash player that was shitting on Xenoblade yeah. got arrested for being a pedophile. Almost, almost two years ago, almost two years ago to the day, there was a dude uh, that was like, "Oh man, I hope Xenoblade, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles Three isn't some, uh, some like over the top, uh, uh, CP simulator." And someone's like, "Yeah, I, I, I'm putting, I'm putting the money down right now. In like two to three years, you're, you're gonna, gonna get outed, outed as yeah. a fucking child predator." And the guy's like, I "Man, you better hope to God I never see you in the street. I don't, I don't take kindly to being grouped in with pedophiles." And almost two years. Years to the fucking day, uh, someone put out a fucking uh, a a Twitter post. We're like, hey, here's all my interactions with this guy. Here's here's uh, yeah. like screenshots from our DMs and stuff. Uh, he's he's uh, like into some really weird shit. And I've seen photos of children on his phone in his porn folders. Yeah. And I've gotten into you know I've gotten into it with him, and that's why I'm outing him. Yeah. Uh, Nexus B or oh, Nexus Eight for five bucks. Was a gaming industry eventually abandoned SJW pandering? Maybe. Who we're knows? About to, we're about to lose our, our gaming industry, homie. Yeah. Shit's about to be a homebrew. Uh, Mark nine nine for two bucks. So, bros, I'm just uh, I'm tired. So, just remember to drink some water. Yeah, we do have water. Space Monkey zero eight nine nine for dollar. Palestinian protester was just mad he couldn't have Canadian health care. Yeah. Uh, what's with Tekken players being icky about fucking fan service? That's another one. They're also bitching about Tekken, even though Tekken is like also equally horny. Yeah. Like, as I've seen, one of us has seen his costumes just her in a bikini yeah. jumping around. Well, there used to be a lot more bikinis in, the, in yeah. the series before we got to Tekken 7 and 8. One week for two bucks, they have brothels in FF7 Rebirth? No, mm-hmm. the original. The FF7 well, remake. In, in 7 Remake, yeah. Yeah, because you had the Once quest you line where you had, to infil- you had to infiltrate the Don's mansion. Yep, yep. So remember how the one Evo guy who got cut from the Japanese uh, ladies got uh, outed for being a pedo? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, beautiful Vanish for, for five bucks. The people granting about people making memes about Aaron Bushel are the same ones laughing at 9-11 jokes. I love me some uh, hypocrisy. Oh, yeah. It's because they, they're they're dumbasses that agree with them. Yeah, Disco Leasing fans rather r- suspend my Red account to watch your video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that was... I will never forget that. Like, I, I sat, like, the, the, the craziest thing is you're you're way, way more respectful than, like, I would have ever been. And you're like, yeah. no, I just want you to, like, give it, give it a shot. And, like, everyone's just being a massive fucking yeah. cunt to you. And I was I was like, nah, dog. I would have yeah. been fucking, I would have dropped that shit in there with, with a snide comment about, hey, everyone's a fucking cunt. Well, that's the thing. It's like, you know, they thought that guy was me. They yeah, actually, they yeah, they actually they, thought he, enough. yeah, they that they thought that guy was mean and was like, "Stop showing your shitty video." And I'm just sitting there like, <laughs> by the time I checked it, it was already removed. Yeah. So I'm like, "What the fuck, dude?" It's, it's like my my brother in Christ. Within the first uh, within the first like five minutes, you should know goddamn well I don't have a Reddit account. <laughs> yeah. They kept the cross-dressing scene FF7 remake. That's what I mean. Like, yeah. Like, well, I mean, listen, chat. Uh, cross-dressing is safe. You know better. Is it though? It is. It is, sadly. You want to know why? Because it makes your character transcoded. <laughs> Russian comic book geek for five bucks. Hey, boys. Uh, Berserk Lost Children comic dub is finally done. Nice. Well, not five bucks. Uh, eight fake monies. Yeah. Eight fake monies. Think uh, Mikan has a chance of being a pedophile after calling out Lollicons. Do you not uh, see what happened immediately after that? Yeah. Well, he's he's a uh, he's already a hypocrite at the very least because he oh, yeah. he he made that video which is essentially just clout chasing, uh, being like, yeah, no, uh. 
all these shit is is the equivalent of CP, and then people are like, then what the fuck do you call you you yourself personally animating uh, a fucking video of a dude making out full on tongue action with his son, like? And both of them are real, actual people who could find it. Yeah, well, like, what the fuck do you consider that? Is that not CP all of a sudden? A uh, couple now, ten bucks. Really gonna show how many people are doing super shady stuff behind the scenes and how they're uh, being hidden by convenient allies that only yeah. out them if, if they themselves are slight or pissed off. Yeah. yeah. Your reviews are awesome. Berserk is better than the, uh, after the reviews. <laughs> Berserk is better after the reviews. Oh, no. Disco Lazy and Video doing well with the views. Yeah, yeah. I'm just happy people are watching and kind of going like, okay, so it's not just comedy game. Yeah. Uh, I was not that guy, but you thought I was him. That's much of him I am. <laughs> Tom Brady video go- could be classified as CP. That's the thing. Yeah. It was taken no, that's down. That's the thing. It, it was by, by Facebook. They classified it as yeah. CP and took yeah. it down. Yeah, he uploaded it to Instagram, and uh, Facebook TOS deemed it as CP, so they took they literally took it down. Yeah. So he, he created something that a website considered to be CP. He thinks he can get up, and he... You see the new so- uh, Shogun series? I have not. No. Is it any good? No. I can't, you can't just make horror be on comprehension. I am legitimately convinced. So everyone knows that there's a network of, of like bigger channels going around, and they all share ideas and talk to each other and coordinate and all that shit. And the Vosh thing kicked that into overdrive with how many, how many channels specifically are, are banging the lolly as shit drum. I am convinced... That there's like an agency or some kind of bigger figure giving them the advice of yeah if you if you talk about how much you hate Lolly you'll 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 skyrocket man you'll go up there man because like when fucking me Canyon out of nowhere talks about that shit it's like no one fucking asked yeah and you have the shit with Tipster where I know where he he is literally like throwing throwing his DVDs in a fucking trash can <laughs> going like I can't watch this anymore was screaming that, at his wife was that going hipster yeah oh my god what a fucking idiot screaming at his wife going like yeah I know you like Pokemon but you can't play that shit anymore <laughs> and it's like okay wh- what the fuck is this like pretending to care thing yeah now uh, if, if you if you didn't care beforehand then that uh, that, that says a lot about you yeah Matt for two bucks did Bushol try to do a Nova Shenron cosplay yeah 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 couple percent for ten bucks gotta love all the people they're like why you care Tifa was 15 in that scene uh, when they had no issue with uh, it being in the game for years also Nexus immediately took down the mod restoring it yeah yeah. Uh, that was that was the thing Imme- uh, immediately when I brought that up people were like yeah at least we're gonna have mods to keep it there and I was like <laughs> no you won't oh, you're stupid as fuck if you believe that the, the the funniest part about it is is a guy going like man that's bullshit we need an alternative it's like wh- why are you, why are you saying this after like the twentieth time yeah why is it the twentieth time but there should already be a, be an alternative yeah work for five bucks Aaron Bushel loves show tunes Lord of the Rings left his cat behind and peed while sitting down <laughs> uh, should any opinion on Ed and Street Fighter Six now that he's out uh, I didn't get to play I didn't get to play him today I was uh, busy doing other stuff but uh, uh, I don't I haven't seen anything about him but I heard that um, what's his face. Uh, JP got nerfed into the fucking ground in this patch, and uh, eat shit, JP players. Suck a dick. <laughs> also, defending Chris Tyson when his lolly tweets got dug up. Also, read Dominion Tank Police if you, if you can. It's a fun read. Okay. But yeah, no. They will They will 100% just protect people that they like. Uh, oh, yeah. The, the fact they turn the entire conversation into being about lolly shit and not the fact that, yes, Vosh is a pedophile. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it, it says all that needs to be said. Dr. Homicide for Joyce. Oh, status on the disco vid? That is on Disco Vid? I'm, you know what? No, it, yeah, no. No. Ironically enough, Reds like the, uh, Reds like the Disco or Gundam ones, uh, are very bigoted. Very yeah. bigoted. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, uh, I've never gone to the Disco Elysium subreddit because, uh, I mean, you can probably fucking imagine it's infested by a bunch of, a bunch of commies. Oh, yeah. But after I saw that dude get, get, uh, banned, nuked from orbit, I was like, well, let me let me take a look at some other posts through here, and it's all just a bunch of massive pieces of shit. Yeah, like it's not just your like the the dude that posted your video. It's every fucking post is just cunts, just yeah. genuinely bad people. Yeah, uh, curls TV five bucks. Uh, all the writers spurging about your vid was funny. That English major totally owned you after watching less than five minutes. Yeah. Also for life. Yeah, I can see why he's why he was an English major. Texas P twelve for five bucks. You've watched Lonesome Dove miniseries. That's Lonesome interesting. Dove. After Tekken 8 came out, Super Fire 6 and MK1 ceased to exist. I don't know, Super Fire 6 is still still doing great. Yeah. Uh, Mortal Kombat 1 has kind of ceased to exist because it came out and it, it wasn't good. Yeah. Totally worth it. Yeah. Well, the the funny part about it is, like, you know, I was looking at some of the other posts. Like, some people, the, the people that were like, hey, I actually think this raised some good points were, like, downvoted to oblivion mm-hmm. and, like, hidden. Yeah. Uh, like, 
the mods even flat out said, well, he didn't address the new news from, you know, about the studio closures and was praising the People Make Games documentary. So I'm just going to get rid of this. And it's like, did you not see the end of the video? Yeah. The answer <laughs> was no. The answer is no. It's like you didn't finish it and then you wanted to make a judgment from there. So, you know, there you go. There you go. Average Reddit user equals sociopath. Yeah. Uh, like, that's the thing. Uh, uh, they're like small little communities of, of, of people and you either get the good ones that are like memes and people just having fun most of the time or are completely dead and yeah. uh, in turn are people that have gone fucking insane by themselves and they're like the the Batman subreddits. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's just, it's all over the place. It doesn't help that, um what's it called? Uh, I don't know what to call them, but there's like uh, a small, like a handful of mods that are like genuinely the head mods of hundreds yeah. upon hundreds upon hundreds of, of Reddit uh, subreddits. Uh, don't forget, tomorrow's a 15 crossover event. I've uh, been leveling up Monk to keep pace with Roberta. 65 <laughs> compared to your uh, dark level question mark. I swapped to level up Arcanum to Summoner. Okay. Then so, you know, quickly, every right-wing SJ, anti-SJW channel suddenly became anti-Lolly. Flashcast started complaining about Lollies despite the fact that RGE was a common host years back. Yeah, I say, that, that's why I think, like, okay, this is, this is not an organic opinion. This is a talking point being shared around. Oh, yeah. Where it's like, no, 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 you don't give a fuck. You don't care. Because, yeah, people people who dig into this find out, like, okay, you are hiding shit that is way, way fucking worse, or it's like, no, you're doing this for fucking money, mm -hmm. you know? It, it, it's a thing where it's so blatantly obvious that everyone can kind of smell it, and, and that is why people get pissed off when they hear about it. Yeah. It's not the fact of, like, well, how dare you get in the way of my fun. It's, nigger, I know you don't believe this. I know you are lying to me. You are putting on a fucking character and trying to tell me that you actually believe in this shit. Why would you bury the spoon, Lolly? What the fuck? I don't. That's just ha that's just what happens. You're a sick fuck. See, Trump beat Haley uh, minutes into her home state. Yeah. Ever watched the Ballad of Buster Scruggs? Western anthology of various gunslingers. Yeah, it's by uh, the Coen Brothers. It was really good. Yes, it is. Definitely some kind of bread tube agency that I'm pretty sure is connected to the CIA or NSA. Well, yeah. you had the one guy we talked about him before. It was like Philosophy Tube or something where he just straight up is paid by the British government. Yeah. Well, uh, whenever it comes to people like critical and whatnot, they're uh, they're explicitly hired by agencies. Yeah. By uh, so someone brought up earlier, it's like oh, uh, like they're getting paid by uh, by Disney, and it's like uh, sort of, kind of the the agency that does all their their marketing and blah blah, blah all the all the behind the scenes stuff. Uh, and it's like set up their meetings with everyone else. Uh, that's the same. That's the same group that uh, uh, handles Disney's talents. Oh well, there you so, go. So yeah. Uh, technically, Square Enix has layoffs. Life is Strange Studio just cut twenty percent of the staff. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, that, that on a technicality, you are correct. Yeah. MK1 was really great in the beginning, but failed to keep the momentum going, and that sucks, especially from a longtime fan. It was yeah. not great at the beginning. I'm sorry. I, I got to put my foot down. It was not. Watch Descent, uh, Decent Descent's clip of you shitting on the commentary community and you bringing up uh, them ignoring Keffels and Vosk like and Lolly on Twitter. This was nearly a year ago. Yeah. Yeah. S-State, this is not a new thing. That's why That's why when Mudahar was trying to come out and go like, well, I'm looking into Cowboy Ranch and Maybe what not. you've done, trying to like puff it up as a big thing, people went, the fuck are you talking about looking into it? Mm -hmm. Like that, that, that was a moment I genuinely was like, good, yeah, actually actually rip people's ass for this like you know you didn't just look into this no you copy and pasted what kiwi farms had already done yeah uh spaz space for our some retard uh retarded white apologists trying to argue that pulse dude isn't racist towards sand monkeys he excused the dead goat line with well goat smell and the all you look the same line with all the game models oh, the look pulse, the same the pulse yeah dude. yeah because you had running with scissors trying yeah. to go well pulse dude, dude isn't transphobic and then I, they go but he hates everybody that I, literally I'm glad, means i'm glad everyone everyone else had the same the same joke that i was gonna make uh so i didn't have to get my account banned by adding running running with scissors yeah because i was uh, i was going to take the the picture of the tranny that uh that did the school shooting and was killed yeah i was, I was, gonna, take, I was gonna take that picture and put uh put the fucking pulse dude shirt on the on the the yeah. cctv footage of them uh, and I was gonna send it to him. I was like, "Hey, hey, guys! I, I love your new Postal Dude design. This is awesome." Uh, but everyone else beat me to it. They didn't. They yeah. didn't. They just sent them the fucking picture. But I was like, yeah. uh, "Same joke." Running with scissors has no balls. They, I, yeah. I think they, they know they haven't in a, in a very yeah. long time. They know that guys like Civi kind of prop them up, who mm -hmm. are very, very much not that type of edgy. Yeah. And they are trying to court that new fan base, not understanding that, dude. It doesn't matter how hard you try; they're gonna come after you. Yeah. Uh, James Rhodes for 10 Buckaroos. 
uh, Lolly, not regretting getting uh, Helldivers 2. It's a great game. The uh, company outright stated it will uh, remain apolitical. Uh, and blue check marks to losing lose their collective shit. Yeah. Oh, it's fantastic. Uh, people went to their Discord and uh, they're they're like asking for uh, LGBT flags yeah, and shit like LGBT that. Yeah, asking for LGBT flags. Uh, well, there's uh, they're asking for LGBT flags and those people were were banned. And then there are the people that like started shitting on them and and like peacocking, being like, oh, this is this is our group. This is this is yeah. our group now. And they banned them because like, no, it's a fucking video game. No nuts. Yeah. Carl's DB two bucks. Stay quiet and you won't get caught. Uh, too dumb to do this. Yeah. 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 Uh, Lawrence Stroud for dollar dudes that bitch about Lolly are eventually always proven to be pedos. How long till Meek Canyon gets his laundry aired? Also removed his Tom Brady video and has been sending out copyright strikes and people that out him. <laughs> Fuck you! Oh my god! Fuck you! You don't let him forget. Don't you... let him forget by his own admission. Holy he's... shit! You by his fucking own admission, pussy. He's a pedophile. You fucking pussy. Yeah, they they had uh, Postal Two had Milo. Listen, like uh, uh, more than all of that shit that it had, the first the first Postal game had a mission. Uh, where you go and shoot up a fucking school, an yeah. elementary school. Like, come on. You yeah. can't get edgier than that. Call person out for two bucks. Hashtag Kiwi Farms is right. Also, Postal pulling the skull girls. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I've seen Primal Planet, Cave in Metroidvania. That sounds cool. Oh, uh, I think I saw someone talk about it. Uh, I mean, on, on top of that, I think the social media manager for, for the Running With Scissors account is a, is a tranny. Uh, which, you know, that would, yeah. that would, that would make I know sense Mike why J they're, helps. they're actively fucking yeah. fighting people on Twitter. I know Mike J helps with the account. Oh, God. Disco leaves him subreddit calling Helldivers fans morons, but I understand the fashion satire extremely ironic. <laughs> extremely <laughs> ironic. <laughs> hey, uh, grown any turnips lately? Uh, Sadie Inward for a dollar. Uh, singing, come with me and you'll be in a world of <laughs> auto rock asphyxiation. Uh, we'll begin with a spin traveling in the world of bondage and sadomasochism. What we'll see will defy abstentation. There is no sex I know that compares with asphyxiation. Asphyxiation. I really don't mm -hmm. get why most YouTubers have a, a hard time keeping most of, most of the shit to themselves. Who knows, chat? Who knows? Yeah. Well, I mean, it it's a thing where if you know that shit could be used against you, if you know that shit's going to make you look bad, if you know you have a glaring fucking hole, like, even before the Tom Brady thing, people were pointing out to me, Ken, dude, you're literally following a, a fucking lolly VTuber yeah. and have collabed with her before. Yep, yep. And you still do this shit? It's like, all right, you got a script. You got a script from somebody, and you were being told to say this shit. And you are too much of a wuss to just fucking admit that. To just go, I'm only doing this for the money. I don't actually care. All it, no. All it takes, all it takes is, is you being a fucking hypocrite. Yep. Being a hypocrite once. Yeah. And that's all it takes for people to start digging. Um, you can't hear what's going on there, big guy. I just saw that, that Tom Brady video disappear. What's going on, guy? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Bug for five bucks. All the Magneto was right. People conveniently forget forgetting in one animated show he was imprisoning mutants in his gulag and letting Sentinels glass their country just so they could yeah. start a war. Genosha was an inside job. Yeah, it literally was literally. an inside job. Uh, so so we played Midnight Suns. I think it was last stream uh, that we did. We played Midnight Suns. Uh, so uh, on that stream, I talked about how there's a shirt that says Cyclops was right on it, and I was like, oh, that's the equivalent of saying Hitler. You know, Hitler did nothing wrong. Uh, and and uh, I, 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 I like had a good time with it. Uh, I played more Midnight Suns uh, post that, and I unlocked another shirt chat, another shirt, and this shirt says Magneto was right. So we we're, we're, we stepped up and we just straight straight up went to no Hitler was right. Mick Canyon unfollowed and blocked the Lolly VTuber. Oh, God, what a fucking wuss. He's a pussy. What a fucking pussy! Jesus Christ, dude! Yeah. Magnetism so can't melt still beams. So not getting a Helldiver's last service equals you don't actually own it. Mm -hmm. You know what? Very fair. That is that's a hundred percent true. Yeah. Uh, they Look have... what's going on with the crew right now. Yeah, yeah. The crew, the the crew is um... crew's getting shut down. I was gonna say I, I don't know if it's getting shut down or if it has been shut down. It's getting shut down into March. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why Ross Scott's trying to plan like a whole protest where you can actually like, uh, I guess if you're in Europe, you can call certain government bureaus where it's like a board of economics or something like that mm -hmm. to tell them that hey a company is blatantly violating consumer rights yeah, that makes that makes sense i wish we had that yeah the crew it was a live service game by ubisoft where you could drive around all of america yeah. it was a racing game yep it was cool uh seeing all these idiots fumble uh quote one of my jams uh back in the day and i see them cry yeah it makes me smile yeah mold man cometh Bold man cometh. One of the guys who said, uh, wanting uncensored Tifa makes you a pedo head Futaba hentai. When I called it out, he said my stuff was fine because she ain't photorealistic like remake Tifa. Yeah. <laughs> Every fucking time! Like, like I said, like, 
All you, all you need to, all you need in order to understand why anyone would have the same positions as us is open your fucking eyes. Yeah, open your eyes and look at the amount of people that get outed for this shit. Yeah, uh, just watch your Disco Elysium video. Made my favorite take on the game yet. Yeah, yeah. As stated, uh, I am not the intended audience whatsoever for the developers. If you believe the the zeitgeist about it, yeah. I was gonna say if 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 you believe what everyone says, however, yeah. it's very easy to to tell everyone's fucking wrong. Especially when you look into what happened with the studio and you go, "Oh, these were not." Mm -hmm. This was not Le United Communist Developers. Ironically, that's something more along the lines of Chinese Room. Yeah, yeah. No, didn't much like them. Nope, and they have not put out a single good game. <laughs> have you seen Linkar having a mental breakdown over the channel Awesome Shutting Down? Yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, he had a mental breakdown over it. Uh, he's like, they never, they never call or talk to me, and everyone's like, yeah, I fucking wonder why. Yeah, I wonder why, dude. I, I wonder fucking why, because you called Doug Hitler yeah. like four times over and over again, very loudly, very publicly. Fucking piece of shit. Who will win, uh, Charlie from Hasman Hotel or Judge Holden Blood Meridian? Hey, that depends, that depends. Are musicals allowed? I know, right? So is streaming harder than working a 9 to 5? Of course, chat. Of course. I mean, my, my back kind of hurts. The, the... I can't pour my gamer subs into the water, I'll spill it on the bed. Uh, yeah, and then he'd get hit. The the best thing about that is is no one no one's ever able to break it down to what it actually is and it's just yeah. people wanting to be like no my life is harder than yours yeah because uh, because you had uh, Mudahar was like yeah no uh, streaming isn't actually hard and it's like good take Mudahar and he's like try uh, try working in IT and it's like bad take Mudahar <laughs> very bad very bad once again once again just like every, everything he says two steps back two steps back mm -hmm. two steps back because it's the thing where like well it's, it's all he knows yeah it, it's the thing where like no. The act of streaming itself is not hard. No, not at all. What we are currently doing is not hard. No. The hard part of being a streamer is everything around the streaming. Basically, it's like running a media company. It's uh, the hard part. The hard part about streaming is uh, is the the luck factor. <laughs> That's the, the only hard thing about it. The luck factor, getting the right deals, getting to know the right people. I mean, that's the hard part. That's it's it's like running a media company. You're trying to do that by yourself. That's the hard part of it. And then the the it hard... still doesn't apply to Hassan because his fucking yeah. uncle runs everything. Yeah, his, his uncle runs everything. They got people to do everything for him. Uh, and the hard the hard is in like twenty fucking quotation marks. Yeah. You work in a warehouse currently. Oh man, it must be so hard to sit in a chair and play games most of the day. Right. Damn, the stupid Vegeta fumbled harder than you. It's so it's so easy. He he does nothing but fumble. Yeah, it's great. He, it's actually been nothing but fumble over and over again. Ever since the completionist thing, people have just been kind of going like, "Man, you fumble. You fumble." See the comic tweet? Uh, someone tried to say piracy is the problem uh, with shows being canceled. I, yeah. I like that, that that tweet got uh, uh, <laughs> the the one noted. The the one time all of Twitter united to just go, no you fuck it isn't. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm really hoping. So um, I know you've seen it, but uh, chat pro, chat might not know. Uh, Nintendo came out and they're suing Yuzu, which is the Switch emulator. Yeah. Uh, they're suing the company. Uh, and they're gonna try and they're gonna, they're gonna try and sue them out of out of existence. That, that's what it is. Uh, but they're suing them because they had um, they had tracked over one million uh, uh, people that had pirated Breath of the Wild. I think it was one million times. Uh, and and they're like, yeah, we're gonna use that to to say that uh, we can yeah. substantiate the damages and say that you cost us a million a million sales. Uh, and that's what they're gonna use in the in the courtroom, which. Yeah. Uh, I need to remind chat. I need to remind the courtroom. Uh, an emulator does not provide any anything anything you need to to play a game other than what would be the equivalent of the system. Yep. It is facilitating you playing games. They are not providing games to you. Yep. Which is which is legal and has been defended like over twenty times in court. Uh, Media goes for two twenty two. You cucks, I have work tomorrow. Anyway, here's some money. Show to you a fig. I'll kill you. I'll blow your fucking brains out. Uh, Dr. Thomas had five bucks. My, my brother's trying to become a streamer, but I think he'll become the next Wings of Redemption. If he gets big, he's easy to get mad at games. <laughs> and most people get mad at games. You can get mad at games. Just remind him... You're not don't, allowed to say racial slurs. Don't get angry at the chat. No, fuck chat. I know the sad part about uh, Magneto Discourse, uh, was, and we're going to keep hearing about that when X-Men 97 comes out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A uh, couple of for ten dollars. Uh, one of the accounts that said Tifa's fifteen in that scene got cut off for liking Naruto Yaoi, and their response was, "Can't uh, you No, I was not kidding. I'm all for the late term abortions now. Yeah. Yeah. 
So all you're getting angry at famous people being a bunch of hypocrites. Not like this happen. Uh, this shit doesn't happen and, uh, and get exposed every day. But yeah. no, that's my point. This shit happens literally every fucking day. Someone gets out for this shit. It's the famous people trying to jump on the bandwagon as though it's not gonna blow up in their face. It's like we just talked about the the dude who got out for Xenoblade. The the guy that super chat literally just talked about. Yeah. It's like it, it is a very common problem where people just outright lie about their opinions on this. Yeah. And then they get outed and they look like fucking retards and they just double down. Yeah. Like, they, they never have a moment of self-reflection and go, well, why did I just do that? Why what? did I just, you know, pretend to have this opinion and call people pedophiles for mm -hmm. shit that I myself have done? They never do that. Yeah. It's just doubling down. Yep. Uh, Nintendo has sued uh, emulators before and lost. Yes, they did. Uh, they, they've sued emulators multiple times, uh, uh, if I recall correctly, and uh, they've lost every single time. Here's the thing, though. Uh, emulation, as an art form... Uh, all it takes is losing once. Mm -hmm. if, if emulation ever loses in a court of law a single time, it is done. You will. It is done. It is completely and totally over. So you need to, if you ever get to get a hint of something going on, like uh, like the shit that happened with Vic, where it's like uh, malicious compliance from a lawyer, uh, you yourself better step in and do something. Yeah. Beautiful flash for two dollars. Boycott the Knuckles TV show for Palestine on fire. 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 Uh, did you see? Did you see the Paramount? I think it was Paramount Plus uh, commercial for their merger. No, what? No, uh, it's the only commercial that I've watched that's gotten me to laugh in like the last 10, 15 years. Um, but it, it's got a bunch of a bunch of their different properties uh, that they got, uh, and they're all just interacting with uh, with each other. And I forget I forget what the exact crux of it is, but you have um, you have Patrick Stewart uh, taking Hey Arnold. Like a like a like a fucking football, and you have uh, three days grace playing while Paramore Paramore is trying to shit talk Patrick Stewart, oh and he's like, "Shut up, or I'm gonna hit you!" And he chucks Hey Arnold like a fucking football, and he just smacks into the side of a of a of a, of a mountain, and he's like, "Oh well, that sucks. I can't believe that that messed up." And then he looks at Peppa Pig, and he's like, "We can try it again." <laughs> it's like a fucking shit post of a commercial. It's fucking great. It's great. Oh yeah, it's great. It's Creed. It's Creed. Not three days. This <laughs> is Creed. I've seen that one. It, it it's funny. I'm not gonna lie. It's funny. It made me laugh. I actually work retail. I prefer to guide people around the store over serving uh, sorting cat and dog food. <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm -mm. yeah. Move it, football head. Yeah, that head was cringe. That that ad was funny. If you're gonna waste my time by shoving an ad for something I'm never gonna have in front of me, you better make it entertaining. Uh, Matthew Pickard for five fake minus guys. I have a great idea. Harry Dubois and Ryan build art cop ultra liberal. Also, I hope the non commies from Zom make another game. Yeah, yeah, uh, they yeah. they they are. Um, that is possible. You like you can, ma you yeah. can max out whatever you want. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they they are working on another game right now. It's just uh, f four of their projects were canceled, which sucks yeah. because uh, one of them was an expansion for for just. Excuse me, Disco Elysium. One was the sequel for Disco Elysium. Uh, one of them was a game, uh, was a sci-fi game set in the yeah. future, uh, which I would love to see. Like they're good, they're good at making games. I would love to see all that stuff. What are you guys' favorite snacks, desserts when you visit to Japan? Unironically, melon bread. I'd melon fucking bread kill for. It was. I would fucking kill for. Uh, there's these little like chocolate covered, uh, not pretzel things. They look like little mushrooms. Yeah, some of them look like mushrooms where they had, like, the chocolate was the mushroom cap and then the, like, cookie. It was like a little cookie, yeah. Yeah, the cookie was, was the stem of it. Uh, I forget what those are called, but those are my favorite. Like, I, I bought, like, I bought, like, 20 of them and brought them back with me so that I could feed my fa I could feed some of them to my family. Keep them in the stalls. Yeah. Uh, Alex, for two fake monies, uh, who better says Venom while you showed it? Let's hear it. Venom! It's all about that Venom! I'm not gonna lie, a sci-fi CRPG would slap. Yeah! You like Picari Sweat? I drank a shitload of that. Yeah, Picari Sweat was uh, was okay. Did you try any Costello cakes in Japan? I heard they're amazing. Uh, I don't think we did. I don't know. I don't know. It's capitalism's fault, DE fans. Yeah. Ever watch those Mecha opening we draw videos? I did not. The what? I don't know. <laughs> Melon bread? Yeah, it's uh basically a cake. Well, not a little cake. It's it's a little a little bun. A little little bun. Yeah. And they cook it, uh, it's covered in sugar, and it has like a, a melon flavoring to it. It's really, really good. You can get them with other flavors too. We had yeah. like three three different flavors when we were there. Uh, we got all of ours from, from literally just a convenience store. You can, uh, they have uh, street vendors, of course, that you can get them from. 
Also, that Gemini AI thing, honestly, uh, if people thought it blackwashing people like finding fathers is bad, wait till your opinions on pedophiles. Yeah. Be bad. Well, yeah, they, they announced that Google has lost like billions of dollars off the announcement of that. And it's pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, how's the new Ultimate Spider Man run going? Uh, we, To my knowledge, we only have one issue. And, uh, I mean, it was a good issue. Yeah. But whenever this next one comes out, it's going to be better. You try melon soda? It was pretty good. It was pretty good. I liked it. Did we it. try melon soda? I did. Because they, they served it in the vending machine at the hotel. When, oh, then yeah, probably did. Yeah. Uh, Nick Springer for her 20 fake mice. Works as a game dev. The state of the games industry currently is hugely depressing. No game released in the last six months has impressed me. What kind of game do you think gaming needs? A fun game, chat. That's all you need. A fun game. Listen, the most impressive thing about Helldivers 2 is the fact it was made on a, on a program that is dead. Like, deader yeah. than dead. Issue 2 is already out. Ooh. Oh, is it? Okay. Uh, I knew this. I knew the... Uh, it had to have come out recently. Like, within the last two or three days. Uh, because it was, um, uh, the only thing that came out about it was leaks before that. You watch Belco Experiment? Very mid. Very mid. Yeah. But, like, a small centralized Battle Royale, though, even though it's not Battle Royale. Even though they didn't do anything interesting with that. They gave him guns <laughs> in the first five minutes. <laughs> the best part of Battle Royale is that scene where the guy tries to, quote-unquote, threaten the teenagers, and they yeah. just fucking shoot his ass. Yeah, it's great. And he's like, good job, kiddo! Melon flavor sweets are the best. Try melon ice cream. That does sound good. Mm, did not have that. I heard that Nanners is talking about uh, Uki. Uh, she shouldn't throw any stones in a glass house. If, uh, uh, if not, someone will throw her in bed making a pomp sound and throw some sticky stuff on her. Now I get this dumb question a lot, but I recently finished Miora's Berserk. I want to know if the new chapters are good enough to keep up with. I don't know if I can move on. Yeah, it's good. Keep up with yeah. it. Square Enix makes Gaijin Entertainment make uh, the War Thunder devs and owners look like they care about their fans. Oof. Issue issue five cover of Ultimate Spider Man got leaked. Oh nice. Oh. Yeah, they, they the the covers have been leaking way more uh, way more than everything else. Cold person nine twenty bucks is the reason why Helldivers Lethal Company and Helldivers have, have made bank. Uh people want fun games, simple as also there are uh are alt modding yeah, sites, you all just gotta put in the work to find them, convenience of the enemy and freedom. That is true. Yeah. There there are uh usually that's where I end up having to find good mods. Yeah. Um Honestly, the fact there are agencies that help YouTube or streamers really go show how YouTube and Twitch have fallen, especially if they coordinate certain topics. Oh, yeah. Oh, we flat out know that happens. Yeah. Uh, 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 to, to go back to the, the people want fun games, uh, it's more than that. You, you can see you can see that uh, games like Fortnite get really, really popular uh, because they're free, mm -hmm. and then other games follow that same free market strategy, uh, but they're following a trend. They're not setting anything. They're just following a trend, so they'll never manage to be as, as successful. Uh, something like Helldivers 2, you have a you have a very fun premise that you're you're going for, but it's not seventy dollars. Helldivers yeah, no. 2 isn't releasing at seventy dollars; it's releasing at forty dollars. Yeah. Something like Power World. I had to pay sixty because I bought like the, you're the an animal. big edition. You're a monster. Yeah. Uh, something like Power World is is able to blow up the way that it did because it's copying a, a, a fun enough formula yeah. and putting a, a a little bit of a spin on it, just enough, like just enough of a spin on it that people would be interested to give it a shot, and it's not. Seventy fucking dollars. It's yeah. thirty dollars. The game devs do not realize. Well, Release your game, game for thirty dollars. It will be a success. I promise you. I, I say game devs, but I mean like ga game companies at the moment do not understand how bad the seventy dollar markup will fuck them. Yeah. Matthew Pickard for five fake mice. You really think a sequel involving Le El Puto Madre would be cool? It'd be no. cool to see both sides of the investigation, like uh, better done Indigo Prophecy. No. I don't know. Maybe. Kill yourself. No. Golf person now with two bucks. I mean, a Hell Divers, Lethal Company, and Pal World. Hashtag tism. Hashtag tism. Uh, Morg for two buckaroos was Aaron Bushnell gay? Uh, he, most likely. He was certainly flaming. Yeah. God bless. Up, right, down, down, down. Thank you, soldier. Go to bed. Go to bed. <laughs> Helldivers 2 is fun, but I have no clue why it needs to an actual life service and Deep Rock Galactic works just fine offline. Yeah. Because uh, it's just be how it be. Mm -hmm. Hear about the, the, spin oh. the, immediate res the immediate response to that would be like the, the galaxy system that it has going on. Uh, is kept up to date yeah. with uh, with its servers and everything. So that would be the immediate response to it. However, I, I would hope that they would have a, a long-term plan to bring it offline. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, it's successful, but eventually eventually it's going to die. Eventually you shut the servers off. Yeah. And uh, no, one wants a, uh, no one wants a $70 brick sitting in their library, and a $40 brick's no better. Yeah. Hear about the Smash player calling Xeno 2 Kumar bait. Now there's pedophile allegations against him with evidence happened earlier today. Yeah, we were talking about that. Yes. $30, people would uh, probably just buy it because of the price. Yeah. Yeah, honestly. 
No game is worth 100. 60 was pushing it, but 70 is too much. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 60, 60 was fine because I grew up with 60. Yeah. But now now we're tasting what can what can be accomplished with $40. Speaking of Magneto, do you know those people who think Magne uh, Megatron's in the right? Yeah, at that <laughs> point, that's just people are just fucking stupid. Right. Most for tolerating 60, most of uh, most I've spoken to have to do backflips to justify 70. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, you can't justify 70. And GS5 and Xenoblade X also had a world effort system and can be played offline. Yes, yeah. that is true. Rex won in the uh, in the game of life. People are just jealous of fictional characters somehow. Uh, a couple of now two bucks. So why Helldivers succeed when Lawbreakers failed? Because Law, I I brought that up. It's because Lawbreakers is just copying something successful. Yeah. Also, the fact that Helldivers didn't have one of the worst marketing campaigns in all of gaming. Yeah. No. Also, wasn't wasn't headed by a pedophile, as far as we know. Cliffy! Uh, the Wolfie for 100 fake mines is just $10. Don't you have $10? The game dev when his game doesn't sell for the $10 markup from mm -hmm. 60 to 70 Yeah, seriously. Payday 3 hit a new player high recently of 130 <laughs> Do you think uh, Running With Scissors will eventually go against their position on piracy and start condemning it? Uh, maybe. I mean, give it enough time. Yeah, give it enough time. I, I, I am confident in thinking that Vince is the one man keeping that company from falling to the darkness. Vince is just a good guy. Yeah. Everything I've heard about Vince, he is just a guy that wants to make video games. Mm -hmm. At the end of uh, its life cycle, Hill Divers 2 go from live service to pure local co-op play according to developers, although uh, how, I have no idea. Yeah. Cliffy B is a lollicon? No, no, Cliffy B is not a lollicon. He's uh, just flat Cliffy, out like... Cliffy, uh, Cliffy B was on forums talking about how he wanted to fuck the Olsen twins before they were of age. Yeah. So is it Lofty trying to defend FF7 Remake censorship patch? Lofty just... I don't know. There are those people where they just want to be contrarian. What the fuck's a lofty? Uh, contrarian. Okay. A faggot. Yeah. Cliffy B burned all his bridges when Lawbreakers came out. When he was working on Gears, he called PC players pirates. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Vince is a very special type of Guido. What the fuck does that even mean? Also, Guide Entertainment sells add-ons to the game for 70 bucks and... Whoa, what the fuck? And people buy it because how much they like the game. Have what? What? Have you guys played Infinite Wealth yet? I have not. No. Not yet. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm holding off on it. Yeah, I've got uh, other stuff to play. <laughs> there, there's way too many video games. I've got millions of other other games, and uh, the fact that they tried to bundle in like core elements of the game as DLC, uh, I'm not picking that shit up. Yeah, I'm waiting for for an Ultimate Edition. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, I only just got to disc two on Final Fantasy VIII. Yeah. Uh, could can Hell Divers and Deep Rock Galactic make for great land party games? If it oh, makes 100%. for good multiplayer, it's it'll make a good land party game. Yeah, hundred percent. What are your thoughts on Chris Avalon? He got fucked over real bad. Yeah, yeah, he did. Uh, you checked out Samurai Remnant DLC? Uh, I did. It, it was fun. Uh, it was relatively short. I think I maybe put like two and a half hours into it to do get all f six, seven endings or whatever. Zim, uh, but it was fun. Zim Despot, five bucks is the reason I stick to PC gaming. If I can't play games, I can still do my taxes. Yeah. <laughs> that's in Sarah Experiment Lane. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah that's great. The serial experiment lane is fantastic. The uh, the media surrounding it is also fantastic. Uh, speaking of video games, I'm actually excited for Renata's. Glad to see the spirit of Final Fantasy vs. 13 live on Live On, even if it's doing its own thing. Yeah. My thoughts on Chris Evelyn's writing. Pretty good. As a huge Transformer fan, I will say Megatron can be justified at the beginning of his career. Prime kind of put uh, kind of puts humanity over his own race for a stupid reason. <laughs> Bro, the DMC subreddit just found out Dante's V is a right winger. It's so over. I fucking love Ruben Langdon. He's so good. Yep. Uh, Abil Estrada for two dollars. Lolly, once I'm done with my story, could you read it? No. <laughs> I'm gonna be an I asshole wanna, about it. I want to read a book, chat. No. If you send something over, I'll check it out. But it's like I, I have had a lot of people go. I made this. Can you please talk about this? I will pay you. And it's like, I don't like the idea of being paid to give an opinion on something someone made. Yeah. Because at that point, it's like. Uh, when there's money involved, that goes beyond just a favor. That's into full blown. Green you know, mega. I'll feel guilty about Green. it if I if I get mean or something like that. Also, it's like, dude, it, you can get a professional editor. <laughs> I, I'm not professional. I just talk about shit I like. I'm curious how much GBs uh, gigabytes in BG3. What? GBs? Finally got your taxes settled yet? Uh, pretty close. Pretty close. I'm still trying to figure out if I can weasel anything out. Otherwise, I'll have to pay 350 bucks into mm -hmm. taxes. Yeah. Lofty suffers from centralist syndrome, despite saying he's right wing. He always comes contrary when people he doesn't like uh, don't like what he simps for. Yeah, that's dumb. 
Uh, do you plan on playing uh, PS2 games eventually? I recommend Lifeline. It's pretty good. We have already. Well, he's just shit talker confirmed. Well, I mean, it's a thing of like what someone making something and sending it in for the purpose of me looking at it and judging it. That's a whole other ball field. Because mm -hmm. it's like, all right, that especially if they're paying me to do that. That that's like literally asking for professional editing you know, advice, and it's like, all right, listen, I'm not the guy for that. I'm not the guy for that. You you are much better off finding an actual editing agency to help you with that. Sure. Like, I, I understand enthusiasm, but it's like, it is a thing of, like, I really don't want that to be normal. So let just think it's paid review. It's, a pro it's, it's still pro uh, promotion. Yeah, technically. Well, okay, there's like 100 gigs. Oh, it's well over now. Mm -hmm. It is well over. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, Tech jacked eighty dollars for me because I took money out of stocks last year. Yeah, dude, uh, taking money out of the stock market will always, 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 always fuck you. Oh yeah, uh, agent proper DSP uh, a log uh, a agent, log yeah a log fantasized about DSP being bullied like Perry Caravello, where people come to his house and torment him for money. One reason why Nulls stepped down on the DSP forum. Yeah, they're fucking crazy. Yeah, you like uh, as much as much as Noel wants to hands off the farms and just let them let them operate. Uh, if you let it, if you let it go on long enough, uh, a genuine psychopath will get in there because there's yeah. no supervision. You need to step in there and stomp them out. Yeah, you should send uh, shit to people you like because you just want to see them. Uh, just want them to see cool shit. Yeah, yeah. As to because it, it's happened a handful of times to the point I'm like, listen, I'm not gonna advertise your thing. Okay, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to be like free advertising for your thing. That feels, that feels like in a direction I don't want to go. Yeah. Also. Eh. Eh. I'm happy the DMC team are keeping Ruben Lane in the same fuck the cancel pigs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they're they're probably not. I had faith in it, too, no. I have faith. Yeah. Rick still loves to send anime girls to your Gmail? Uh, I guess. In fact, uh, the black man's a weakness to a whip, a noose, a nightstick, and the most dangerous, a job application. <laughs> Read! I got uh, 1166 back from taxes. That's nice. Yeah. Fuck you, you lying sack of shit. I got 60 bucks. Yeah, we, we, we get fucked hard here. Yeah. You you are just not allowed to make money in our state. They will fuck you over. Pain to the max. Yes. Views are at the question: Would you be up to play test a friend's game? I don't know. Like, I I'm not the guy for that because I have no idea what what to look for in like Big walls. You know, yeah, you know, point shit out to people. It's like, listen, I'm not I'm not the kind of person to get like professional advice for shit. I got six hundred nine back on mine. Look at all this money they're saying they got. They lied. You a bunch of broke bitches, chat. If you're just a broke bitch, say so, chat. Just say so, chat. Just say you're broke, bitch. There we go. Uh, Space Monkey 0899 for five bucks. Uh, Alyssa is an Alice in Wonderland Resident Evil indie game. Would you consider streaming? Uh, That's interesting. Okay. I don't remember all of those options. Oh, shit. I hit the wrong one. No, 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 no. Yeah, I, I hit square trying to back out of this one menu and to take me out of the entire menu, so it's like, shit, that's not... Yeah, no, Fuck, I don't... a tutorial on how to play Max Payne. Yeah, no, no, you don't get to, you don't get to back out of menus. Oh, my God. These are, these are the old days, Lolly. You're gonna learn. When me can't whoring out, it's good to know that uh, Flash Kid's still doing what they're doing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is, this is like... A... This is, this is how games... Okay, there okay, we go. Okay, okay. Cause I'm just trying to see. Uh, what's my few dollars? Uh, who's the Smash player that got outed again? Oh, uh, 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 name him. I'll try. I'll try and find which uh, Smash player it was this time. Let's go. If Sarkeesian can do it, you can do it. I don't want to fuck people over and make them lose money. Right. Oh, we can only do Fugitive. You gotta, you gotta beat the game. This is the second game I played on PS2. Yeah. What was the first? See, we're Kato Spurgeon over some dude named John. <laughs> it's just some dude named John. Stand by. 1010. Investigated reported disturbance at Acer Plaza. 
It's one of the darkest intro missions out there, Dead Baby Man. Yeah, it's one of them. You guys just shit on Sphere Hunter a lot. Why? Uh, I'm not hating, just curious. At first, it was just because it was funny. Then he kind of found out that they also engage in current thingism. I still remember the, the, the Ashley skirt thing for RE4 make. Their post on Twitter and, and, and even hinted in their videos is like, well, you know, maybe we can change that. Then fucking cosplayed Ashley for a goddamn Resident Evil event. It's like, no, no, no. I, I, fuck that. Fuck that. You do shit like that, you expose to me. All right, you're in this for the fucking money. Everyone's in it for the money. It's fucking YouTube. An old man for five bucks crashed my first car while driving home after buying this in the store at age 16. So being a pill addicted John Wick. Come on. Yeah, and then she cosplays Ashley. Yeah. Yeah. They were all dead. The final gunshot was an exclamation mark. Come on, mark bully the pedophile so I can find his point. name. I released my finger from the trigger. And then it was over. Damn it. Finish 14 VOD, uh, the fuck you mean you discovered, uh, Kier Shmi and Chad have been telling you about Spicy Fox and the case. Kind of I legitimately I don't remember that. Three years. Back to Why the they to started. Why the fuck would I listen to anything that chat has to say? Jonathan B. Schwoop. I fully suggest Alyssa by Casper Crows is a generally great game. Mm-hmm. Super Hunter's an industry suck-up. Yeah. Everyone is. Yeah. I was still in the force back then. Why do you think NYPD so many companies back, you know, back out and fuck people Hell's over kitchen. the second they get the Monaco so Mount successor attention? It's because they're doing it for the money. There, there are no idealists anymore. Some hell hole. Fun fact: the PC version, the only version that has the twin towers in it. See? You know what, Chet? I, I don't I remember saw. ever looking at the back, in the Bad background. The so you may very well be right. Regular Boy Scout. Is it available on Steam? Yes. All three of them. Yeah. Now I think you, I think you need to. Uh, use the Rockstar launcher form still, cause yeah, fuck Rockstar. But yeah. life was good. Have you played Sun Sleeping Dogs? Yeah. Sweet summer's mm -hmm. day. Smell of freshly it's mowed that dialogue so gritty when Max is constantly shitty and grin. <laughs> it's a it's a face of pain. Thank you very Beautiful much. That's only for Max Payne girl. One. Max Payne Two is a lot more consistent. American dream yeah. come true. That's been wild hanging on Twitter about localization. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the dreams have been nasty. Part of six. I already told you I haven't had a chance to play them yet. Yep. Uh, Sig162, five dollars. Uh, I have to go donate Gramado. to my Oshi. Donate? Twilight How you do that without any money, you broke bitch? Foreboding. L listen, chat. They're, they're, like, uh, people post that, that video of that one irrelevant, uh, uh streamer bitch. Honey, anybody home? That was, that was like, oh, if you don't have any five dollars to donate, you know, then what are you doing here? Uh, go get a job. Uh, and, and that one's good, okay? You know, that, that one's like, oh, yeah, all e horrors are bad people. The better one? Is the Pokemon one where she's sitting there eating like a celery stick and she's like, if you're a broke boy, just say so. That's the best one, chat. That's the best one. All right. I immediately had to fix this. Uh, reversed. Reversed. Yeah. So, there we go. Uh, yeah, invert, invert aiming. aiming. Yep. Why in God's name would ever invert by default? Uh, people watch photo dollars. You guys are making me want to play Max Payne again. Uh, again now. Uh, Rip James McCaffrey. Yep. Poor son, bitch. What the hell? Uh, Abiel Estrada for five bucks. No, I don't want. Uh, I don't want fees as wedding. Uh, excuse me. I uh, just hope if you thought it would be cool uh, to read my writing. Also, I'm playing Hitman Contract. Super underrated. Contracts is fun. Uh, what is it? Uh, I think Blood Money is better in my opinion. Shotgun is in the cabinet in the hall. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh. So we're seeing the, the recent Chainsaw Man chapter. Uh, you two see that one yet? If it, if it came out this week, house, no. Call 911. Uh, Culper's not five bucks. Mind that Pat would literally use the R word yeah, in old uh, Super Best house. Friends videos. Money's either, we'll either him or Mac getting canceled first. Also, Rip James McCaffrey. Oh, uh, that what wasn't Pat. That was uh, Wooly. Yeah. Wooly gets a pass because he's black. <laughs> As well, he always does. <laughs> Listen, Wooly Wooly would have would have just outright let uh, any any fan or any of the best friends just come up and call him fucking nigger. Uh, as a matter of fact, he used to. Wait, wait, wait. I'm curious about the configurations. Real fair quick. enough. Fair enough. Uh, as a matter of fact, he was unironically okay with it for a really long time, and then he like too many people started doing it, and he's like, "All right, now you're you're just using it as an excuse. Fuck off." Yeah. Maybe I'll try it for two bucks. Sorry, Auto is a bitchman for your publicity. No, I know. Just I, I don't want to say it as a precedent. It's mm -hmm. like it, it is a thing to where it's like, 
I've already had more than a few people do it, and they're getting outright impatient with it, where it's like, hey, remember when he said you cover this? It's like, dude, you're on the list. So yeah. it, it's putting a bad feeling in my gut of like, all right, I don't want to be a walking commercial for people. Yeah. It'll launch for $5. The PS2 port of Max Payne is poo-poo, but I uh, still have a soft spot for it since it was the first version I played. The PS2 port of MP... Uh, Max Payne 2 is inexcusable. Uh, they were both fine. I, I, I think the, the their inexcusable things comes from uh, later on, like, 15 years later, post-release, people that have the luxury of, of being able to rip them both uh, and then stand them side by side, and looking at them going like, well, yeah, of course the PC version's better. Why would you ever not play the PC version? Because like, people used to have PS2s. I don't know what you want. I don't know what you want, man. There's a second. Sure, there's been a second Mad Lad. No, no, please, God, no. Xbox versions are just better. Uh, Xbox was stronger than the PS2, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah, it came, well, it came out after, so yeah. Now, Grant, this is a remaster, so I think it's... I, I think they cleaned up a lot of issues it had. That's a broken baby. Uh, there's an inward in trading uh, placed scene that usually gets cut on TV. No, no, Steam no, just fine, God, yeah. no, please, Michelle. Oh, baby. Xbox dropped 2001. Did you play this already? We played Max Payne 3. Yeah. And Max Payne 3 is really fucking good. Yeah, Max Payne 3 is my favorite. It is, it is fucking peak. Speed, bro, bro is speed running a tragic backstory. It's fucking fantastic. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Thomas, I have two bucks. Pee pee poo poo, pop and shire. Pop and shire. Does Wooly have the N word pass? He's no! from Canada, not the hood. He's not a remaster. He's black. I thought they remastered it when they poured this no, over to, to modern. I, I think it's one of those things where they might have improved the, the graphics like ever so that was slightly. Two years ago. Okay. But it's not Every like an actual remaster. Yeah. I guess it was in 2000. Xbox was 2001. Xbox was really, uh, really expensive to, uh, uh, to make, though. Yeah. Well, all consoles are, are extremely expensive to make and to always get sold at a loss. Oh, yeah. That's been the standard since uh, the I Dream. It was either the Genesis or the Dreamcast, I think. Then finally, two months ago, the game play is good. Oh no! Oh, the, the, the entire, entire game is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Whole family. fucking thing's fantastic. The, the only real problem with it is you can't skip cutscenes once you've seen them already. You kind of have to let them yeah. play out. Well, and... you can you can skip some cutscenes. You can't skip them yeah. all, which is weird. Since we're playing old games, thoughts on Halo CE? Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, I assume you're talking about like the, the Master Chief Collection. The graphics are pretty. But, eh. the what, the, Master, the, the Master Chief? Yeah, Outside yeah. City was oh, it, it's monster. fine. I mean, it's just the same games again. Been it's yeah, really cool that you uh, that you have a button fish. to just... Yeah, to just go right back to the old style, yeah. yeah. Makes that a million times better. Only contacts in the DEA. The only ones go for sign, two bucks, Smash Player, release your response, uh, Blue Boy, it's something. It's something. How, how, how bad is it? How what would you say? How long do we give a video of Irishman sitting down saying Lolly and Show aren't friends anymore? <laughs> <laughs> Talking about OG Halo 1. Okay, I thought you meant Master Chief Collection. I mean, yeah, Mercury Combat Vault's fun. It was it's pretty good. It's heart, pretty good. Raining ice pitchforks as if the heavens were ready to Everyone fall. Everyone forgets the subtitle. This, for why the, the fuck would you ever tomorrow. use the subtitle? It didn't get any better when I got the subtitle. The subtitle is for Halo Wars, chat. The feeling hit me like a point-blank shot straight in the face. The rest of itself for CE sucks. Eh. Uh, Tomb Raider Trilogy has the button feature too. Yeah, yes, it cool. does. Train doors it's always a cool one. Behind me. Uh, I actually had to sell it after his, after his Payday 3 video. Next uh, he's been a sell it for Roscoe a really long Street time. Uh, way before and Payday Alex. 3 fucking launched, but... Uh, yeah, no. Uh, Payday yeah. 3 was just such a fucking mess, dude. Best games 3, 4, 3 ever released were the ones that made Bugs Bungie. drenched in bloom. <laughs> Alex was a ghost, nowhere to be seen. I'd have to look for him. Hey, Shota, how much were you to set yourself on fire on stream? I'll think about it. Let me see the money. Let me see the money. That's on uh, Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection. Uh, we can't play it yet, Chad. Yeah. It's not out. But it, it's cool that it's happening because, like, the air at Roscoe Street. that is I'd have to it, find even out with fast. the the new games. A lot of people are like, man, I don't like this. I, I just want the classics back. And uh, I'm so I'm so ready for people to to get their hands on those games and realize, oh my God, it, it is the nostalgia. Yeah. Uh, but it's fun. It's fun. Nostalgia yeah, goes a long games. way. It'll, it'll, it'll be fun for people. No, I can't uh, wait for them to announce that the collection was a financial failure and no one yeah. actually bought it. Uh, on top of that, they went back and they added extra content to both games. Okay. Uh, they added an extra map. I think it's just one extra map to the first one. And the second one got like five extra maps and two extra characters. So that was really cool to see. John Woo it up. 
You care about the Epic Mickey remasters? They're they're remastering Epic Mickey? Yeah. I don't, but they're remastering them? Yeah, because uh, that version of Mickey is now technically public domain. I mean, it's Epic Mickey. Epic Mimby. Oh, shit. You say that, but I played on PC a while back recently, uh, uh, in recent years, and they're still great. They're just fun games. Like, they, they are fun. Uh, rather, even at the time, I was like, eh, eh. But I've, I've also never liked shooters. I say as, as we, we play Max playing, Payne. Yeah, we were playing one of the most famous shooters in gaming. Listen, listen, Max Payne's fantastic. I wouldn't call it one of the most famous, famous shooters. It did bring about one of the most famous mechanics, though. Yeah. Urban youths aren't allowed in Jew York no more. You feel good about what you just said, chat? Y'all not gonna police yourselves? Huh? You're not gonna jump that nigga from what he just said? Well, he please. There you go. I love the fact his feet can't catch up <laughs> the movement. Yeah. He's floating. Uh, I'm more interested in trying Battlefield 1, but, uh, but I mostly want to play Galactic, Con Galactic Conquest and Rise of the Empire ca uh, campaign uh, for Battlefront 2. Yeah. The security panel let out a mocking cat. Max uses a Desert Eagle in right 1911. Two World right. Wars. He uses a Beretta because at the time the Beretta was standard issue for police officers. And military. And it was just a style on this fuck gun. It was. It was. Uh, it was also... The reason the Beretta got so insanely popular is because it was in, like, a million fucking movies. Yeah, same with the MP5. Yeah, yeah, same. It ended up in yeah, the of a big-time crime operation. I've already answered. I don't have any opinions on Ed. Street Fighter, you little fuck. Uh, second one, six two, five bucks. You ever have uh, dreams that make you regret going to sleep at a reasonable time because you're not wiped you enough to forget how whacked they were? What's going on no. here? A massacre. These armed thugs just appeared from nowhere. Please have Beretta's? Yes. Help. Yeah, they're uh, standard issue for a while. One of the reasons the Beretta's got their, their revision. Sounds good. Uh, the, the, I'm sorry, the revision that they did was because police officers had them and they found out that you could just fucking push the slide back and push the slide off the fucking Beretta. Yeah. <laughs> so it got revised into the modern one. Do the dive! No, it wastes so much. It wastes so much slow slow mo. No. Is that it? Is that not gonna select? This is not hurt. My bad. I'm too scared to go to the control room on my own without you and your. Okay. Gun. Yeah. I'm trying to figure. Out, I'm trying to remember how to play this. Yeah. There we go. Because it's been a long time since I played Max Payne on is, console. I think this is the PC port because I don't remember the PS2 version of this having the the numbers above the. The with the weapons. Uh, Copros now with two bucks. Here's a Pacific and NBA two on PS2 equals peak. Yeah, it's just Balrog song, song without the personality. Oh, I I loved that. Uh, I loved Ed in Street Fighter Five. It's just unfortunately uh, he was tied to Street Fighter Five. Uh, and I've always hated Balrog, so we, we finally get we finally get a good a good character. What? The uh, I just wondered why they can the Kotor remake. Because it was falling apart. Yeah. Or did they move away from the Beretta again? Uh, just contracts. Uh, Glock came in and was like, Hey man, I'm going to sell you a bunch of sweet lies. And uh, the government bought it. Hook, line, and sinker. As they always do. What the? I don't know how the military contract went, but it probably probably went about the same. It's because Balrog's black. No, it's because Dudley's the better fighter. Thank God it did. New Bioware's ass. Let's pay him two bucks. Uh, be cool if they brought in uh, Star Wars Battlefront Renegade Squadron. Uh, that would be pretty cool. I don't remember that. I don't remember that one. He sold Glock horse semen for their horses too. Yeah. Photo <laughs> remake getting canceled from dust. Absolutely. Absolutely. It really was. Uh, they also just announced that there was a twisted metal game in the works at Sony. That got canceled uh, as part of the layoffs because Sony <laughs> let go like 900 people. Uh, I think they had some of the some of the higher ones. Microsoft had the most because they they, yeah. they laid off like 1,900 people. I think Sony was like the fifth most, so yeah. probably like four or 500. And and the thing is, like, it, it sounds super tragic. It's like, oh fuck, we lost to his metal again, but it, it was bloat. a live service game. Yeah, uh, well, like it, it, it's bloat. 
they're they're starting to trim the fat on these positions. Yeah. It'd be smarter for them to also the trim the fat on their Christmas executives. Tree. Power but that ain't ever gonna happen. No, not at all. The executives, the the executives are are vampires. They will quite literally drain the, the, these fucking studios dry. It's just the early two. Uh, I assume that's two thousands tech use. Uh, and Bison was Balrog's name in Japan. Yep, they were they were flip flop. Uh, Vega, Vega had a different name too. Evil was awesome, but the story was not on the same level as the previous ones. Talking about Max Payne 3? Uh, no, I, Max Payne 3 has the most cohesive story. Yeah. You need to remember, Max Payne 1, like, devolves into, like, uh, company secrets and some super over-the-top fucking shit. There is a super drug. There is literally a fucking super drug. There, like, there is a super drug directly responsible for the death of Max's family. Yeah. Uh, what was it called? Valkyrie? Yeah, Valkyr. Uh, yeah, Valkyr. So uh, Valkyr is directly responsible for the death of, of Max's fucking family. And it's something that never gets brought up again. Like, ever. Gold's another for $2. Uh, what PS2 games still hold up, even with, uh, even without nostalgia? Uh, I'm sure there's a, I'm sure there's a whole bunch of them. Yeah. Uh, I can't really think of them off the top of my head. Uh, Max Payne 1 is a little clunky, but it's still fun. Yeah. Uh, Max Payne 2 is really fucking good. Yeah, it refines all the systems, for uh, sure. Metal Gear Solid, those games are still... Oh, yeah, Metal Gear Solid is, is fucking peak to this day. Yeah. Persona 4, yeah. Any any fucking JRPG, most likely. Yeah. Uh, Vega was Balrog, and Bison was, was Mike Balrog, and Bison was Vega. DMC 3, yeah. DMC 3 was good. Making sure that... Very good. Because this is one of those games you kind of want to peek around corners because you never oh, know absolutely. what's hidden. Let's go. Uh, the Jack Trilogy holds up super well. It does. Yeah, it does. Jack games are really fucking good. Uh, I know a lot of people's favorite Jack uh, is Jack 2. Uh, my favorite one is Jack 3. I just think it's Jack 3 is really, really well cool. made. Oh, fuck. These combat games... Uh, fun fact, can you declare war on rats by throwing a grenade in a rat hole? Also, GBA version into best. <laughs> you can, you can. Uh, if you throw a grenade in a rat... I don't think we've gotten there yet. You can uh, toss a grenade in the hole and the, the rat hole will have Berettas yeah. shoot at you. Uh, I, we're actually coming up on it now. I believe it's in this next area. Yeah, it should be, because this is where you actually get grenades. Uh, Jack games are Ke uh, Kino. Uh, them Crash Two uh, and not uh, them and Crash Two are Naughty Dog's best games. Oh yeah, station. oh yeah, they're fantastic. Since the early forties, something. We're gonna Shallow Monks is good. It is. Shallow Monks is fantastic. Maybe that's why Alex had wanted to meet me here. Maybe not. They were Tekken Yoshimitsu One design. Or the other. I, was uh, find out. I don't know. Tekken uh, Tekken Eight's Yoshimitsu is great. Seven sucked. Yeah, uh, I think it's you toss a grenade into this hole here. I think. Yeah. Yeah, because I didn't hear the rats. Uh, I'm trying to remember if I can break the boxes. I think I can. No. Okay, so I gotta find a grenade. You see, if they put yellow paint on them, I would know. Yeah. It'd be easy to tell. There you go. I got painkillers. Tekken, Tekken 6 Yoshi was pretty good. Yeah. I broke my PS2's disc, disc drive. I'm constantly sure. playing uh, yeah, the MC3. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Ratchet and Clink, am I right? Is good. It's good. Uh, first, I prefer Yoshimitsu's Tekken 2 look. Uh, simple but effective, yeah. You can't break the big box. Well, you might be able to blow them up with a, with a grenade, but you can't break them with uh, regular yeah. shit. Oh, right, yeah. Good, great PS2 games. Oh, yeah. Soul Calibur 4 Yoshimitsu. Sir. What the? Give him a dick, Lolly. You got hit yeah. three times in the Desert Eagle. That motherfucker tough. And then he flew back. Uh, Calder five dollars showed up. I'm with you on Jack Three. It's, uh, it's also my favorite of the trilogy, partially because it was the it was my uh, the first game I beat without my big brother's help. Ah, really fucking good. It is. It's fun. June is the only chicken in Tekken I haven't. Uh, I have. I find hot. I like how to acknowledge the fact Max is popping pills left and right in the first game, and now he's hooked. Yeah. Well, 3 kind of talks about it. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, 
Three basically operates the idea of, yeah, Max can stop drinking, but if he stops taking painkillers, he might actually die. <laughs> yeah. Can I get a little bit of the eagles of the guy? Uh, he's like Ruski and Snatch. He needs the whole clip. Uh, I replayed a couple of the old Need for Speeds. They still hold up. Uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted still holds up. Um, I, the underground games I don't like nearly as much. Uh... But they, they are, like, very traditional arcade racers. Yeah. Uh, Carbon, I don't like as much as, as most wanted. Uh, but it is it is an extension of that gameplay. I was a, t uh, I was a scene that tickles my love for Latinas. But Jun is just god tier. She, she's fucking... Jun's pretty good. She's pretty good. I was a scene that so far is, is really, really good. The Tony Hawk games. Oh, yeah, you can't, you can't forget about the Tony Hawk games. No, it's up here. Yeah, there's a there's a hole you can toss. Rats. What the hell was that? I think it's here. One of these guys. Ah. Oh. I pray we don't get Max Payne Four. Yeah, yeah. Not gonna lie, I, I am at the, that point. I would the love remakes, the remakes. Uh, were in the works whenever uh, the voice actor for Max died, which I don't know what they're gonna do now because I, yeah. I can't imagine they were done voicing three games. <laughs> Uh, Tony Hawk's Underground One's the best skateboarding game. Oh yeah, for sure. I I wish uh, I wish Tony Hawk's Underground One had a uh, like let you backport or or uh, I guess I guess it wouldn't be backport, but uh, just get the characters from uh, like the bonus characters from other Tony Hawk games. Yeah, because some of those were fun as hell. Oh yeah, like uh, Underground has um, it has Iron Man, it has Gene Simmons from Kiss. Detonator. Uh, I don't think it had Wolverine. I think Wolverine was Tony Hawk's Underground three, um, but I, I would love to. I would love to uh, play Underground and have Spider Man and, and Wolverine yeah. available to play. PS two controls are not the best. As it's been a long time since I played Max Payne on console. Yeah, Max Payne one on console. I mean to say, I played Max Payne three all the time on console. Uh, call first time with two bucks when we get Mokin or uh, Mokujin or Alex Raptor and Tekken eight. Uh, never. We'll spam two bucks, remember, fellas. Asuka just turned eighteen and Lily is okay, seventeen. Fellas. The police are on their way. They can't keep getting away with this. The Tekken timeline does the exact opposite of, of what all the other fighting games are trying to do. The characters never fucking age. All all eight games, the last 20 years of Tekken, have been like two years in canon. Fucking insane. Zorba 2 on PS2 is really good. It's fun, it's fun. Uh, I played it... Uh, I played it not too terribly long ago, a couple months ago, and... Uh, I was I was hit with how much uh, how much nostalgia I have for the game, and I was like, oh man, if I played this as as uh, as an adult for the first time, I'd fucking hate this game. <laughs> but, oh, you were robbed. I was. You were robbed. Dude, what Iron Man skateboard? He uh, he break the board. No, he skate he skateboards just fine. His uh his special is he floats, if I remember correctly. Why is it when I play Skyrim when I travel to Lydia? Why can't you carry my babies instead of my burdens? Because you don't <laughs> have the right mods installed. Idiot. Mishima's been popping off over the course of two years, LMAO. Yeah, I know! So much shit happens in Tekken canon, it takes it takes 20 years to talk about it. Yeah, biggest time skip was two to three. Yeah. And that's just that's just because, uh, if I remember correctly, that's just because Jin had to go into hiding. Real sorry. Could just use the audio from the older games and the remake wouldn't be the first time. I agree. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be the first time. Just Raw Humans did that. Yeah. Uh, the... the the only problem with that would be, like, they already have work from where he was recording audio. Yeah. I guess you could use AI? Uh-oh. I don't think his estate would be very happy. Yeah, and now you're dipping into uh, ethical territory there. Yeah. Have you ever played any of the Midnight Club games? Yeah! I, uh, I've... Most of the Midnight Club games aren't very good. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't Night say they're not very good. They don't. They don't cater to my taste. Uh, but there was one on the PSP. Uh, I think it was Remix Two. Uh, that one was fucking Kino. Uh, cult personality for five bucks. Uh, bet, uh, bet on out of nowhere DLC for Tekken Eight. Like Negan was for Tekken Seven. Also, what's your favorite Tekken? Put between three and five DR. Yes, I'm basic. Uh, Tekken Six is my favorite. I haven't played enough Tekken to 
you know, really make a judgment there. Uh, I, 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 I don't know, because the, the Tekken out of nowhere characters will be, like, properly out of nowhere. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have expected them to have Noctis the or Negan in, in, in Tekken 7. Table. Judging by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough explosives. Uh, MGS3 to send remake Liberty is gonna reuse, uh, reuse the dialogue. Is it? It still it still holds up. Like the the recording was done like very well. Yeah. You won't see me complaining. Mm -hmm. uh, MC2 character cutscenes are a trip to watch. More of a Street Fighter guy myself. Street Fighter Street Fighter is just like a fun fighting game, but when it terms of, when it comes to lore. Fucking hate it. It's not on stream screaming about being wrong. There's not gonna there's not gonna be another near game chat. We're never getting it. Never. Never never. never. Uh trying out Shaheen since nobody plays him. <laughs> Literally okay, so uh, uh I can tell Lolly this and maybe like the three people in chat that don't know. So Shaheen gets played so little that his frame data was actually broken. And nobody found out for over a month. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, he just had literal broken frame data that you could abuse. And it's like, wait, why is nobody using this? Oh yeah, nobody likes Shaheen. <laughs> nobody plays him, it's never an issue. He doesn't feel very fun to play, so I don't blame him. I don't blame anybody. Rats. 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 Shoot him in the dick! Woo! Music-wise, Tekken 2 is my favorite. Uh, everything about it sends me to another world. Uh, I think music-wise, I think it was either one of the tag, one of the Tekken tags, or Tekken 4. Come on, I know he dropped it. Let me have it. Ah, fuck. No. He had one grenade. He had a single grenade. Well, now you need to make sure you don't fuck up. No, I I don't have any. <laughs> the one grenade he threw is the one that he had. Uh, have you seen the shit that happened with uh, fuck, uh, FCK and Hopeless Peaches? No, I don't know who, what the fuck any of that is. Have you ever played Mirror's Edge? Yes. Gene's apparently higher tier too. Yeah, could have could have fooled me. I mean, he does have like actually broken frame data, so. Oh, well, that was probably patched. Uh, Jim Buck for dollars. So I survived a fire today, but not really. It was a big thing because it was my job. Uh, from my job kitchen. My yeah. job kitchen. Uh, Spaz Pitch for a dollar log. Did you like the poem I heard? I played on Kirsten's stream. I have no idea what poem it was. I was, I, I'm not gonna lie, I was probably busy editing or, or doing something else. I don't listen to my Oshi because she's a dumb bitch. I have it for background noise, it's about all I need. <laughs> I nearly shot you. Alex, I'm right, glad to see you. What the hell's going on? Mirror's Edge 2 is so disappointing. It had great ideas. Like, an open world, uh, an open world Mirror's Edge game is fucking, like, on point. 100%. That, that... <coughs> choke, choke, yeah. dumb bitch. Uh, it's like an open world Mirror's Edge game. Like, that aesthetic, fucking Kino. Yeah. Um, fleshing out the martial arts system to be, like, an actual thing, it's like, that's really fucking cool. But then they removed so much else, it's like, oh god. Oh no, it's do. Max Pills. He was dead. Pills. I could tell by the empty accusing stare of his uh, eyes. I'll do all the Tekken games right now, actually. Uh, uh, as I play this, Tekken 6... I'm actually playing Tekken 6 as a type this. Fun as hell. I like how fast it is. The suit is still the best character. Also, Electric Fountain is uh, the best state ever. I did have some good stages. Uh, Tekken, the only the only version of Tekken 6, so... Uh, so, PlayStation has it where you can play old, you know older games and they'll... Uh, let you buy some of them now that they're trying to get in more in line with what Xbox was like uh, before they stopped updating shit. Like the sick fucks they are. Ooh, uh, I walked right over a grenade. Grenade. Uh, where, where's my where's my indicator, man? Cold person having two bucks. Clive FF16 and Lalo Salamanca for Tekken 8. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, but the only version of Tekken 6 that you can play is the PSP uh, PSP port of Tekken 6. Yeah, where is it? Oh, yeah, right. You you cannot skip the cutscenes. Yeah. Well, it was a PS2 Max. game. Yeah. Jesus, Most of them just like skip. Just Alex, throw it back, idiot. <laughs> the other is if Arata announces an uh, RTG character in Tekken 8, everyone expects Yagami from Judgment or Kiryu, but surprises it's Tatsuya Ukyo from Best Yaks to spin off Koryo. No, no, uh, we won't get a, we won't get a, 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 a Yakuza character in there. What we're gonna get is uh, Rosami. Yeah. We're gonna get fucking Rosami. 
Can you get through? So now you get to it's you locked. get to watch Alex we die again. If it's Lupino, it's in the back of the head. You just skip. You Alex. played on PC. <laughs> On the note of another There's near no game, I'd just love do. for uh, them to dead. loop it back into Drakengard, uh, like the Gene Bank on the moon had the genes of Seam and Angelus or something. <laughs> yeah, it could be cool. I don't think Mirror's Edge open world is a good idea. Uh, uh, in the same in the same way, I don't think uh, Deus Ex open world is a good idea. These games are thousand design how they benefit from mostly small open maps. Uh, you just uh, have a smaller open world. Yeah. Like I said, the the idea of open world Mirror's Edge is good, and and that's kind of the the best parts of the the yeah. Mirror's Edge. Yeah. Mirror's Edge sequel games just running around and doing parkour shit. Like, you, it's Mirror's Edge. You should never, like, you should never be on the ground. Yeah. You're always, you should always be on rooftops. You know, it also worked pretty well for Dying Light. Dying Light had a pretty good parkour system. Yeah, for sure. Uh, ah. I don't care if she's top tier. I'm not downloading a Niji Sanji character. You got that right. Can't wait for next vid. I love Conan. Yeah, it's gonna be good shit. I'm already, I'm already a few minutes into it. <laughs> Niji won't let Rosami do shit with Tekken. No, they wouldn't. They fucking wouldn't. Harada would Harada would 110% let his fucking Oshi be, be in his uh, his fighting game. I finally got grenades. <laughs> Too bad the, the rats are gone. Apparently they had a Nidus are using the bulk of the Yeah. Well, well that's that You can barely tell because the fucking game has It's so a, boring. I was going to say, the, the goddamn yeah. story is boring. It's not offensive boring is the thing. Yeah. Uh, that, that's kind of the big proof that Nina Sarkeesian is a fucking scam artist where she can't even make games to piss you off. <laughs> it's like she she does literally nothing. Thoughts on Conan the Destroyer? Fuck you. Alex, it it is okay. The past three years. Uh, was I one of the only now people who liked using guns in Mirror's Edge? Obviously it's not the game's strong suit, uh, but I like having the option to uh, take out armored Pino's guys. Toes. Eh. It's like you said, it like it was just, it's just a gun in yeah. a game about martial arts, so... It's kind of boring. She's apparently really good at being bad. Yeah. Hey. If, uh, if we get a Yakuza character, it'll probably be Shinada. Uh, I'd bet Majima. In a slum block of tenements. I played Urban Rain. I have not. The uh, I have. Well, I played the demo for Urban Rain. Uh, it's it's like batshit insane. Yeah. You uh. uh <laughs> Essentially, it's a game wrapped around entirely in post 9 11 uh, Bush era politics in all the best ways possible. Okay. Like it was, it was before, it was before the the like, it was before all the the the, the people got fed up with the fact that oh hey, whenever you sacrifice your rights, uh, your rights start to get infringed upon. So they were still like 100. percent Yeah, man, let's let's give the police force fucking mini guns. Let's send them in there. Is that like is that the over the top riot uh, game? It is. Okay. There are there are missions when they send you in. They they like uh, if I remember correctly, there is a like a turret section as you come into an uh, into a map at one point in time where you're on a you're on a fucking helicopter and they just give you a mini gun <laughs> and it's like mow them down. What? Mow them down. They're terrorists. They're not people. Shred them. But I I, I don't. No, what if that, that, <laughs> was, <laughs> that was holding a baby? <laughs> it's a terrorist baby. Stop it out! Aren't you the giant played Dagon and Conan destroyer? No, I know. And and God, that monster suit mm -hmm. looked like ass. Yep. As, as dead, I don't hate Conan the Destroyer. It's just you could tell that had some problems. Pre Patriot Act America. No, no, no. This was immediately post Patriot Act America. Because it was, it, was, it was right after 9 11, and everybody was still super down for, for the Patriot Act and shit. Just don't lead him as much, baby. Pink. 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 Thank God for the auto aim feature. I know, right? This stream's gonna have a lot of dead baby talk in it. A letter on the desk <laughs> caught my eye. Are you guys talking about Urban Chaos Riot response? Yes. That was great. Uh, if I remember correctly as well, you could also taser people until they lit on fire. So that was like a, that, that, that was something that I, I I only know two games that have ever had that in there, and that is Siphon Filter, because uh, that's that's the first time I experienced it. Was in Siphon Filter One, you can just tase someone until they light on fire, and that's all I did. That's all I did as a kid, uh, and it was it was Urban Rain. 
You'd think a game that would let you do that is Postal 2. Like, I actually played uh, Postal 2 on stream, and I kept trying to light people on fire with the taser thing. Like, didn't that yeah. work? Didn't that work? Uh, I think it works if you douse him in gasoline. Yeah. I think, that's, I think that does. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Siphon Filter 2 had better taser screams. Yeah, that was several years after Siphon Filter 1. Silly. Sidekick, uh, Tracy, Wal uh, Walter, and Conan Destroyer's boss from Batman Random Fact for you. That's pretty cool. Uh, Marquis Square Day, Frodo, in defense of Conan Destroyer, Dagoth Ur comic uh, <clears throat> that the costumes is based on, it's just a creature from the Black Moon ripoff of Red. That is true, but yeah. in the movie, they, the suit looked awful. Yeah. Everything all right? You see, right? Response equals Chirac Simulator. Yes. Damn, Cypher Filter was absolute fire back in the day. Fuck, I'm old. Oh, yeah. We're coming in. Well, I, you know what? I would love to have a new Cypher Filter game. I don't I don't think... Who the fuck even owns Siphon Filter anymore, chat? God, I don't fucking know. But in fact, you can get the taser from Siphon Filter in Days Gone. Oh, no! I, I guess we now know who owns who owns it. Give us a salute for Siphon Filter. We're never fucking seeing that game. Nope. Getting out was not going to be easy. Staircase Sony still was does. locked in the elevator, been busted for a decade or more. I own two. Siphon Filter 2? Uh, there was three Siphon Filter games. Uh, I played one. I think I played two. And I don't think I ever played three. Uh, I'm sure you know about it, but uh, Spec Ops has been delisted. Yep. yep, yep. Yeah. Fucking bullshit. I played this game on Xbox, and, uh, and when I got to the part where you see the TV report about the snowstorm, my mom came and tried and came to the room thinking it was a real problem. weather report. Yeah. On today's top story, the Valkyr crisis worsens with the murder of DEA special agent Alex You can play the game through PS Plus or PS1 you Classic. Can. You can. I don't know if it has all three, but I know it, I know it at least has Siphon Filter 1. identified as Max Payne. The noose is sure to tighten around this fugitive criminal as more NYPD units join the search to apprehend him. I had just gotten my 15 minutes of fame. Love this radio. One of the Rothschilds is dead. Surprised no one talked about it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's because no one gives a shit about the Rothschilds. They want more. They want more dead people. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it was the Patriarch. He was, uh, he was like 80, 83 or something. I think he was one of the sons. Yeah. It was one of the one of the 85 Rothschilds. Uh, it does have two and three. Also, uh, the, the two PSP games. Ah. Not lolly. Shoot the gas, Lolly. Oh, oh shit. You might not be able to because of the auto aim. <laughs> Literally everyone but the gas cans. I can't believe Max is literally the acorn, uh, acorn cop. <laughs> Missed every shot you fire. Okay, that one. Okay, is they might hitting. not. They might not be explodable. Okay. The fuck? Is this wanted? <laughs> hey, wanted was a fun game. They're empty. Shut up. They're empty. Pills. Max, Jesus, fuck, man. Be angry. Yeah, I, I miss I miss game design like this where it's it's okay. We have a hotel, we have yeah. a layout designed for it, and then somewhere in development, you're like, oh shit, the, this fucking hallway just makes uh, like half the level completely completely surpassable. How do we fix that? Brick it up. What? Yeah. Brick it up. Just put bricks everywhere. Why would I do that? Fuck you, put a brick there! It's an old CD rundown hotel. Will anyone ask any fucking questions? <laughs> Damn, you right, my bad. Thank you, Lawrence. My lady. My lord. He's beyond angry. He's in pain. Hey, I want it was decent. He's going to was just called pussy. Yeah, that's in line with that's in line with the comic. Yeah. Okay. That dude's silo that dude's silhouette is on the wall, bro. Real John Woo hours. V head junkies could go off without a That's warning. intentional show to, yeah. You don't accidentally brick up walls, dog. 
I like making brown bricks and max pain surface. Surface. This is a horror mansion. Brick it up. Well. Where's the other guy? Uh, in that room right there, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, there he is. I love the warp jazz music playing as I'm tearing the goo to yeah. pieces. It's fucking great. That gasoline barrel is more dangerous and empty uh, than feel because science. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. All the vapors. Yeah. Uh, did you guys ever play Wet? If so, what did you think of it mid? It was okay. Piece of crap. Oh, careful. It might Shot the back. silhouette as soul still dancing. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, what's the whole meme of a police officer shooting acorns? Did I miss something? Nah, a uh, uh, police officer was... was uh... Oh, we're dead. I uh, threw a grenade and it bounced off the door and I couldn't ooh. move in time. Uh, a police officer was was walking outside his cruiser after he ap apprehended a, a dude, and uh, an acorn fell on top of his police cruiser, and he he dove behind his car and unloaded two uh, uh, two mags at the, at the guy he just arrested. The guy he knew was handcuffed. Yeah. Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! Reloads, doesn't hear anything, continues to fire at unarmed individual. <laughs> just starts shooting the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna try something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eat shit. In a sli- yeah. Oh, there we go. Yay! In a slightly more comedic timeline, uh, and by comedic, I mean incredibly dark timeline, that guy went on a fucking, uh, a massacre going door to door shooting people. Try to do your best rebel yell. A crap I had to be careful. Fucking hell, that guy was on edge. Yeah, dude. Is Max a vigilante or something in this game? Yes. Uh, 50-50. He is a police officer that has been framed for murder. Uh, the murder of his partner as he's trying to investigate the drug ring that killed his family. So he is on paper a vigilante when in truth he is a police officer fighting corruption. Yeah. Shoot the lock, Lolly. I know, but I want to use a gun that is not going to be too much of a <laughs> Bink. Drink throws when your grenade pounced off the door. It knew what was going on. Okay. Piece of crap. So it was this room. <laughs> and I used that grenade for nothing. Kick back. Oh. Bink. Bink. Oh. Uh, Acorn cop happened in my county too. He even went on the floor saying he was hit. Yeah. You can you can, you can look up his body cam footage. Wait a minute, he, he started screaming he was hit? Yeah, he did. Like, he like he's literally, he dove behind his, his cruiser, sc uh, screaming, shots fired, shots fired, I've been hit, and <laughs> why he's opening fire. That is literally the joke from Men Who Stare at Goats. Yeah. <laughs> so good. That's alarm, it's an acorn shoots more, just to make sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> believed to be armed and extremely dangerous. And now the weather. The worst winter storm in recorded history continues to pound. I think my plate caught it. <laughs> this party had been dead for a while. I got my I flaming say, buffalo sorry, back. Show. Oh no. See, I'm like cosplaying as Max is still great. Oh yeah, oh, they yeah. they have that they have the full outfit because uh, in the like if you notice in the cutscenes it's all pictures of Sam Lake, uh, in costume. They have uh, at the, at Remedy Studio they have the full costume for Sam in like a glass case. It's yeah. the same one that he wore. It's fucking great. Did Billy Joel receive some crazy head that sparked Rebel Yell? Probably. Probably. I mean, a lot of his songs are about fucking chicks. What are your thoughts on the Max Payne movie? It is fucking aggressively bad. Yeah. Mark Wahlberg as Max Payne is not the worst idea. Okay. That movie was a very bad idea. It's a, uh, he's okay, but the only reason he's, he even has the role is because he was a 
born? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because he, he was... No, no. 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 Uh, Matt Damon was Jason Bourne. Oh, God. I can't believe Mark Mark Wahlberg and... Uh, and uh, Matt, da Matt Damon are the same person. It's the guy from iCarly. Uh, it's the guy from iCarly and uh, uh, Hawkeye all over again, chat. Where did receive the letter? I don't blame Wahlberg. I blame the writers. Yeah, yeah they, yeah. like... Listen, I'm not going to sit here and look you dead in the eye and go, no, a superhero drug a superhero drug needs to be taken super duper Our seriously. But turning it into, like, actual Punchinella fucking, like, demons, and, demons angels. and angels is All dumb as shit. Yeah. Jack Lupino. The letter in Muerte's room was signed by the... Remember watching himself. Inuyasha after reading the manga? The I noticed there was a bit of censoring or some things, like, with uh, Mukotsu uh, of the Band of Seven being heavily toned down. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Punchinello family bailed you out. Uh, Spencer... Oh, no, did I say Ar I, Carly? I meant, uh... Hannah Montana, there you go. No, I Carly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Spencer and Hawkeye, same guy. <laughs> Listen, chat, L look up the guy that plays uh, 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 Hannah Montana's brother in the TV show, and look up uh, look up Hawkeye and put pictures right next to each other, and you'll understand why they're the same person. <laughs> hey, show to how do I raise my hollow Oshi Noel? It's too late. I love I love this room. This is the best room in the game. The best room. I don't know why they were keeping shotguns in here, but I'm not gonna <laughs> complain. Mark Wahlberg should have been Nathan Drake. Yeah. Oh, I, I I agree that he's too old, but like maybe he just shouldn't have been in the movie. Maybe Tom Holland should have also not been in the movie. They're doing a sequel. Oh god. I, I listen. Okay, the, it, it's the worst thing because Tom Holland works uh, as like a. Tom Holland has the acting chops to pull off a, a very wide range of characters, but man, I climb it. no, I want to climb it. No, uh, man is 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 uncharted. Not a good fit for him. Yeah, well, the, he has that problem where he has permanent baby face. He does have like he permanently like. He's a good fit for Peter Parker as a as a teenager because he will always look like a teenager until he's probably until he's like thirty. Yeah. I didn't want to know what had happened here. It was not a pretty. But he sight. he can play like a like a more hardcore character. Just look at uh. Devil all the time. Yeah, devil all the time. Maybe the movie just shouldn't have been made. Yeah. See. Yeah. Nathan Fillion was the best Drake. Oh, oh fuck. Uh, but Sasamaru uh, killing uh, Mikotsu in the manga when compared to the anime is well deserved either way. Uh, Mikotsu tried to rape Kagome in the manga, and it's just. I don't know, Rumiko could. I didn't know Rumiko could get that dark. Oh, no, yeah, she absolutely yeah. could. Also, uh, a banger, banger mangaka, by the way. She's got like. Eight of her stories adapted in the anime. Yeah. Very successful anime, by the way. Yeah, she's straight up, I think, one of the richest manga authors in Japan. I think she's the richest what? female manga author. Oh. Just love aesthetic. Great. This is a good aesthetic for a game. Oh. Yeah. Uncharted fan film had just as better casting. Yeah, Nathan Fillion. Yeah. We also know that Tom can accurately play a guy taking it up the ass. I imagine he probably had to to get Spider-Man. I found Morte's room. Did you see Cherry? Morte received a letter. You mean the gay one? Yeah. I do like that word. For some reason, it is just rigged to shoot you. <laughs> yeah. Read the note, Lolly. Find out why they yeah. shoot us. Uh, Our investigation had turned up nothing to link Angelo Punchinello, the head of the Punchinello family, to Val They aren't lollies, they're goblins, yeah, right? With Jack Lupino. Uh, did you see Cherry with Tom the Holland? I have not. Was signed by the Don himself. Was, was it with Little Sisters being in Inuyasha? I mean, my uh, sister was obsessed with it when she was a kid. Inuyasha was a big hit among teenage girls. Yeah. Because Inuyasha, chat, look, a, look up a fucking picture of him. Yeah. Yursa Yatsura, Mermaid Saga, Inuyasha, Ron Lahaf, Mason and Koku, uh, Rumiko Cedar, and Rumiko World, and more. And she's still working on new manga. Yeah, I think it's called Mal. Uh, yes, it is Mal. Uh, just putting fucking so bangers out, dude. Point of no return, I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it. Meow. He's a cat boy, yeah? 
Was it a cat? I kept thinking it was like was a, a wolf. Fox? Fox or wolf or something. Yeah, it was something like that where I'm like, I thought it was like a weird dog thing. Mm. Canine adjacent. Yeah. White girls fuck dogs. They really fucked them. I guess teen chicks like cat boys. It appears so. Mm -hmm. It appears so. Fox Demon, nah, he's a cat boy now. I don't know why they're making Timothy Chalamet uh, and uh, putting him in manly roles when his breakout role was trying to get uh, trying to get fucked by an older man. I'm not even kidding. I yeah. I want to know what it happened yeah. here. It was not a pretty sight. Angelo, the crinklier Punchinello. <laughs> Women love white-haired anime boys. He was half dog demon. <laughs> that, that that's all. That's all they need. Wally, no. God damn it. The biggest challenge of this game right now. Fucking tight-ass platforming with the <laughs> PS2 controls. Well, white boys love cat girls, yeah. I love cat girls. Uh, uh, white women love uh, anthropomorphic dogs. It's just human nature, chat. Stop jumping off of roofs! No. I like telling him she's shall man doom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's okay in Dune, because he's not playing some hyper-masculine character. No, in fact, it's kind of the entire film. He's yeah. not. Where did receive the letter? I do like that the, the, the chair actually moves back yeah. from the force of it. Our investigation well, fuck it, I found this. I've played this game for 20 years. The head of the there we go. <laughs> the one thing I'll agree with Bennett the Sage on is that there's strange S and M uh, vibes from from the foundation of Kagome and Inuyasha's relationship. He's a grown ass demon fox trying to fuck a teenager. Chat, though to be fair, in his defense, he didn't want it at first. And he's written by a woman. He ain't got a choice in the matter. Yeah. I will break down the wolf boy. Please don't. Dog, I don't want him, man. Not... Did you say dog? Please. Bink. Bink. Use the hammer, Lolly. Bing, 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 bing. I'm gonna bring this hotel I'm down. Gonna bring it down. <laughs> I'm gonna bring it down. Make the beds vibrate. You can. Alright. Okay. So this time. I know an ortho bro who likes it in Yash because apparently he noticed a lot of traditional messaging in it. Just resume the game. Just resume game. There's no save option. Yeah, no. Quick saves don't exist, Lolly. These are the good old days. Don't be a bitch. Don't fall. Yeah, just take it slow. I didn't want to know what it happened. Got an inch your happy ass off. It's not a pretty sight. Uh, strangely, Inuyasha was published uh, in a Shonen magazine, despite it obviously having an appeal to teenage girls. I mean, it is still it is still like Shonen shit. Oh yeah, I man, it's mainly an action series. Mm -hmm. It's just the fact that teenage girls liked yeah. it a lot. The, the fucking vibe between Inuyasha and his brother was just straight up... It was just straight up Virgil... Lolly, for the love of God! <laughs> eh. It was just straight up Virgil and Dante. At this point, the game's doing it on purpose. I really think it's doing it on purpose now. Quick save was on the Xbox version. You lying, bitch. Oh, no. Oh, no. The good old days of yelling at 3 a.m. on a school day for an imminent ass whooping. Got him down. Oh, Mom, you don't understand. The game's the game bullying me. <laughs> Gravity 3, Lolly 0. Let's see how high we can get this number, boys. So, Sesamaru is Doggo Virgil. He fucking is. Dude shows up, is a complete and total asshole. Molly whops. Molly whops in Yasha and moves on. That's a load bearing destroyed beam. <laughs> there you go, I'm bed vibrate. Yeah, It was. I played the Xbox version. I did also play the Xbox version. If or when Dune Messiah movie comes out, uh, how hard are people going to get filtered by Paul's arc? I don't know. That is the big question, because, like, Dune, Dune will very, very, very quickly show that, hey, don't go into this expecting Star Wars. <sighs> right. <coughs> no, but it's wars in space. It is literally throwing me off the wall. Holy shit. <laughs> the vibrating bed make fucking harder? No? 
I didn't want to know what had happened here. You got a small dick. It was not a pretty sight. <coughs> oh god. Does he yell at people to get motivated enough? I mean, he kind of does. Okay. All right. All right, now rotate, lolly. Yeah. Rotate. Rotate. Yeah. All right. Now fuck the wall. No, lolly, don't do it. You're going to die. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> now take out your gun. It was genuinely terrifying. Should I start with uh, with Dune? The books, the movie with uh, Captain Picard, or the new one? Uh, the the old Dune movie is is, is uh, very inaccurate to the books. Yeah. Might as well just start with the books because uh, they're gonna get finished. Uh, you can finish those before uh, the movies will be all out. Yeah. And no movie's gonna be as close to the the book material as you know. Uh, I still understand if laser jaw on shield equals nuke. Why isn't it abused by the Emperor? The story chat, what the you hell? dumbass. Because do you really want to normalize everybody nuking each other? Sure. There'll be no planets left to conquer. This has been waiting to happen. <laughs> Hold it. Yeah. Uh, stick with the books and stay far, far away from the extended universe trap. Yeah. I still like Lynch's Dune. Lynch's Dune is fun. Lynch's Dune is fun. Uh, Lynch understands how to make a movie for, for the layman. To the point where uh, Dune is still entertaining for for normal folks, even yeah. with all his. Dumb it's how a lot shit. of people. It's how a lot of people got introduced to Dune. That is true. Yeah. Normalized Longer nuking plants. No. On the table. Uh, showed asked Lohan how much uh, MGP he shaved. He has saved up in fourteen. He needs two hundred K for the car. Reed would have made a vice cop blush. <clears throat> had talks with uh, the mystery hag over the Probably more than plenty. Again. I have not fucked with golden Alfred. saucer at all. As long as the hag keeps MGP's paying not hard the to get. tapes, okay. the old man could come every day for all I get. She had a nice sideline. Making oh, what's an example where you think the movie's better than the book it's based on? The bitter. Uh, very uh, rarely uh, is that really ever a thing. The yeah. For the day didn't do it first. Closest you get is being able to, to fully enjoy both. Yeah. But when Dune 2 this year? No. Yeah, this year. Later this yeah. year. Yeah, it's supposed to be. I guess you could argue Lord of the Rings because that introduced a lot of elements that, you know, people recognize and love. Yeah. I, I fucking love this this yeah. fucking perv room, dude. It's great. <clears throat> also, perv room with, with ammo for weapons. Yeah, it's great. And you can most you can most assuredly know that it was used for not very kosher things. Oh yeah. Any chance to do an RTS game will get re-released, or is it tied up in the right cell? Uh, it's probably tied up in the right cell. I don't want to think about that shit. Jesus. Because, like, Dune 2 is literally the bedrock to, like, almost every single modern RTS. Uh, Pokemon Z through A will give us uh, the conclusion of the debate on whether or not Hex Maniac is flat or not. <laughs> so true, chat. So true. Uh, Blade Runner, I like it more than, than do uh, Android Stream with Electric Sheep. Those are also two very different things, to the point where it's not it's not called to do Android Dream of Electric Sheep. Does Fortune have a motorcycle mount? Need motivation to grind for guild. It yeah. does. Yeah, the FF7 motorbike. Yeah, you've got the FF7 motorbike, and you've got the the one with the uh, the seat, the, the, the extra sidecar. Yeah. To the bowels of Jack Lupino's hotel. Both cost like fifteen bucks. Yeah. The old Dune games are owned by EA. Fuck. <clears throat> You're never seeing them again, Chad. I guess Stephen King's it because they looked at the character when uh, the chapter when the kids, uh, the kids fucked and unanimously agreed that it was weird, and messed up. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I'll agree there. The, the yeah, the Steph Curry it, fantastic. That is my favorite version of it. Just because he is fantastic in it. He is. He is. He's fantastic in it. I like all the actors. They do a good job. The, the kids that act in it, I remember them. I remember liking the kids that, that, that played in it. Yeah. The the new, the remake one wasn't bad. It's just the fact that... Yeah. It's just the fact that, like, uh, it leaned too hard in trying to be Stranger area. Things. As both freezing rain yeah. and heavy snowfall uh, it already had one of the characters, yeah. I think two of them. Two of them, yeah. To stay uh, the Terminalist the show was much better than the book. New York for three days now, I'm willing to believe that. Yeah. And in sight. Uh, I kind of dislike Paul, and I prefer uh, Harkonnen since he was more in pain than Paul. Oh, you from. would. 
but the snowbound Tim Curry? Nah, side. Steph Curry. Less chance the of basketball player. Yeah. Caught in the crossfire. In fact, it was the first film Seth Green was in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He played uh, Richie, I think. The the comedian. Yeah. He plays the... He doesn't play the... Uh, he doesn't play the adult. He plays the kid. Yeah, he plays the kid. Uh, the, the version that needs the inhaler, I think. No, I say he played the comedian kid. Uh, I thought the comedian kid was the one that needed the inhaler. No, that was the one that lived with his mom. Okay. I don't remember his name. Oh, you mean all of them? Because they're children and they all live with their moms? The, the one who, as an adult, lives with his mom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, part two was really bad. Yeah, I, I never went to go see part yeah, two. It, it was ass. Literally, everyone agrees it was ass. I, I like I watched part one and I was like, you know what? The the stuff that because I think I think we all watched it in, in movie theaters together. Yeah. Uh, I watched it and I was like, you know what? This isn't good enough to warrant me coming back and seeing part two. Yeah. I and, like Skarsgård. Like Skarsgård's good. He's good in anything he's in. Yeah. Especially with the fact that like part two is covering material that everyone agrees is like the weaker part of the book, mm -hmm. which is the adults. Yeah. Father's better than Exhibit the book. Number one, ooh, ooh. Newspaper. You guys, that's on Square Enix shooting themselves in the foot with the censorship patch for a four-year-old game after the beach stuff in front of the system rebirth. I also, wouldn't go so far as to call it a a shoot yourself in the foot, but it definitely is a thing of they have no idea what direction to go down. Yeah, I mean, they just they just got a bunch of negative press for really no reason. Yeah. Uh, also, why the fuck is the pa is the patch eight gigs? So I, I can give you a definitive reason why the, the patch is eight gigs. Uh, it's because they had to patch every language. Yeah. It is it is a it is a file for the credits. Uh, the the scene is in the credits for flashbacks, uh, and they had to go in and they had to change that for every single language. Yeah. Uh, there's like 10 gigabytes of, of cutscene, so they had to go in and, and modify those 10 gigabytes. And it's literally just the cutscene. Like, it, there's like minor bug fixes, but the majority is them uh, fucking with the cutscenes and changing the, the titles. Yeah, it's just it's just the uh, just cutscene. Why is it only taking uh, the form of a clown to the adults? Shouldn't he be much weirder? He goes, he goes, uh. The book explains it. Um. Yeah. It uses it as a symbol in, in the old days before you know modern culture arrived. It used it as a symbol to lure in children, where it's like, "I'm a funny clown, come hang out with me." Uh, in the more modern era, when the story was kind of taking place, I say modern, it was in the 1950s. Mm -hmm. Clowns are kind of being seen as like spooky and creepy, so it used it on two fronts, where like a kid might like a clown, but on the other hand, you might have a kid who's freaked out by a clown, and Pennywise likes fear. Yeah. So it, it got to win on both fronts. Also, it's a reference to. You know, uh, fucking, what's his face? Uh, Killer Clown, John Wayne Gacy. Yeah. Uh, they also altered some of the dialogue in the game. I haven't seen any of that. Uh, they actually made it closer to the JP script. Oh, yeah, no, you're right, you're right. Uh, they altered the the ending of the game. Where Aerith uh, is talking about the yeah. sky. Yeah. Because uh, I, I remember that when the game came out, and I was like, that's not what she said. Which, it, it, it's what she said in the original game, but it's not the, it's not what's actually being said there. Yeah. Uh, I, I like the I like yeah, the one that's closer a lot more. Because yeah. uh, she just looks up and says, the sky, I don't like it. Yeah. Because something's wrong with it, because she yeah, knows what's coming. I don't like coming. the sky, yes, because it's fucking covered in smog. It's coming in smog, and, and it also is like when you find out about the ancients and her role in it, it's like, yeah. oh, she knows what's coming. She knows meters. Yeah. I was, I, uh, I, I, I never was never scared of clowns or understood the fear. Uh, fear usually isn't something you can understand. Yeah. And Pennywise is a shapeshifter, so he just turned to something you are freaked out about. He he shapeshifts into like four different things for each of the kids. This kind of this kind of dope. A lifetime ago, this would have gone down as a narcotics arrest. Uh, yeah, no, I like I, I like the change There's to be more in line with what was actually said in the yeah. in the JP version. That, that's why I'm saying it's this is not a a blanket oh shot themselves in the foot thing this is a very like they have no idea what they're fucking doing at this point well they 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 made that they made that change to be more in line with uh the transparent with the cylinders shoot glow shoot green shoot full of Val uh, to be more in line with uh not today oh, terrorism yeah we got those fucking we got those those diseases everywhere fuck yeah cdc eat your heart out I do miss Tim Curry's act. It was good. It was good. Uh, yeah, we got the we got the patch to bring it more in line, and people people were using it as a gotcha. And it's like, oh yeah, I bet you don't like this as much as you like the old line. And I was like, no, no, I like this. I like this better. Yeah, it actually is good. Yeah, it fits more in line with the story. Once again, like when you know the context of who Aerith is and the what she's doing, it's like, all right, that's actually kind of clever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, you say Pennywise can shapeshift into anything that scares me, but can he turn into a lonely and loveless life? I think not. He can make you live a lonely, loveless life. Yeah, actually, literally, yeah. Uh, Coraline's a good example of a great adaptation. That's true. Excuse me. Uh, Stephen Curry, it the swinger for the LA Lakers. Yes. Ready to murder each other. I fucking this is the best cutscene in the entire game, dude. Yeah, it's so I great. love it. I love this like portly guy that looks like they got it like a, a seventeen year old kid to yeah. come in and do this scene. He sets new video basically reviews uh, three games of one. Yeah, he talked about uh Dungeon Siege, which was pretty cool. Oh yeah. But Dungeon Siege two. I was so depressed. I strangled them. What's she doing? Oh no! Oh, Rico, you're so bad. Oh, Rico, you're so I bad. I am, ain't I? <laughs> Anyone that's can pull Thanos just make your life fucking miserable. Yes. He does it for fun. Yeah. Rico if you're in his town. Big time hustler. Who the hell? It's that cop. Muerte went for his gun. Muerte went for his gun. Well, he opened fire. And kill women. Uh, Listen, she just really likes sucking dick, okay? She likes sucking dick so much she's willing to shoot a cop over it. You're under arrest, sir. You're under arrest. Oh my god! Uh, Dean Koontz is better than Stephen King. I mean, yeah. Some of his stories were genuinely better, yeah. I don't like very many Stephen King stories, and I like Stephen King very, uh, much less. Yeah. Look at his pants down. Yeah, he was getting his dick sucked! Shoot him in the dick. No way oh. for you. <laughs> Mom told me to wash my ass. 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 You violated, you violated the law. Okay, that killed him. Yeah. Toasted, baby. He was serving sausage. <laughs> Uh, I still don't know why they wanted to censor Tifa's outfit like that, especially now uh, it puts into question what other games will get censored like that. Uh, if you want to give them, give the uh, have a good faith argument, it's because uh, Rebirth and Crisis Core had had the uh, yeah. censored version of the outfit. So they're and trying the only to keep outlier, it quote unquote consistent. Yeah, the only outlier was a uh, integrate. Yeah, integrate. Still stupid. Oh yeah, for it's sure. like we'll just make integrate like yeah, just give us the actual fucking outfit instead of your dumbass ESG compliant Tifa outfit. Yeah. Especially since already, like, going full fan service with other moments of the game. It's like, yeah. who the fuck cares? It's not even that risque of an outfit. I know people are going like, oh, you just don't want to... You, you just want to look at, at her cleavage. It's like, it's not even that fucking egregious. Yeah, it's not. Wait, Rico didn't say Free Palestine? Of course not. Because we burned that bitch. Do you hear about the comic where Thanos fucked with a kid on his birthday since he was born just because? Like, killing yeah. his parents, getting him fired? Yeah. And killing his cat. I think he also killed his wife. Oh, probably. Are you freaking kidding me? It's just one lousy cop. You better be freaking kidding me. Yeah, uh, there was an announced the ESG was being phased out of Japan, so this patch may be its last dying breath. Possible. It probably took the word months to out. make. A deadly virus released into the city. Uh, Cripper, five bucks. Stephen uh, King is a butt fish. I refuse to read his books. This way uh, but if you take this one, uh, one story from a different view, and it's actually based, don't care. Don't care. Yeah. Oh, no, I fully agree. Uh, yeah, I don't care if it's based as a good fucking story or not. The answer is most likely no. Yeah. Like, I, I fully agree, because uh, The Shining, the Kubrick version of The Shining, is a million times better than the book. Uh, why would Bluehead whale so, so insecure about uh, pixelated Bluehead? Well, according to an interview with uh, a game dev who remained unnamed, probably because he wants to uh, keep employment in the industry, yeah. uh, he said it's to appeal to trannies. Yeah, like, quite literally, it is yeah, to he, appeal he to said, trannies. He said outright it's, it's to appeal to trannies, because... Uh, of course, it, uh, and in his own words, or maybe her own words, I don't know, uh, it was, uh, it was... That was the Naughty Dog come, whistleblower, right? Uh, I don't know, it might have been. It was a recent interview, from, uh, if I remember correctly. Uh, they said, uh, they said it was, um, you know, obviously women come in all shapes and sizes, uh, unless they're trans, in which case they have, uh, they physically cannot grow, uh, no matter what drugs they take, they, they can't manage to grow, a uh, naturally large breasts. And most most of them don't have the funds to just spend on getting plastic surgery to have large breasts. TTD. Listen, we will uh, eventually people will just stop. T 
touching on the concept of trannies because even when it's done really well, they don't like it. Yeah, they don't like it. It's, ne like, it's never, even if it's done perfectly, it's never good enough. They can grow moves. Oh no. Like that, that, that's why I legitimately believe that a lot of the shit not quite look, look coming the, to the, an look at the building. Look yeah. At the building. It, it is not quite coming to an end and, and more yeah, welcome e to New York. Yeah, it's so, so cool. It, it's more along the lines of like people are kind of just catching on to the fact of I burned my entire company to the ground trying to make you happy and you are not happy. Yeah. What the fuck did I do all this for? Yeah. You know, I I've, I've said repeatedly over and over again that like money is the deciding factor to a lot of different shit. Oh yeah. Everyone kept trying to go like Oh, no, no, they don't care about money. They're going to ingrain it in this way and that way, and they're truly going to believe it. No, they fucking don't. Yeah. How, how many times have we specifically talked about people who did not believe a fucking word they were saying, changing their opinion because it got them money? Yeah. They do that shit. It's all about financial gain. You fuck with people's financial gain, they're not going to fucking do shit anymore. Mm -hmm. So why would they? There's no yeah. advantage to it. Yeah. The best, uh, the best training is Erica, and even then she wasn't good enough. Yeah. Yeah. Quite literally, they had one of the best cases of trans representation in a game with Catherine, with yeah. Erica. And they still bitched and literally called her a minstrel show. Yes. Uh, it, yeah. It's 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 dumb. Uh, apparently, it's only when uh, apparently it's only when it's a flashback to when she was fourteen. Apparently, I don't know if I if I can believe that. Uh, she's fifteen, and uh, they don't care. It's the only yeah they, they they don't they don't care. Don't let anyone anyone say anything like that. Uh, game developers don't give a shit. Um, and the, that's the only time she appears in the game in that in that outfit. Sure, they hell in that flashback. Are. Uh, did the VA voice Denton in Deus Ex? I didn't ask for this. Yes. Modern representation is a scam. It is quite literal. Oh, it's a horrible scam, and and that's what I mean by like you're you're gonna start seeing it creep out more and more. The the fact you can have a whistleblower come out and say yes, we are doing this to appeal to trainees, mm -hmm. that's a pretty major sign right there, because that's immediately like, well, hey, it's, they it's... are not underrepresented at all. We are going out of our way to appeal to them, and they still bitch. Yeah. Well, it's, it, it's to appeal to the trans crowd, uh, specifically because they're afraid of them for some reason. Yeah. Uh, Blaze and Pulse for $5. When you guys get a chance to check out the channel that uh, has Max Payne in different games, narrating what he sees, uh, it's great. Huh. Sounds pretty fun. Of course, it's a scam that benefits no one. Yeah. It's a scam that benefits literally nobody. Which is astonishing that they think that this is something to, I don't know, dedicate to? Mm -hmm. Cause yeah, look at all the layoffs happening right now in games. Now, not all of it is is because no, the tranny no. ruined everything. It, I mean, it's the the market's crashing. Yeah, there's a much larger global economic issue at the moment. Well, uh, game games in general have been massively overblown and bloated. Yeah, uh, they've been getting these obscene, over the top budgets, and uh, have not been making their returns. Uh, when everyone represented, no one will be. Yeah, quite literally. <laughs> Listen, chat. The economy's in shambles. Like, actually, the economy's in shambles. Even if they do believe their own shit, no money will make them shut their mouths. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I am legitimately trying to remember what to do. Because I think that's how you get back there. How do we get out of here? I forgot. Ooh, the vending machine. Do it. I got the soda. <laughs> Uh, have you seen the cop show, The Shield? If not, it seems to be up your alley. Shield's really good. Shield's fun. Uh, my favorite scene, I can't remember the actor's name. Uh, Michael Chiklis. Michael Chiklis, yes. Ma Michael Chiklis. My favorite scene in that entire that entire thing is when he beats a pedophile with a book. Yeah. It's so good. <laughs> oh, Lolly, the president said the economy is good or river. Yeah, right. He's like, oh, God. Oh, God. It really is that bad. Spider-Man 2 costing $300 million still baffles me. What the fuck did they spend it on? Latinx representation training videos? Unironically, yeah. they might have. Yeah. Uh, press the exit button and run to the double doors. I see. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I remember now. Thanks. I forgot. This one's weird. Mm -hmm. You gotta be You gotta be buzzed in. Should have been right at least twice. I, I'm I'm right so much the we had to get a, uh, another whiteboard chat. Face the thing moment. Yeah. He did put the thing... The Get to the doors. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Well, they showed inflation's a good thing. Yeah. It was government store refused to admit we've entered a recession with Japan, UK, or open about it. Yeah. And and that's what I mean by like a, a lot of the shit going on right now in regards to uh, game layoffs and all that, or 
are, are kind of a big Turn moment around, where people are just flat out down, ignoring reality and going, no, nothing's down. wrong, nothing's wrong. I wasn't that we can small. still afford to uh, to hire Sweet Baby to advise. Like, for all Suicide Squad was very proudly Lauren Sweet shot. Baby. Lauren they they plastered Sweet Baby all over that game. You had fucking people who worked at Sweet Baby bragging about it. And it is now one of the biggest flops of the year. And we're not even we're, we're not even done with February yet. Yeah, you gotta love it. Yeah. So, game companies are cutting the fat like crazy because the recession is hitting the entire world pretty fucking hard. And now they just saw Suicide Squad with Warner Bros. tucking their fucking tail between their legs and going, Yes, this did not make us near the money that we wanted. Holy shit, we are scared. Alright, what's the first thing they're gonna do? Why the fuck are we hiring ESG companies when they're not doing anything? They're not giving us anything. Well, I'm talking about the seven people who say they gave Tifa her tits back. Clearly, don't remember her having a sports bra. Uh, even her boobs and her dress was was the yeah. sound of a mob war. I, I don't think waged. they made her her breast any bigger for the for the swimsuit. I really don't. No, I don't. I think it's just the fact you can see them now. Yeah, it's a swimsuit. Yeah, they're on display. And yeah, as stated before, like Final Fantasy VII remake, people kind of forget there was fan service in that game. Like. You had Scarlet showing them off. You had Tifa showing them off. Like, it was there. Yeah. Make a fun game. That's all you gotta do, man. Uh, I kind of said they didn't continue with the comic book aesthetic for the Another future bomb game. Exploded inside yeah, the closest but that's, uh, that's the nature of getting more money. <laughs> Inflation's <laughs> pretty kinky, guys. I, I don't know, know if I want to talk so day. openly about our more fetishes. <laughs> And the cops would already be on their way. Uh, I keep seeing Jack clips Lupino's of SS and a few uh, sparse bits of At what it should have been. Be, uh, like be shark belittling uh, Wonder Woman over Kryptonite Shield. Yeah. Yeah. Which is better, inflation or inflation? Yeah. Well, uh, okay, all you need to know about Suicide Squad is it opens in media res to something that happens after the game ends because know, they need to add it in their in their fucking out. season pass shit. Yeah. You get you get a naturally unfinished part of the game, and then on top of that, it goes into multiverse bullshit. Oh, this map, yeah. Anything? Listen, okay, listen. So it's just quite a shit, and that's what I mean. Like, you have a period right now where game companies have to cut the fat and cut back on expenses. Sony has cut over a thousand, like almost a thousand jobs at this point. They're at nine hundred. Mm -hmm. Uh, so companies like Sweet Baby have to prove that they are necessary and they need to exist. Like, they have to... Th this is a moment where they quite literally need to go, all right, we need to just fire jobs. They can go ahead and not do that, but that's only going to cause problems. It's all like the localization industry doing whatever it can to shit in the pot that, that they eat from with people going, hey, why don't we just use AI to translate everything? Why don't we just do this? Because this is why I said the, the Unicorn Overlord translation, say what you want about it being Shakespearean and flowery, that's a million times better than Leroy Jenkins Among Us, sus, sus, sus. You know what I mean? Like, the fact that all they did was make it Shakespearean is a pretty big fucking improvement. Mm -hmm. Imagine you being halfway through the second month of the year and your big AAA live service game flops uh, so damn hard everyone isn't expecting your blunder to be at the top for another 10 months. Could be. Uh, some positions Christian to draw Persona 3 fans. This is not a drill. I repeat, it is not a drill. Oh god, keep Chris far away from Persona. Can't handle it. Especially 3. Yeah. Come on, Chris. Use the evoker. Do it. Someone's actually going to try to trick him to do that. Uh, we're going to see a mass extinction event for game studios. Uh, most are still around, but will they stay around? That is the question. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, for five bucks. Uh, if the book's going to be put away somewhere, uh, then it will be in gaming first. Uh, I don't know about anything else. Maybe we'll screw it for a while. Yeah. The whole building was rigged with explosives. Like I said, it, it's a thing of this is not going to magically go away and, and the army routed and, and we saved Minas Tirith. You know, nothing like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, kind of funny how everyone was talking about how the gaming industry was too big to fail. Uh, now they're getting kicked in the nuts with a bag of nickel constantly with the layoffs. Uh, gaming yeah. Crash 2, Electric Boogaloo, let's go! Anyone that says too big to fail, they're the exact retard that drives the company to the ground. <laughs> Christian already played Persona 5. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I just want a Superman game already, but we'll never. We're empty, Lolly. Give it up. I don't want to die. They paid him $200 for that commission. Jesus, fuck. 
See, chat, all you need to do, all you need to do to get famous on the internet and make money doing menial shit is to take a knife to your gooch and fuck your mom. Yeah, quite literally. <coughs> People will just think you're cool enough to do it. Yeah. That's why MJ looks like a true Spider-Man too. Uh, she, I, 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 uh, they just used her model from the first game. Yeah. That was, that was, that was a big thing. Because they don't have any reason to lie about it. Yeah, like, it, it's a thing where to believe the conspiracy theory about it being the intern, A, you'd have to imagine them putting credence for a fucking intern mm -hmm. above over, you know, the actual modeled actress. Uh, and B, they would lie for them, even though yeah. they outright said, I only worked there for a few months. There, there was a lot of shit about that. Like, MJ looked yeah. off, but... I, I still stand by the point of, like, everyone in that game looked off. The It was very yeah. Uncanny Valley. Yeah. It doesn't help that the fucking main character was changed to look more like, uh, fucking Tom Holland. Yeah. And he didn't even look like Tom Holland that much. They they say, uh, they're like, oh, I was supposed to make him look more like Yuri Lowenthal. And it's like, Yuri Lowenthal's a fucking 40-year-old man, dude. Stop defending the MJ face. I'm not. I'm saying don't no. buy into bullshit cult posting. Yeah. Yeah, the cold posting is just blatant lies, and you need to make sure you're not being led around by the nose. Because uh, uh, you, you guys like to like to do that a lot, where you're like, no, but like 4chan said, and it's like, yeah, 4chan says a lot of things. Yeah. Glib facsimile for Tim Buckaroos. I work in Hollywood, and the uh, overwhelming impression is that big money people are scared. Uh, no one below the line has any money. There might even be another strike, but it's highly un uh, unpopular. See, that's interesting. I'd be surprised. I'd be surprised. Big money people being scared is interesting, because it's like, motherfucker, you're the guys with leverage. Yeah. I'm doing it. Uh, I can do a flowery dialogue. Fire walk with Ooh. me! No! Wasn't there sprinklers? You just look up and shoot the sprinklers? I wanted to do that, though. <laughs> MJ face looked bad, but everyone's face looked bad. That's my point. It's yeah. like, I, I don't believe the idea of like, oh, but they made this specific intern into like the, uh, the, the, the OC and do not steal. It's like, no, because everyone in the game looked like shit. Yeah. Everyone. Everyone can go, well, Miles looked okay. No, he didn't look like a fucking alien. No, he looked, <laughs> yeah. he looked like a fucking alien. Uh, listen, chat, the only the only person that has been consistently done well... No, I guess there isn't. Uh, the only person that's been consistently done well uh, in this new age of, of scanning people into games is that black chick. Because she's yeah. always 100% on model. Yeah, and I think it's because she has it written in a contract or something. <laughs> Mr. Insane, five bucks. Hi, Lolly. We watched your Disco Elise and video. was wondering if you ever considering any videos on Persona. I definitely plan to. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to do it soon because that would mean going through Persona 4 again, mm -hmm. Persona 4 Golden. Because it specifically has to be Persona 4. Yes. Uh, and it's like, I already did a gaming video where I had to do that. And Persona 4 is a million times longer than fucking Disco Elysium. Yeah. Uh, I can do with the flower dialogue if the gameplay is good. And from what I've uh, played of the Unicorn Overlord demo, it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, I, I don't like the flowery dialogue shit. I'd rather... I, I would rather they just... Just fucking, straight, yeah. Yeah, just do it straight. Uh, I've never really liked that Shakespearean dialogue, but it works so long as they're not changing the character. Like, yeah. And so far, they, they haven't. Yeah. Like, there's one moment where it's like a, a, a kid who says something about his mom, and it's like, all right, that is different. But at the same time, I am like, okay... They managed to keep the spirit of it, and this is not full of memes or bad jokes or anything. So far as the demo is concerned, the the original, the full game might be different. So it's like, all right, I, I'm not gonna throw the baby out with the bathwater and go, no, it's shit. Mm -hmm. Like, you you can have nuance in the sense of like, they got this right, but this part sucks. This part's pretty good, but that part's not great. You you can explain it without going worst thing ever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I didn't say she looked like uh, looked like the intern. I just said she looks uglier compared to what she, uh, she was in the previous game compared to her actress. Well, they, they like I said, they used the same exact model again. Yeah. Because uh, they outright, whenever people started uh, sharing that fucking cold post around, they outright came out and said, we just used the same model again. Yeah. Uh, the actress is, even showed pictures of her going into the studio. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is relevant, but the worst group of people in no particular order. Pokemon Nintendo fanboys, after uh, after they're pissing money about Power World like, uh, like a child tattling to their parents. Uh, the art community for spurring about AI when everyone else was just in fear of what AI is capable of, and they thought of losing their jobs uh, to AI being a possibility if voice actors. So true, chat. So true. I'm trying to remember how to get out of this. <laughs> uh, uh, game facts. Quite literally, yeah. Th this, <laughs> the, this is the part of the game I don't have a lot of memories of, so I'm like, how the fuck do I get out of here? Yeah, uh, Atlas looks like uh, Odin's, uh, Odin's Sphere, also from Vanillaware, in the same Shakespearean way. Yes, they did. Uh, the script for that game is also pretty... Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Uh, pretty well liked. Yeah. Yeah. I think rich people being scared is an insidious collective fear of what if I'm the next sucker kicked from the club because I'll, uh, I'm called racist or xenophobic. Uh, no, it's just they're afraid of losing money. Yeah. 
Uh, the fish face black woman uh, that keeps appearing in every fucking ass, uh, in every fucking ass uh, herself because no one finds that bitch attractive. Uh, she, I, I don't know, she. Uh, Heads for two bucks, shoot the tanks, you nerd. Shoot the tank. We can't shoot the tanks! Uh, yeah, can't shoot the tanks. Yeah. Uh, I will try this because mm -hmm. it did give me Molotov cocktails. Yeah. Molly. Molly. PS2 era, man. You yeah. just never knew. <laughs> you just never fucking knew. Uh, what horror franchise got its worst uh, then came when it came to bad sequels? Oh, I'd probably say Silent Hill. The whole building mm -hmm. was rigged with explosives. You guys, for two books. Oh, no, you already did it. You already yeah. said it. Uh, despite the danger of AI, I fully expect dumb CEOs to rush implementing it. They'd be surprised when they crash. Oh, 100%. There yeah, you go, I guess. Free Palestine. Oh! Uh, Vito Fast for two bucks. Max Payne says free Palestine. No. Like I said, the PS2 era, man. Like, you had no idea what to expect with games. Yeah. Uh, MJ's face model in 2 is not the same as the, as the actual model. They used the exact same model from the first game. Uh, they outright said it. Yeah. They they, they have no reason to, to lie to people when saying, oh, yeah, we redesigned the model uh, would prove that they did more work. Yeah. And on top of that, the, the actress once again outright said she did it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she did. She did post uh, post pictures of herself going into the studio. Yeah. Getting scanned. It's oh. one game uh, you like the majority of. Like, oh. uh, I don't know, man. That's up, Air Force Birdman. Uh, idiot. Yeah, complete fucking asshole. Anyone that lights himself on fire is an idiot, especially especially when they start screaming. Throwing them all got into an accident without your face change. No, she did. Yeah, she did. Like you can see once again, this is shit they publicly posted about. Like this is what I'm saying. Like don't don't take people at face value when they post about this shit, because you can just check and you see that like no, they're fine. Yeah. They're fine, and they just outright said like yeah, we poured them over because fuck it, we already had the models. The bigger issue is the fact everyone across the board looked like ass. Like mm -hmm. everyone keeps talking about Mary Jane. It's like dude, fucking Miles looks like an alien. The fucking his girlfriend looks like her face is, is yeah. squished in like a rat. Like they did not, they didn't make the transfer over very well. Am I speaking to Tibetan Monk was a G. He just sat there. He did. Yeah. If you're gonna burn, if you're gonna burn yourself alive, you at least be a G about it. Tell me something I don't know. I didn't bother because I never cared. That's what I mean! Yeah. If you're gonna fucking post about it, you gotta fucking care. You gotta have the right information on hand. Because then somebody will just go, well, that's not what fucking happened, and you look like a dumbass. For Israel, Max drugged up by K-Trucks. I'm not talking about the body model. The face was uh, deliberately changed. No! The body model was also the face model. The chick has posted about it. Like... Yeah, uh, people are just too lazy looking at anything. Plus, it's fun to stay It's fun to be angry all the time. Yeah. Well, like, uh, people who, like, cold post on Twitter, they do it as, as a goddamn profession. Yeah. Uh, they literally get paid for it. Yeah. Oh, no, Max is in trouble. Anyways. Shoot him the dick. I did. Yeah, I'm the dick. Yeah. Chad, I want you to know the auto-aim aimed for his dick. All right. As We're God innocent. Intended. We're innocent. Someone had left a letter it's on time the to go. There was a key on the shelf. <laughs> Did I free Palestine? Lol. Lamau even. Nah, fam. <laughs> uh, might take both uh, Spider-Man 1 and 2 MJs are ugly bitches. That's See, that's fair. I never supposed to about it, so I mixed me with co posters Everyone is, everyone is screaming at each other right now. It's hard to tell mm -hmm. who's screaming at what. Don't mix me in with the co posters Nah, you're a co posting faggot. Even the VSG stuff is turning away. Uh, modern game practices are still in effect by that. I mean, predatory monetization stuff uh, get cut to resale. Also, companies trying to uh, all digital. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's just always going to be a problem. It is. Uh, Microsoft is going to be, like, the biggest one pushing for all digital stuff. Yeah. Uh, even from software, the, the from software DLC is going to be digital only. So they're not going to be doing, uh, they're not going to be, like, doing a, a complete edition like they did with uh, the other Dark Souls games. Yeah. Uh, George Lucas like Lynch is doing so much he almost made him a director of Return of the Jedi. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, for his ass. MJ is self righteous bitch in the game. That's a that's another factor. Yeah. Oh yeah. Her, her characterization is is dog shit. It's fucking terrible. No one like whenever I played through the game on stream, I was like, "Boo, get the fuck out of here! Where's Harry? Where's Harry?" <laughs> like, they fixed the problem from one, which is Mary Jane doesn't fucking do anything, and all mm -hmm. she does is shit that Spider Man would do, and they gave her more stuff to do in two. But they, they overcorrected so hard that it's a fucking parody. Where it's like, she straight up has, like, John Wick uh, gun sections. And it's like, listen, okay, what why the fuck are we even... There we go. 
Wait, why are we even pretending that, that these are not just filler segments? Because that's literally all it is. You, ah, there we go. It, it's all just filler segments to where they don't have to like come up with an actual level. They just throw Mary Jane down a hallway and have her do things. That's all the point of her game. You know, that, that's all the point of her gameplay. Just throw her down a hallway and just do Last of Us shit so we can pad out the story some more and then we can go back to doing Spider-Man. Yeah. She can only be like that when she got that 19 inches of venom. No! Yeah, like, it, the the boss fight against her is, like, one of the better moments of the game. It is. Like, it is a fairly fun boss fight. Because it actually feels like it did something. Mm -hmm. oh. There's a cold poster inside us all. That's why the internet turned out this way. Yeah, quite literally. Yeah. Elden Ring, uh, Elden Ring wants me to see see that uh, what Ronnie can do with them hands. Chat, no. Leave her alone. Leave the girl alone. Yeah, I, uh, I'm excited to see what the DLC will be like. Yeah. Now, hopefully, hopefully they have fun boss fights. Fights. I heavily recommend Mother 3, one of the greatest RPGs I've ever played, but I'll never leave Japan because Nintendo sucks. Yeah. Well, and Translation's also, been out for a while, so. It also has the, the trannies, the cross-dressers. Yeah. They're not actually trannies. They're, they're the cross-dressers. Uh, that shit ain't going to fly nowadays, chat. Especially with modern Nintendo. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love the MJ fight because I got to smack the shit up. It was fun. It was fun. Uh, the dialogue in the MJ fight was, was shit and cringe. I mean, it, it is quite literally what she's going through uh, with Peter in the games. Yeah. So it's like... It's just explaining whatever. their emotional problems. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's just a, an extension of a bigger problem, which is, I don't care. Yeah. Spider-Man 2 is underbaked. Oh, you can, you can tell. You can tell that it needed more time in the oven oh, yeah. and got pushed out. Yeah. But, well, like, I, I think especially because uh, I was hearing about, yeah, they tried to base the, the Venom shit off of, like, COVID. Like, you know, because with the whole, like, oh, we stood yeah. as a city against it together. So that that just kind of screamed to me, like, okay, so COVID completely fucked development into the dirt. Okay, I got it. Yeah. Spider-Man Web of Shadows is still better. Listen, chat, listen. The economy's in shambles. You'll never see it. Peter, stop being a superhero, Peter. I'll be a stay-at-home dad while you, yeah. you make money using your podcast, MJ. Never forget that MJ wanted to sell Aunt May's house after Aunt May left it. Yeah, yeah. She, she she's like, we can sell this house, Bombs and 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 Peter's like, no. Office. I'm sure and she's the, like, you're right, my bad. I'm sure the intention was, oh, Peter needs to let go of Aunt May and grow up and you know live a new life. At the same time, it's like, I mean, Peter has pretty much already gotten over Aunt May to a degree where he can still do stuff. Yeah. Now he's just living in her house because it's a house fucking left to him. And he doesn't want to live in a shitty ass apartment, and needs a, a he needs a, an actual house to move on with MJ. So it kind of just felt like more like, yeah, she was kind of greedy. Yeah, it's like let's sell the house and get money. It's like, <laughs> but I mean, like you're not really struggling for money right now. Well, no, they are struggling for money because uh, Peter also inherited. Uh, Aunt May's yeah, Aunt May's debts. Yeah, yeah. She, yeah she okay. had a bunch of I forgot debts. about that. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, Peter can't even pay the mortgage on the house. Yeah, he was also unemployed at the t after. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Uh, but then he got, you know, then he got hired by Feast. Yeah, he so. got uh, he got picked up by. It wasn't Feast. He got picked up by by Harry for a little bit. Which yeah. Was, I thought they were setting up for essentially like a, a insomniac version of uh, of Big Time Spider Man. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, this could be good. This could be good. And then they fucking throw it all away. Yeah, Literally everything. Away. And I was like, why? Is is it just so you can push MJ? Cause no one fucking, no one likes your 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 relationship drama, dog. You just killed a homie. What the fuck, bro? Their screams distracted the gunman. What the fuck, dog? But yeah, they they do that. They push MJ so hard because a ESG points because oh strong woman in there, and b they don't have to flesh out gameplay with her. Mm -hmm. Literally just do Last of Us shit. Yeah, yeah. Sneak around, crouch, stealth kill. Sneak around, crouch, stealth kill. That's all you gotta fucking do yeah. with her. Uh, feast is a charity. Oh yeah, if you think people that work for charities all all do it for free, you're you're full of shit. Uh, they should have paid staff, yeah. Yes. I think that was actually a plot point in uh, Spider-Man 1 that Ant-May couldn't pay some of the people working there. Mm -hmm. Gotta respect ownership of the air. Just pulled into a, no, uh, a Dairy Queen drive through for a blizzard. Dude tells me they're out of Reese's. I say, no problem, not your fault. He deadass goes, that's why you're wrong. I do the ordering and I've been slacking. We are to MJ. MJ, what the fuck is a Cowboy Ranch? Why are you DMing teen teenagers and selling them hormone pills? She is a podcaster now, chat. Remember, she is a podcaster. Uh, also, more on the Sweet Baby stuff. Uh, how much Sweet Baby actually does is is up up, up in, in the air. air. As they, because, they are an uh, Anita Sarkeesian style <laughs> advisement company. Yeah, because like uh, 
uh, people were like, oh, yeah, the reason Suicide Squad sucks so much is because Sweet Baby did it. And the writers for the game outright came out and said, no, all the story stuff was, was finalized before Sweet Baby was ever hired on to, to revise anything. Yeah. So they didn't change. They didn't change much of anything. Yeah. So it's like, my first instinct was, oh, thank you for owning up. So you're the reason this dog shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. But like, I, I don't, I don't think someone, someone would be like, uh, no, I'm the one that made that dog shit. Yeah. But I mean, it, it is interesting. And once again, it kind of brings back to the point I was talking about, where like, Sweet Baby kind of has to justify why they exist because if you pay them a bunch of money yeah. to advise your game, and then you find out they barely fucking did anything. Mm -hmm. It's like, either, hey, yeah, we're the reason it went to total shit, or, oh, no, we didn't do anything at all. So it's like, all right, so which is it? Yep. Did you do fucking nothing and we paid you $10 million to do that? Yeah. Or did we pay you $10 million to fuck up? Yeah. It's like, yeah, not, not a good position to be in. Not a good not a good one. Yeah, I've already seen Supermassive as laying off 90 people. Fuck him, Jet. Fuck him. MJ, why are you setting up an OnlyFans? No! Uh, now I'm really worried about the Wolverine game. Insomniac is working on graphics are one thing. It's a few years off, but the gameplay is just New God of War. just doesn't vibe. Yeah. Oh, I don't think it looks like New God of War to me. Uh, Do you see over in comics the comedy? Yeah, the manga? Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the manga. Pick up the railing. Ah, oh, no, that's, that's not what you do. No. I remember bits and pieces of how to get through this level. Kill. That's the main part. Kill. Don't do it. Don't do it, man. Once you open fire, I have free range. What hook shit are they gonna put into it? I don't know. Well, like, uh, you 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 see from the leaks that happened where you had all that that leaked gameplay. gameplay uh, there's quite a bit that's gonna be in the game. Like, yeah. they they already had a bunch of set pieces fundamentally down. Uh, it looked like Logan was gonna lose his eye at one point. Uh, you're gonna have like uh, a super spy esque mission um, where he's got like the white dinner dinner coat where he lost yeah. his eye. Uh, it, they're likely going to bring up the Muramasa blade in there. Yeah, it seems like the whole story was probably going to revolve around that. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they also uh, had playable Jean Grey, so unfortunately, unfortunately, <laughs> we're going to be forced to play against our will as Jean Grey. Uh, Big Quiz Ben Shapiro, for the other people complaining that Tim Curry's It wasn't scary, but that just made it more faithful in the, uh, to the book. <laughs> also, I believe you said this, but the reason why It remake was very good is because uh, Carrie Fukunaga's involvement, fucking great director. Oh, fantastic yeah. director. Uh, no, no, for dollar. Remember, no matter how hard your day is, just be glad you're not Maury between her love affair with a horse getting outed in her music career as her placed it multiple times on the worst times of all time. <laughs> Which FromSoft game had the best soundtrack? Uh, that's hard. Maybe Dark Souls 3. Maybe 3 or 1. Turn that TV off. <laughs> Bitch. No TV. No TV. Oh no, we're being sucked into the TV! Uh. New York City is in crisis tonight. With reports you think we'll catch the power turn people gave if we play as Jean Grey? <laughs> God, that'd be great. Hey, listen, okay, chat? The only way playing as Jean Grey will be acceptable is if they just completely change the gameplay up entirely and it becomes a straw humans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just blow people's heads up. Yeah. Uh, Sonic's only competition is a movie tie in game. They can't fuck it up. Okay, but that movie tie in game was really good, though. Yeah. Several murders in the Chicago area. The NYPD has been placed on... Wait, Warren the Horse was real? I thought she just got... I uh, just <laughs> thought she had a blacked fetish. No, the only thing that's real is the black fetish. But that audio, though. To bring him to justice. What those steps may be, Pulp Fiction. Yeah. What? Pulp Fiction NYPD reference with the dude on the John and the Mac Tannen's yeah, toaster. Yeah, it's great. Poor John Travolta. <laughs> Every time he went to the bathroom, bad things happened. Uh, Dark Souls 3 definitely has the best OST. It's, uh, it's fucking good. It'd either be Dark Souls 3 or, or Dark Souls 1. Uh, Bloodborne has a pretty good soundtrack, but I think most of it is forgettable. Uh, it, it's nah, carried fucking, by... Most of it is outright forgettable. It's carried by very specific tracks that are fucking amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, Dark Souls 2, I think, has the same problem where a lot of it's forgettable. And Elden Ring has a handful of tracks that I remember off the top of my head. Yeah, Elden Ring's music is... Probably the worst. If Jean Grey makes the the gay, is the gay a mutation? Uh, if Jean Grey makes you gay, does that mean gay is a mutation? No, it means it means your sexuality is in your head. Yeah. I hate that bitch. <laughs> I always hated her in the comics, and now I hate her even more. Unironically, remember when the point was, you know, they were born that way. 
idea. Oh uh, man, the, they moved on from they were born that way like a long time ago. They now genuinely view that as an insult. Yeah. I'm not even fucking kidding. Yeah. Like it's a thing where like a, once again wa- watching guy watching got, watching society yeah. pro- progress far too fast for its own good in your lifetime is disturbing. Yeah. Like guys, unironically, go go back and try to watch a, a a comedy or something like that from like the mid 2000s. Go go ahead and do that. Notice every single liberal talking point they bring up, and then look at what they're saying today, and it is fucking night and day. Yeah. Uh, some of them have just always been bad. Like I said, the whole the whole like oh well, illegals do the job Americans don't want to do. Yeah. Meaning, <laughs> meaning chattel slavery. So it's like oh okay, so we just want slaves. Is that it? We need slaves. Mm-hmm. It's like that's why we should allow them in the country for fucking slavery. So do they think they aren't born that way? I don't know what they think anymore. Legit, I don't think they know. I don't think they do either. I think they. I think as long as it comes out of your mouth and they think they think you have a different political opinion from them, they'll just they'll just assume everything you say is evil. Freddie got fingered. God damn it! <laughs> Once again, legends. <laughs> the last words Max heard was Freddie got fingered. <laughs> Splat. Daddy, would you like some sausage? Splat. <laughs> Daddy, would you like some sausage? Splat. 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 <laughs> George Carlin. Um, it's me. Open up. Let it's me a in. choice. They proved Christians ah. right. Pressure was too much. They're pulp They'd fiction down to their level. Uh, it wasn't worth it. Nothing was. I don't know. Jules and John Travolta. I mean, I, I say Jules and John Travolta. I don't remember. I don't remember John Travolta's character's name in that. Yeah. Uh, them trying to get cleaned up after they blow the guy's head off in the car. That was pretty great. Yeah. It's me. Open up. Bing. Let me in quick. Not so fast. The password. John the Democrats Ford. in their revolt beyond black people being slaves or vote farmers because okay, they want John Latino Ford. slaves. <laughs> All right. Come right in. It's a trap! Here we go. Ah. Christopher Columbus episode of Sopranos is a good example of what he said. That's what I mean! Yeah! Now, Grant, Sopranos is not exactly a uh, left leaning show. Ah. It is, uh. Well, to be fair, to be fair, everyone in the Sopranos is a bad person. Oh, horribly, horribly so. So anything they push can be viewed as bad. I think it was Vince. Was it Vince? It might be. That yeah, sounds... Vincent. Yeah. yeah. His name was Vincent. Yeah. So that sounds right. John also out of Bobby without his consent. I'm surprised they didn't uh, they didn't get shit for that. Yeah. Uh, well, he's not fucking gay. That version of Bobby had literally gone to the future, met his future self, who had a who had a wife and children that he uh, he was happy with. And Jean Grey's like, no, you're gay. It's like, woman, I know categorically, I'm not fucking gay. Yeah, uh, Eox is too optimistic. Move they acknowledge the guy is smarter and let him do his job. Yeah, right. <laughs> what do you mean? Tony was progressive for an Italian mobster. You know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. I want to do it like the movie. Uh, you would think they put X twenty three in there instead of Gene. Well, in their defense, uh, for putting Gene instead of X twenty three, uh, you already have Wolverine. And if they put a section in there where you just play as quote unquote worse Wolverine. Come on, get get out of the toilet, dude. Go interact with the go interact with the Mac. Well, I, really? There you go. So not exactly like the movie, but fuck it. Let me do what I could. We don't deserve President Camacho. Uh, remember that Lady Gaga made a song called Born That Way? Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like, yeah. yeah, yeah. Look, look at all those old style comedies and look at what they say today. Like it's a thing where. Uh, the, it, it is genuine culture shock. That's one of the reasons why the the episode of Ted that explicitly tried to get political was funny, because it tried doing exactly that. And then you, hearing those talking points in the modern day, it's like, dude, this is just pathetic. Yeah. Part of the reason that episode kind of hilarious in an unintended way. Uh, Bruce Willis watch is pretty up there for me. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, Bobby Drake uh, straight to buy to gay to buy to straight. Yeah. <laughs> Citywide APB has been put it's a roller coaster chat. Pain. If you like Ice Man, I'm sorry. Jim Rivera has promised to take whatever steps oh, necessary. Got to break oh yeah, Tony's dead. Tony's oh dead. yeah, yeah. Those steps may be remains to be seen. Look at Dave Chappelle. People used to love him, uh, hate him, just because he made a few jokes against trans. Yeah. That's what I mean. The 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 world has gotten like insane to a level of, hey, if you actually just shut up and look back, it's pretty obvious what happened. All right. So. All right. Now don't don't. Don't even think about moving to the side. That's the thing. Max d- Max doesn't work. He doesn't move in like a straight line. Like yeah, it, he has a gait. Yeah. This week on Address Unknown. Is that the animals? I no, that's a man getting shot. There. Oh. 
It's the last place I'd want to end up. Look at it. It's, twi it's Twin but Peaks. That's where I always Look end at up it. Anyway. Fucking Twin Peaks, Only chat. It's not me talking to the pen. Great. Right. But someone who looks the part that I Walks queer. What did chat mean by this? Oh my god. That was actual fucking pain. Jump coward. If I would have jumped, it would have sent me straight over to the side. It was yeah. trying to move at a weird angle. Yeah. That is true. That's one of the reasons I had to take it super slow. Yeah, you got the Ingram. Ingram. Uh, the times from MGS2 are so real, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, MGS2 is just great. MGS2 is fantastic. MGS2 and 3. Mm -hmm. Fucking told the future. Uh, still, the motherfuckers casually talking like religious trans, like it's fact. Uh, and they say out of pocket stuff like, the Bible's super sexist. Yeah. And suddenly they know I'm there. Twin pain. Turn to look at me with cold eyes. And the Here, I actually want you to feel this. Feel how it is trying to move Max. Yeah. We'll probably die because you're not used to it, but actually try it. I have no idea what that means. How do you jump? R2. <laughs> Woo! So you felt that, right? I, I felt the part where I touched the wall and suddenly started walking around because I didn't jump. Yeah. Watch the TV, damn it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we didn't interact with the with the Twin Peaks. Oh, fuck, right, yeah. I forgot about that. The Times is MGS3. Memes are MGS2. Uh, the the uh, MGS2 talks about the Times as well. Yeah. 3 is the one that goes super in-depth with it, though, because yeah. the whole point of the story. Yeah. The scream is how it feels to, to control Max. Please. Listen, chat. They bound. They bound. Jump to R two. What the fuck was I supposed to do? Like I said, PS two era. Fucking weird shit. They were still figuring out how to be uh, acceptable. Uh, I got five boxes filled with Hall Life merch arriving tomorrow. How do I explain the way to the family? Uh, go down there with a the shotgun, and then blow your brains out. Dude. Okay. So, I uh, I have been going through a fucking saga these past few weeks. So. Yeah, my, my dad gets these, like, uh, get-rich-quick schemes in his head, and he, and he wants to... He is obsessed with the overnight millionaire shit. He'll he'll watch, you know, experts all the time on YouTube, and he'll go like, no, 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 but this guy this guy made a bunch of money. Then he Google him, and he's a fucking nobody. You know, that kind of shit. Uh, he has now got it in his eye, uh, got, got it in his head, to uh, just make, like, morale patches. Like, morale patches that you, like, you know, put on uh, vests and shit. And I'm like, you know, that's not a bad idea. And, and he he gets this idea. Well, he specifically kept trying to get me to do the patch designs and go like, I need you to do this. I need you to do this. And I'm like, it's your fucking patch. Why? You fucking do it. It's your fucking patch. You do it. And it's like, oh, well, I don't know how to fuck with any of that. It's like, it's your fucking patch. And he was trying to get a buddy of his to do it. And it's like, oh, he, he completely ghosted me. And like, he, he, you know, he'll keep saying, oh, I'll get it done later. I'll get it done later. It's like, yeah, you write his fucking ass. Yeah, it's like, you, you write his ass and go like, dude, like, I fucking paid you for this. What the fuck? Why are you not getting me what I want? You know, that kind of thing. Uh, and then, you know, finally, he gets his little patch design done. And, and he is like, all right, and I, I, I've been talking to, uh, you know, I've been, I've been talking to a company to get this designed. And, uh, you know, I can get like a hundred of them for 645 bucks. And I literally had to go, fucking what? $645 for a hundred patches. Are you fucking high? Right. And, and he's like, oh, well, you know, that's like, that's like $10 a patch and or, or something like that. It was like $6 a patch or something like that. Uh, and, and I can sell them for like 20 bucks. And I'm like, no one's going to buy them for 20 bucks. Yeah, no one's going to fucking buy them for 20 bucks. What are you doing? Yeah. You know, it's like... The economy's in shambles. Yeah, unironically, economy in shambles. And on top of that, I was straight up like, all right, do you, do you even have a place where these are going to go? And it's like, oh, well, I know guys from when I was in the National Guard. It's like, no, do you know where these are going to fucking go? Where are you Where are you going to sell them? Where are you going to sell them? Are you going to sell them at the Army Supply yeah. Store? Are you going to, like, where are you fucking selling these Anywhere things? Anywhere you sell them is going to take a cut. Yeah. That sounds like a scam. Yeah, that, probably that, was. That's probably exactly what it was. And he was like, "Oh, that's like 640 bucks. That's nothing." It's like, no, that is money you have to make back to justify doing it again. You have to make that back just to justify the expense made. So you're dead to own a vape shop. I mean, unironically, it'll be good for like one more year before they start banning shit. Yeah, I know, right? But yeah, it, it's this thing where like he, you can tell when he gets greedy because it's like. Oh, well, if I sell them for, like, this much, I'll get that much more money. It's like, it's motherfucker, impulsive. 
Yeah, yeah. It's like motherfucker, you haven't sold a single one. Yeah. And and, and that's directly how you know, how I, I I talk to him about it. Where it's like, dude, you you have not sold a single one. So don't go thinking, well, you know, I can sell them for this much and get this much more. It's like you have no comparison. Yeah. It's like you know, don't don't buy a hundred. It's like you get one made and then ask, hey, does anyone want this? Yeah. You know, you you. On top of that, he's trying to get like a brand off the ground. It's like, oh, I want to make a, I want to make a brand. You know, it's like, fuck it, what brand? Yeah. Like, what brand do you plan on doing? You know. And it, and it wouldn't be, a, it wouldn't be a problem except the fact of like, you know, he he's kind of. He's trying to like rope me into it and get me to do shit for him. It's like, dude, you no, I'm not gonna fucking work for this one. I know you're not gonna do it. Like, you're not gonna fucking do it. And at the same time, you're you're gonna waste a bunch of money on shit. Don't. Yeah, no. So that that's what I've been dealing with. Where it's like, dude, you very clearly are not gonna take this seriously. Use a bunch of money that, let's be frank here, you don't really have the luxury of of spending right now because right. times are tough everywhere. And then you're gonna get mad at yourself because it goes nowhere. So it's like, you know. Jesus fucking Christ, stop listening to retards on YouTube that say they were a billionaire in two weeks because they're not fucking billionaires. Yeah, tell them to show up on Kate. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, go go back up top. I think you jump on a railing. Okay. Forget the, the scat ring. Your parents should never know about your YouTube money. Yeah. Unironically, that, that's a that's one of the reasons I don't want to tell them because I know I, I know they'll get greedy and, and try to get involved, and it's like, no, okay? Spot, you... me, spot me some money. No. But it's not even just that. It's like they'll, they'll want to get involved or some shit like that. It's like, no, you, you don't know how this shit works. I can't, I can't fund your startup. I, I can't fund your startup. I can't do this shit. Uh, look to your left. Yeah, it's probably over here. Right. Yeah. Once again, platforming, though, the worst part of this game. Uh, it, it, it's towards the train. It's one of the railings jutting out from the train. Yeah. Uh, well, no, I guess not. I don't think you can make those jumps. Yeah, I don't think so. I can try. Yeah, but... jump on the train from the roof. Yeah, I can try, but I'm probably gonna die. Aw. Yep. Did you just lose all momentum? Can you brighten this up? Can't see shit. I think you can. I please make the ma please make the matches for the per for the merch store. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I might. <laughs> I'm gonna steal his. Design. I might actually. I might actually steal his fucking design. Life is pain. You have to slow mo jump. Okay. Just... Yeah, the dive jump. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Roll, bitch. Like I said, it, it, it's something to where he does genuinely have good ideas. He, he sat down and wrote a whole fucking novel. So it's a thing of like, he, he did something not a lot of people can, can attest to. Yeah. The problem is, he doesn't do it for the right reason. He doesn't do it because he wants to get something done. He does it because he wants the money. He wants the, the glory and all that. And it's like... You know, if it's not an immediate success, he'll beat himself up and go, oh, well, why the fuck did I even do this? It went nowhere. It's like, because you're not, you don't understand the grind aspect. You don't understand that it's not something you do in a week and, and it blows up. You know, that, that's not how it works. Yeah. <laughs> Son, we're going to, oh, God, my eyes. Son, we're going to do they maximum interest business loans. It's our only way. You could run, <clears> have the depth of sorority to figure shop, uh, shipping in. Fucking love the bolter bitches. Uh, more 40k dog shit. Out of time. Son, he knew some pedophile anime was, guy no stole my design. You need to kill him. Yeah. Yeah. Dad? I need he would be moving fast. Kill him, son. I don't know about angels, but it's fear that gives men wings. And his patches. I'll buy, I'll, buy, I'll buy all of them and prove you wrong. Let one bat... Oh... That one person. Like I said, with I a... don't like. It. I don't like the way he moves on these. Holy fuck, they're bad. <laughs> I dodged him. Yeah, my dad wanted me to make some. My granddad wanted me to make some app for his neighbors uh, to manage maids or something. I dodged him. Yeah. To what? To to manage maids? I guess so. Yeah, like one of those scam services. Yeah. Dad, yeah, what do you have a shotgun with you? Oh my design, boy. Dad, it's America. Yeah, that's the that is the first legitimate death of the game. <laughs> Just got fucking cornered and pounded, man. Yeah. Every other time, it's been falling or like fucking up a grenade throw. Just the morale patches. You just make anti-morale patches. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, just shit all over the people buying it and rub it in your dad's face. Uh, that the opposite of his ideal would even work as long as you commit to it. <laughs> Well, as day, it's a thing where like he he's talking about wanting to set up a brand, and it's like, oh well, you know, I want to I want to get this brand off the ground, and I keep telling him over and over again, how, how, like, 
what, what the fuck are you going to do to advertise this? Like, what, what fucking brand? You keep talking about a brand. Like, what fucking brand? Like, then he got me you don't have anything. Yeah, you don't have a brand. You yeah, you have ideas in your head. Like, what fucking brand are you talking about? Uh, and once again, we start talking about how he had ideas for a YouTube channel. And, and it's like, oh, yeah, you know, I was thinking about this, and I can get some experts on there. It's like, you don't know any fucking experts. Like, yeah. you, you kind of see what I have to deal with, you know? You don't launch for five dollars. Just wait till you get to the nightmare sequence where you have to balance on the bloodlines. Well, th with the finicky as fuck PS2 controls. Yeah. Oh god, yeah. It is a nightmare. The thing is, once you're moving, you will move in a straight line. But whenever you stop and start, he fucking jerks. He's an animal, a monkey. Find some Ukraine patches. <laughs> You're business minded? No, no, it's the exact opposite. No, of business no, no. minded. It's, it is the it's whim minded. It is the epitome of idea guy mindset, mm -hmm. and that is the shit I hate. Where where it's all like, oh well, I can do this and I can do that. It's like how how are you gonna set that up? It's like how 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 is this going to get done? Like that that's the annoying shit. Okay, yeah, you just copy his jump, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. You gotta wait for a train to come, then bullet dive jump. Got yeah. He hitched a ride. To catch him, I'd have to follow his lead. Yeah, literally, he says it follows lead, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Your dad watches Mr. Beast, Lolly. Yeah, he does. Lolly, do you know Do you know how Mr. Beast blew up? Do you know what got him popular? What? He did a video where he counted to, uh, I think it was one million. This was my second was train ride of the yeah. night. That was literally it. Started, yeah. Didn't promise anything better than literally that's point. it. And then YouTube pushed him super duper hard. My face like and then from there, from there, he, he got enough money at the top of the world. Yeah, there you go. Somewhere in the background, the whale of... When the Things he, uh, really your dad, he's a partner, can plant his ideas. His well, the, the problem with his is he comes up with all these ideas and he kind of wants everybody else to do the work for it. Uh, quite literally, as they, that's why I kept trying to shove the idea of working on the designs to me. When I told him about the, the YouTube thing, I literally laid out step by step what he would need to start a channel. Get a shitty $60 microphone. Oh, you already have one. Okay. Uh, get Audacity. That's how you can record audio. Get DaVinci Resolve. And he flat out said, well, I don't know how to deal with that shit. It's like, then what the fuck do you want to do? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, you don't have, you, you don't know what to do with it. Yeah, that's why you fucking learn. It's like, what, what did you think? It's like, do you not know how that works? It's like, oh, well, I, I think I can get an app on my phone. It's like, don't fucking do that. Jesus Christ. It, it's the, the perils of, of boomers trying to encroach upon, you know, the, the technology of the new, yep. I guess. I'm going to count backwards from a million, so you can make zero dollars, chat. Yeah. I swear to God. Make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. Uh, Hades collapsing again, it collapses every year. Uh, this time because gangs are taking over the country. King was planning to help Hades, but it called him. Yeah. That's like a friend of mine from middle school. Yeah. As stated, it's a thing where when he can actually just sit down, shut up, and do something, he's a, he's usually pretty good at it. The problem is he overthinks, and then he gets lazy and starts going like, well, I can just get somebody else to do it. Yeah. It's kind of like the, what, what what is that kid from the storybook where he gets somebody else to paint the fence for him? He kind of takes that to heart a little too much. <laughs> oh, you gotta be fucking uh, kidding. Hey, as long as you're in slow motion, you keep moving. This is supposed to be the reverse you're supposed to teach me. My customized bro patches, furry bro, brit bro, netto bro, Aussie bro, shit like that. Bro bro, bro 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 bro. Tom Sawyer, yeah, I think it was Tom Sawyer, yeah. This was my second train ride of the night. When the train he was riding hit, slowed down, <gasps> Gagnini made his He move. did paint chat. Did dad know the guru selling you ideas and lifestyle bullshit, also pyramid scheme? Hope he doesn't fall for these sounds like very tunnel vision when he spends money. Oh, 100%, yeah. My mom is usually really good at talking them out of it by just going like, "What do you plan on doing? Like, are you actually gonna do this?" Mm -hmm. And when 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 that kind of hits, that's kind of when it's like, "Oh shit, yeah, I actually have to like do it." So he he kind of gets out of it. No, he's gonna pay someone else to edit for him. He already got the YouTuber mindset right there. Life count down on my bank account one cent. All right, boys, we're done. We're done. That's the exact opposite of mine. If you're doing something wrong, he'll just uh, take over and tell you to fuck off. <laughs> Certain things he will do that. And he'll just like, I want to do that myself. It's just when it comes to the creative ideas and stuff that he thinks will be a money printer. Yeah, he unironically has the pyramid scheme mentality of, well, you do it and I would let you have some of it. But then I'll, you know, I'll, 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 I'll put my name on it. So it's one of those things.
Beast is 25? Uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah, he's young. Unironically, really smart dude for what he managed to accomplish. Mm -hmm. He not only tricked kids into doing one coat, he got them to do four coats of paint. Yeah. yeah. What'd your dad even do on YouTube? Well, like, that's the thing. He There, there was one period of time. This is why I keep saying it's a saga. It's a literal fucking saga with this shit. Where he wanted to do... It's called a midlife crisis, lol. A little bit. Uh, he wanted to do, like, no joke. Y you know those, like, uh, fucking background noise videos where it's like... <laughs> yeah. The, the ambient sounds, like, oh, here's how you can relax. He legit said, oh, I watched this tutorial on YouTube and it said you can just copy... You can just download one from YouTube and just re-edit the footage a little yeah. bit. And you can do it and print money. And I literally... That was something I got mad about, because I'm like, alright, you don't want a YouTube channel, you want a money person. Yeah. It's like, no, motherfucker, those don't fucking work. Yeah. It's like, it's no. Because the one you're copying is already there. It's already there, and it's copyrighted. Yeah. The, the audio is copyrighted. That shit doesn't work, it's a pyramid scheme. Mm -hmm. no Modern times are not, they're not safe for boomers. It's true, it's true. ASMR? No, I say it's directly ambient sounds. Yeah. Your dad's proof God decides who should should and shouldn't be allowed to make money. <laughs> As they, the stuff he's good at, he's good. It's just the fact that he gets... When he gets an idea, he gets overly excited and becomes like the, the sitcom, you know, character, you know, get-rich-quick scheme of the week. And it's a thing where it, it's literally as frustrating as just going, dude, just sit down and do it. Just yeah. sit down and do it. Don't your dad even think of starting an ASMR channel? Yeah, right? Honestly, it sounds kind of wholesome if you put your parents together. A guy steps up uh, as dad after asshole leaves and she makes sure he doesn't get scammed. <laughs> I love the passive income YouTube video telling me how to do it. Yeah, right? How many videos on your channel do you have telling people to do the exact same thing? Oh, I see. Just make song content, kids eat that shit up like Spider Man and Elsa. <laughs> oh, the more you talk about your dad, the more I imagine he's just Eddie Credit and Eddie. He kinda is sometimes. The stuff he's good at, he's usually very, very good at. Dude is smart as hell when it comes to like medicine and shit like that. Uh, the problem is, well, he. I guess the best way to describe it is he got burned because he had an opportunity to invest in, in tech shit when it was starting off. Mm -hmm. Because he had a friend of his that was just getting into tech in, like, 70s, 80s time frame that managed to make a shitload of money doing it. And my dad at the time was was a jock, and he was like, I don't believe, I don't, who cares about any of this nerd shit, you know, that kind of thing. So he kind of looks back on that as like, fuck, why did I let that happen? Why didn't I do that? So he's been kind of trying to chase that, that, that like, ooh, the, the next hidden gold mine thing ever since. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of moments where, where he directly will just outright say that. Uh, as day when I talked about like finding out how ESG is now a, a bad term in Wall Street, and they're starting to short companies that show that they're following ESG mandates, uh, he was like, "Oh, well, you should you should look into that. You 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 should short those companies too." And I'm like, "That's not how that fucking works. Yeah. You didn't have stake in those companies to short, and even then, you can't short unless you are a, a very very yeah, high up player. You have to yeah, you have to invest a lot of money. You have to invest a lot of money." And he, and he was like, no, 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 but you can do this. And I'm like, dude, if, if I want to do it, I'll just call my fucking investment people and just tell them to do it for me because I'm part of a mutual fund with a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, no, you don't need them. You can do it yourself. It's like, no, I fucking can't. That's my point. Yeah. It, it's not a matter of, oh, I don't have the spirit to do it. It's like, I literally can't. But once again, gets greedy, smells money, and immediately starts going, well, you don't need middleman. You can do it yourself. And it's like, dude, yeah. that, this is why it never works. Will he buy the DLC, uh, DLC for Elden Ring? I plan to. Yeah, probably. Maybe I'll try it for two bucks when, uh, when it's pulling all nighters is a good idea. When when you need to sleep? Yeah. Could be worse, your dad could be chasing cryptocurrency and NFTs, and that's a nightmare scenario. Yeah, he was smart enough to avoid that. Mm -hmm. Estate, he, he's not a complete idiot, not by any means. It's just the fact of when he gets it in his head he can make money off something, he gets too excited and ends up kind of burning himself. What? Oh, God. You hear about the crackhead meme rapper Viper being arrested for good after the woman keeping her in the, in the garage? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that, was, that, was a little, that was a little while ago now. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Another... Probably the most Viper crime he could have ever committed. Uh, yeah, right. He had songs. He had songs about it. Yeah. And at the time, people thought they were just shit posts. Yeah. The, re the, rem the, the remaster for Dark Forces is coming out tomorrow. Yeah. E. 
By Chimpkins. Oh. Brands don't know about your channel. Do they think you and Shota have a sleepover every Tuesday? No, I just tell them I'm hanging out with friends. Yep. That's literally all they need. That's what normal people do, chat. They have, they have pastimes. For everybody, know what we're gonna do today? You crashed the economy, you stupid fuck! Diamond Hansel, who's why I keep getting your Twitter flag down? <laughs> Unless you like the grind uh, lifestyle or sell your soul, you'll never get that money. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Would you ever ride a motorcycle if you could? Eh, I'd do it once to say I could. I'm not super into motorcycles. They're fun. They're fun. I prefer, uh, I prefer like, dirt bikes and street bikes uh, yeah. more than, like, a Harley. I don't, I don't like I don't like how low I sit on Harleys. Hamboni. Chat, what the fuck? Wait, wait, what does that mean? What does that mean? Did you die? Did your dad buy stakes in gold? Yeah, no, I mean that's actually just a good idea. Like buying, buying gold, buying silver. I mean that is actually just a good idea. Uh, diversifying in them is, is good. Don't ever put yeah. your, your your money all in there. Yeah. We are very close to capturing him. Everything will crash eventually. Attack. You just gotta right hope now, that you're out of there I've before it does. Yeah. Do, that was Deputy Chief Jim Rivera from the Ambony will slowly with save no your life. No. -uh. This time. Apart from his suspicious food habits, I figured before... Uh, fair enough how bad your dad is for some moments, he was pretty smart and helpful. Well, that's he, he sat down and wrote a book. Yeah. He, he actually fucking did it. He was way and a lot of people have actually said they liked it. The, cops a of the, the only thing that killed that is, once again, now. boomer mentality in which him and my mom had no idea how to market it. Yeah. And that that is a thing where I've... Well, I've most, most, books, most books die. Yeah, most books die. And I've repeatedly asked him over and over again, it's like, dude, just let me... Let me go in, edit the title, and, and we can re-release it, and then boom, it's fixed. But, you know, they're boomers. They don't understand. It's like, ah, nah, nah, nah. Who cares anymore? It's like, I'm pissed now. I'm pissed. Somebody got a load of cash. It sounds like he's completely unfocused and self-sabotaging. Self oh, yeah. I don't think it's as much self-sabotaging as uh, self-sabotaging as is it's, uh, it's just quite literally not knowing what goes into doing shit. It's a mix of that and just legitimate self-sabotage. He gets anxious, and he'll, uh, he'll like, scare himself out of it. I say that... It, when 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 suggesting doing a YouTube channel, his first idea is to do like a full on like, you know, history channel type thing where you mm -hmm. need to get experts involved, and he scares the shit out of himself with that. Where it's like, well, how can I get all those people involved? And I'm Email like, them. well, it's not even that. It's you don't need them. You don't you don't need them. But if he's wanting to do like a history channel thing, uh, you can very easily get get in contact with a lot of these people. Uh, the the only reason the only reason like coming across a YouTube channel that actually has people. Uh, that the interview on there is feels like an oddity is because most people don't actually reach out. Yeah. Should we fear the Japs taking over? Never. Never. America fear. number one. Fear. That's one of the better futures right now, man. Well, you can just take you just take the book, edit it up, and then give him the money. No. They won't let me have access to it. <laughs> I know. They they I outright asked for the login information on the account it's on so I can download it and fuck with it and they just keep going no. No. And I'm like, what the fuck do you mean no? I am telling you how to make this a success. <laughs> yeah, our hell Willie Will and Yutani may be better. America number one. Where of the game is this? This is the uh, PS4 version. PS4 version slash PS2 version. Yeah. What sort of, if you want to start a history channel, just have your dad play Fate Grand Order. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> He tells his book like a Japanese light novel, straight synopsis for title. Well, as stated, fucking, uh... I, I came up with a much better title for that book, and I just cannot get access to it to, to fuck with it. It's how they feel, Lolly. Except they're wrong. Everyone's wrong except for me. One is this. Might legit just steal his laptop so I can see if he still has the source files on it. He might have deleted it. I think your dad didn't go to, the, to Vegas to give a thousand dollar investment to some guy promised him two thousand dollars, which he never got back while his wife was, was with their newborn child. Yeah, that's true. That's the, he, he's not dumb enough to fall for stuff like that. It's specifically very easy to trick him if you word it as like, oh, well, we're not like the other ones, you know? And specifically, there's no like startup cost or investment or anything like that. No, there have been there, there have been times it's like, no, but this is like a. I did it, Molly. Fucking Jesus. It's like no, this is the this is like a, a a service, you know. You know, you can you can buy merchandise and sell it higher than what you bought. It's like that's a pyramid scheme. That's called uh, what is it? Uh, drop shipping. Steam yeah. In a dead end alley with steam and yes, it's a fucking scheme. Like all the fires of hell were burning high beneath us. 
It was shaked down to. Well, if I showed you a uh, story I'm writing at the moment, would you be willing to give me your opinions on it? No. Yeah. I, I'm just flat out banning it now. No. <laughs> Too many people asked. No. Too many people asked, and once again, I'm not the guy to turn to for this shit. Yeah. I'm talking about stealing somebody else's book and retitling it and publishing it on me. Don't follow my advice at all. I'm talking about committing a felony. I'm not gonna be. Go bored and burnt by sleep is fucking annoying. I'm having monopoly PTSD. It was worth the shot. Reminds me of my brother's, uh, my mother's it idea to sell bootleg Bibles at the border. I think your mom's got the right idea, but she need armed security. Well, well, boomers just uh, downloaded the Amanol cunt now, and I've decided this is soft. Uh, this is so software now to make old people behave the same. It's frustrating. Just me and the It's not. It's not cunt behavior. It's just the fact of like Jesus Christ. If you just did this. Yeah, it's called having free will. Learn to accept boomers just refuse to learn, refuse to do actual research for projects. Socialists still cope with that patch of socialists aren't making here Twitter post. If I show my crayon drawings, you put it on the fridge? No. You're right. No more no 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 more fan stuff is going on the fridge. You should tell your dad to start a maid cafe in Japan. All you need to do is just strong arm a couple women. Your dad's Hillary Clinton, get out of get out of your own way. Pino's private nightclub, a den of drugs. Why bootlegs? Just sell the Bible or even individual Bible books. It's not illegal. Yeah. Junkies Public domain. Explode in random acts of senseless violence, and Lupino's goon squad, the worst stone cold killers this side of hell. Like, can you give me financial investment advice? Only hold Shoda responsible if it fails. Uh, check into the the the, the cybersecurity company. Uh, Nancy Pelosi just put a bunch of her money into. Yep. And invest into them. And let the nasty stuff from there. Yeah. Odds uh, are, odds are that thing from two weeks ago where uh, Congress was briefed on a, a massive uh, threat to U.S. security. Yeah. yeah most likely it was a cybersecurity threat. And most likely it was puffed up purely so they can prop up a cybersecurity company they have investments in. Well, they don't have investments in it yet. Uh, they, they, she's going out of her way to invest in it, which means most likely. Uh, they're going to pick up a cybersecurity contract with them. Yeah. Uh, Palo Alto, I believe. Well, should I know your advice? With I don't know though. I don't know though. I'm not an investment broker. Yeah. Look up the Nancy Pelosi stock tracker. That's pretty much all you need right now. Yeah. Uh, there's an. Uh, you have to. You have to be investing probably uh, more than a thousand dollars. To make it worth your time, uh, but there's outright an app that you can use that tracks politicians, and you can select what politicians you want to copy their trades, and it'll automatically do it for you. Yeah. Nice you just got to make sure that if you make money, you you donate. Yeah. You that's, donate the, that's the one condition. It, yeah. And if you don't make any money, then then uh, send a video of you putting a gun in your mouth. Now just imagine uh, a couple of people in the shack manually copying Bibles like well, medieval books to sell them. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, got, they got a fucking manual printing press. Yeah. Speaking of Nancy Pelosi, you hear that Mr. Beast complaining about Pelosi's Give stock stuff on Twitter before deleting it and all I'm after. <laughs> the paper bag this entitled, dumb bitch just cost me money. Storm. The blurb on the back mentioned that's all you find yourself in the usual spot I'm in when playing yeah, Ragnarok, no health and no painkillers. Winter that covered yeah. the earth and ice. Did a guy get arrested for insider trading? All I did was invest in what our Nancy Pelosi invested into. Yeah. I could see uh, how somebody maybe. impressionable might get it into their head that we were right. at the end of time. Uh, I was also politicians are literally immune from from all of those laws. Yeah. There. Yeah, she bought Palo uh, Palo Alto stocks. Yep. Like I said, I, I imagine Palo Alto is about to jump up. Whether they get a whether they get a whether they get a U.S. cybersecurity contract or they're working on some uh, technology to help with cybersecurity. The point is, they're about to get a whole bunch of stock jumps. Most likely. Hey, uh, Favorite skill in this world, easy. Inland mm. Empire. Yeah. I love the schizos. It is fun. Die so many times here. Is, yeah. There's a lot of people you gotta look up. And fire. Paul Alto has been jumping up. It has. But cybersecurity in general has been jumping up. Yeah. Specifically because of the announcement of like, hey, there's a major security threat coming. Well, it's been jumping up since before that. It's uh, just a matter of it's more important now. Yeah. As, as we go to a more digital age. Yeah, they don't have a choice. Got him down. Jump, baby! 
I like these randos, like, putting some fucking pentagrams on the walls and shit that they don't, yeah. they don't actually care about. It's just to look cool. It's just to look cool. Hey guys, what if we, what if we just painted a pentagram on the wall? Oh, Joey, that's so good. That's such a good idea. It's so nightclub. It's so nightclub. Oh, we'll, we'll pick up chicks and we'll bring them up here and they'll see the pentagram and they'll be like, oh, we're gonna get so laid. The best part is it probably worked. <laughs> One scene girl got got absolutely railed on this table. It's always something with cybersecurity. Most of it is just people being like stupid. You no, know, it's bullshit being stuck on draft stage for two years, and so I'm making progress even with help. I mean, books with draft harder. All dealing with the occult and the infernal. Lobster cultists. I don't even think they believe in it. I think well, they, they just think it's cool. The only thing I could take seriously. Why is there an Almighty Daddy on OnlyFans? You know why? He had been spending a lot of time getting intimate with the guy downstairs. You know, because of the implications. Yeah, yeah. Seven mobsters bringing one woman up here. Yeah. yeah. I don't think she'd feel safe saying no either. I like the idea that one of the books that proves our satanic cult is fucking Paradise Lost. Yeah. <laughs> Ragnarok. Cause I'm Ragnarok hard, baby. Chicks dig Satan. <laughs> I don't know, man. I really don't want to. I, I really don't think I can do it. Come on, man. Think about all the things I do for you, dude. I wouldn't say anything to his face. He might not. Is fantasy football still a thing? It is. Fantasy football is uh, a major thing. Yeah. In fact, sports betting on the last game in particular was pretty fucking high up there. Yeah. Well, like it. It was so high up there uh, because these people will go out and they will buy celebrity uh, celebrity endorsements. Yeah. Um, and they will actually just literally false advertise. Like, um, whatever whatever the one that blew up uh, right before the Super Bowl was paying celebrities to be like, oh, man, I just won however million dollars on uh, on this, this betting website because all, all, like, all my picks came, came true. Yeah. Uh, and then someone someone uh, busted their their ass out for like shilling them, and they're like like hey yeah I know you didn't win that because you can't actually you can't actually bet as much money as you bet yeah I I literally called their their customer service and asked them how much uh, how much I could bet and they said the limit's like a thousand dollars at a time yeah Ragnarok we're like Ragnarok ah! Like when I play FF8 for the first time, what version translation do you play? Play the PC version and get the fan translation. You yeah. fucking need it. Yeah, you can get the, the fan translation. Bink. I'm not even kidding. You actually need it. Um, yeah, it, it fixes a lot of. It. You're dead. Yeah. None none of the uh, none of the remasters or ports fix the translation. No, and they don't Final touch Fantasy the translation. VIII. Final Fantasy VIII famously was horribly translated. Uh, not just like, oh, bad localization. I literally mean the story is incomprehensible. Yeah, it's because they changed the, they did the bad localization thing and they yeah. changed full on characters. Yeah. Uh, the, the reason people don't really like the, the, uh, Renoa flip flop with Squall where he goes from, uh, seemingly fucking hating her guts to being head over heels for her it's is because, because a lot it's of that not, was cut out. Yeah. I was going to say, it's not how it happens. Zill's noted for five fake monies. Lol, I managed to sneak into cybersecurity convention by pretending to just be a university teacher. Those people are just desperate for contacts. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, that, you'll find that in every industry. Oh, yeah. Worse than Seven, yes. Oh, Lee. Yes. You can still understand the story of Seven, even if it's clunky and weird. Quite literally, the story of Final Fantasy VIII becomes incomprehensible past a certain point. Mm-hmm. Around the first dream sequence is when dialogue starts falling apart. I can't fucking find the damn fan translation. Look up the fan translation page. Yeah, literally. Aren't you a little old to buy GMC stock? No! Maybe. Oh, Nexus Mod Succession? Uh, I don't know if it's specifically that. All I, I don't, I've literally only ever referred to it as the fan translation. Yeah. Would Spoonie one like the fan translation version of FF8? I, I don't know if he's uh, ever talked about it. I don't know. I don't know if he fucking talked about Final Fantasy VIII. He kind of had more problems with it than Whee! just the story. He seems like one of those fucking faggots that would hate the, 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 the spirit. Yeah, remaster script is one-to-one -one with the OG. <laughs> I talked about Final Fantasy VIII? Yeah, yeah, the remaster did not fix it. Yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. It's, it's literally the same thing. They just remastered the game. Uh, it's poorly translated, but uh, we all know it's the best one. Yes. 
You got that mic. Pretty damn good. Six, like six, came out at least uh, understandable, even though they they yeah. uh, they a lot suffered of stuff from got localizations there too. and also they just cut out full on plot lines. Yeah, because they were quote unquote too dark. You know that was the whole thing, story. Yeah. No, you can't. Why is there so much platforming? I, I say that every time I I, I play. <laughs> no lolly, I say that every time I play DMC three. Come on, there you go. It Come literally on, wouldn't be that much of a problem if the fucking... <laughs> if it wasn't instant instant death. It literally wouldn't be that much of a problem if the stick didn't, like, literally veer max off in a completely different direction. If a fate story in a nutshell, triple triad, yeah. Triple triad, triple triad, triple triad. Imagine if, uh, TBOGT didn't mo uh, mostly exist to answer questions Rockstar didn't, uh, think about the main story. Oh, the Battle of Gay Tony? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, they fully planned on having those DLCs come out. Yeah, yeah, 100%. I wouldn't say anything to his face. Uh, well, did you take up RPG? If so, what's your favorite system? Uh, I'm playing D&D &D with, uh, Arc Pro, and, uh, it's been pretty damn fun. Uh, I like Cyberpunk, though, a little bit we play Cyberpunk, yeah. OG Cyberpunk is, is fantastic. I haven't played, uh, Cyberpunk Red yet. Is there a platform we get third-person shooter could suffer? Card games on Gunblades. Yeah. Honestly, even in indispensable industries like civil engineering, it's not the lack of contacts, but the amount of borderline retarded clients actively hindering you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Blows, uh, my mind, uh, blows my mind how long people have sworn for ages how great FF9 translation was. Not even close. No, yeah. no, it's not It's not even close. Have you and Shoei ever tried Fall Frontiers mod for New Vegas? I'm aware. I am aware. not. I am not the chip. I am not. Uh, I've read the new Transformers comic by Skybound. It's one of the few good comics coming out. No. No. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not reading any of it. Dude. Yeah, I'm not it, super into Transformers stuff. It's been, uh, well, it's also been, like, headed by, uh, Max, if I remember correctly. Mm. Uh, Max Visaggio for, like, a long fucking time. And then anyone that took over, or took over afterwards did the same shit. The Goomer expansion, sir? I wish they'd revive Mechton. Never. You will never. There we go. What would Dino win all? So what the fuck is Lewis the one who kills uh, Bul uh, Bulgarin and not, you know, the guy who has actual history with him, Nico? Nico has to be punished for his decisions. Yeah. I don't know why it's like crashing so hard right there. Uh. Tumor expansion coming to you with infinite badges. Oh! Infinite spin chat. Not so fucking cool, Max Payne. <laughs> yeah, the fucking frame dips are pain. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Uh, we seriously have we have this guy being flaky about signing basic shit when everything is ready to go, uh, but somehow we're taking too long. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Arpro was talking about the the job that he he does. Yeah. He was talking about uh, they were making designs for for people, and they have this intermediary that uh, talks to talks to uh, the clients. Yeah. And uh, they always it, the process always takes way longer than it, it actually should because uh, they'll turn it into a design, and then the person who's supposed to just give it to the clients will sit there and be like, well, why don't we tweak this and this and this and this and this? And they're like, just show it to the fucking client, and we'll tweak it if they want it tweaked. Binny vine sauce. I'm gonna co-opt it, chat. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna co-opt. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do the exact same thing I did the, to Grimbeard. It's mine now. Spin. We're gonna be even more egregious than Hassan. We're stealing entire <laughs> jokes. Entire gim entire gimmicks, chat. Chat, chat, yacht, chat, yacht. How do you feel about that, chat, yacht? Hey. Opinion on bullpups? Doggy, dog water. <laughs> and his son. All right. Oh, I guess his son's already dead. No! Mag Visagio, the talentless true and working at Marvel. Yeah. Well, Mag's never had any talent. Oh my god. Tell him to start the lady, the lady boy, cat boy. Oh, what? I don't know if your dad's gonna hire Art Bro. Wop, <laughs> Oh, 
available. Chat, I'm gonna be honest with you. It ain't looking good. It's literally just the platforming. That is the only consistent problem, is the platforming. Yeah. I'm now realizing why this version <laughs> is so bad. Because <laughs> holy fuck, the platforming is awful. Platforming's awful no matter what. Just sucks. I don't know what the obsession with games and shoving uh, platforming in of the PS2 era was. Platformers were on their way out, too. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, good third-person platformers, like, you know, Jack and Daxter and, and Crash Bandicoot and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they also let you punch people. It literally wouldn't be a problem so long as Max wouldn't go fucking diagonally when I hold straight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Sly Cooper, yeah. Sly Cooper's not a third-person shooter, chat. Give it a show, Lolly. Uh, let's see if he can do it. Last day, like, I, I let him feel that, that time when we were uh, going across the, the alleyway on the rooftop. It's like, yeah, it feels fucking weird. You heard it all before. Nothing but excuses. So true, Chet. So true. Controls are overrated. Exactly. Uh, there we go. Who is Count Chankula? Chankula? Let's go. It's like Cooper's never coming back, chat. You gotta give it up. It's for the best, it's never coming back. Do you really want to come back now? Uh, Zell's note for five fake money. OG uh, Cyber Generation TTRPG is awesome. Uh, same Cyberpunk, but with nano machine powers. You can homebrew whatever you want. Yeah. Whee! It's your campaign. Do as thou wilt. Count Chocula. You saying straight really pissed that shotgunner off, bro. He he came around the corner, dropped to his knees. It was over. All right. I was gonna say hand, handguns, anything other than a shotgun, if you're more than ten feet away. It's gonna come from the left. Bing 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 bing. bing. Yeah, there you go. There we go. PS2 exclusive platformers can't come back, especially with how the creators are today. Oh, 100%, yeah. Este, it, it is for the best that you let them go. It's like, no, you'll you'll always be able to play the games, you'll always, you'll always be able to emulate them, but like, Jesus Christ. Somehow, Bubsy is still alive. That is true, Bubsy is still alive. Max, I literally just need you to move straight. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Walk in a straight line. Okay. You need pills? Yeah, this level doesn't give you a lot. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart was great. Uh, w was decent. Yeah, and it barely made what? It, it made like seven dollars. Uh, yeah, it didn't make much. Of course, granted, that was because of a uh, Insomniac's insane budgets. Eh. Give him a video game budget, dude. Do it. All right. So I genuinely want you to feel this. Mm -hmm. You try it. Alright, boys. <laughs> yeah, see? Alright, I just had to I had to butt fuck that guy on the ground. That's all. Are you a fan of Time Splitters? Time Splitters is good. Yeah. Time Splitters is really good. What would Dino Should the fumbles begin? I would yeah. say anything to his face. There he is! There we go. Do, 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 do it. Yeah. Ratchet and Clank, women in respectable lines of business. And he immediately tanks the company. Yeah. I think he killed his friends. Yeah, uh, yeah, you can find a, a forum called Quim. You can find it on. Q-H-I-M-M. -M. Which one? Translation. Oh, yeah, the FFA translation? Yeah. As they you, you will actually need it. Oh, 
I, I was I was on the forums trying to find it, and uh, it it was so funny because <clears throat> the poster from like 2000, uh, 2009, because they moved from the Final Fantasy VII fan translation patch to the Final Fantasy VIII translation patch, uh, and I was reading it there, and the guys the guys like you know I was never really a big fan of it, but I want to give it I want to give it the same treatment I did Final Fantasy VII uh, and get it working, uh, you know like workable because I know they I know they <laughs> didn't even didn't even make it to the stoop this time. <laughs> Cause I like I, I know they butchered it, and even back in two thousand nine, there's a dude there's a dude that went on like a rant. He's like, oh, here we fucking go again. Oh, let's re re relocalize Final Fantasy six, VI, Final Fantasy seven, VI, Final Fantasy eight. Wow, What's next? We're gonna re we're gonna uh, we're gonna uh, retranslate Mario, huh? You want to go ahead and retranslate Sonic? And I was I was like, oh my god. It's literally I'm, I'm never like bi- I'm like biting my tongue because I'm like I'm like laughing. It's like oh my god, it's literally never changed. Yeah. Uh, I haven't had a good Jack game in years. There hasn't been a Jack game in fucking 20 years. Last one was Frontiers. I think that one came out on the PS3 maybe, so like at least 12. Turn the brightness up so you can see the legends better. It's not a matter of I can't oh, see Oh, we can them. see the legends just fine. It's the, the controls are sucking. Yeah. The controls on very, very tight ledges that insta-kill you are the exact worst parts right now. <laughs> yeah. It's literally a matter of holy shit of all things to be affected. Yeah. There's so many retards like that back then. Oh, there's just as many retards like that today. Same as it ever was. Quite literally, it's been the same as it ever was. This is why I've said so many times, it's like, we have not progressed as a society at all. We have no. sta we have been stagnant for a wow, very long know. time. I blame the creation of the internet and psyops. Oh. Yes, let's do retranslate every Final Fantasy and Fire Emblem game. Yeah. I mean, if it's a story-focused game, yeah, you kind of want the story. Yeah. Like just uh, just in that article, uh, or not that article, just in that forum post alone, uh, a dude documented 14 different times where they they changed uh, entire conversation Squall had. Uh, so so uh, just for for chat's reference, and I I know this is something that is kind of common knowledge now. Every time Squall says whatever in the in the translation that is actively available for people. Is the localizers deleting dialogue? Yeah. They just replaced a dialogue that Squall says about something with whatever. Yeah. So anytime he says whatever, there's something being said. But uh, in that forum post, uh, a guy counted at least 14 times where they just erase dialogue and have Squall say whatever. But shorter, the government said they're here to help. Oh no! Thank you, thank you, President Reagan. Very nice. Fucking what? Yeah, that, that's why I said over and over again. Uh, Final Fantasy VIII's story is incomprehensible without that fan translation. Like the the second half of the story doesn't get more comprehensible with it, but it makes fucking yeah. more sense than a uh, character's not behaving the way they're supposed to. Well, that second half of the story is also like a complete mind fuck. Mm -hmm. It's so, supposed to be yes. Yeah, so it, it's this thing where you have a mind fuck story that's actively being fucked with translation wise. So all the lead in to what like the material world and all the stuff that's supposed to make sense. Mm -hmm. You, yeah, yeah, it's kind of important to keep that as it is, so then when you get to the crazy stuff, you can understand, oh shit, is breaking down, it's getting weird and wild, but no. Yeah. Uh, the Final Fantasy VIII's translation isn't even as bad as Final Fantasy IX's translation. Final Fantasy IX introduces the final boss with a fucking uh, Yoda quote. Even, as a, even when I was younger, I was like, that's stupid. Oh my god. <laughs> there goes my... Ah! <laughs> My knees! Oh god, my fucking knees! So bullet time helped a little bit. Yeah. Once you're once you're moving, it doesn't fuck up, but you need to you have to like. It's keep literally moving. the startup, yeah. He'll just veer off in a completely different direction. I don't understand that. I I think do I. I would like Final Fantasy X to get a retranslation for the OG voice actors to record their lines. I don't know how much Final Fantasy X is changing. I also don't really know. It, it, it's like pre-10, pre-10, like the PS1 era, that's where we know they fucked up a lot of shit, like for a fact. Yeah, yeah, that's something that is just common knowledge. Ooh, no. And I legit think they did it off the basis of, well, people liked how we did Kefka in 6, therefore we are, we're allowed to do it with literally everything else. Well, they, all, they changed a bunch of stuff in 6, too. Yeah. Uh, Uh, 10, 10 isn't as bad as the bad things and stuff. I imagine so. Yeah. Uh, it's probably an 8 mod, mod called a Succession Mod. That's all I can find, but it's worded like it's a fan edit, not a translation. Uh, I think that's what they called it. 
Uh, they call it retranslation here, but there's a link for succession in the same thread. I think it is succession because I think somebody was telling me about that. Mm -hmm. Ah, fuck. Yeah, Ragnarok's a rough level. Yeah. Was Kefka different in Japanese? He was, yeah. Yes. Uh, localized Kefka is the one which basically pushed the whole Joker vibe because it's like Psycho Clown thing. Shotgun. Shotgun. Alright. It lurks that song is where I've only ever heard that part of the song. <laughs> There we go. What happens in six? Well, I stayed. Uh, Kefka is a lot more downplayed. Yeah. Uh, he's more of like a formal villain. When you play, you play uh, localized six, and he's like literally the Joker. He's cracking yeah. jokes. As he's like summoning lightning to kill people. Yeah. Uh, there's a bunch of different censorship that happened with it. Yeah. Uh, like fucking what's her name? Sulla. Uh, Sestus. Sestus. Uh, there's a scene where she gets uh, brutalized in a in a cell, and they just kind of cut that out. Yeah. Uh, she gets brutalized in the cell, and uh, what's his face has to like listen to her in the cell over over next to her. Yeah. And yeah, they just kind of cut that out. Uh, Final Fantasy XIII doesn't have very good translation either, apparently. Uh, since localers didn't have a complete script. Oh. Okay. Oh no. Here, here's what I'm talking about. So. So there you go. That's me doing that. Do you see that? So, flick it like that. Oh, even when I flick it, it's mm -hmm. doing like a, a fucking snake thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. On, on startup, he'll literally veer in a weird direction and do kind of like a a diagonal snake slither. So that's been kind of the issue so far with the platforming. Yeah. We're any, the, we're any of the pixel remaster localization butchered as well. The it, pixel, it's literally the exact, the, same, the exact same thing. They've never been retranslated officially. Uh, I'm assuming that's code for another violent act against a woman. Yes. Brutalized on the first date? Yes. Oh. Oh. Don't do it, Lolly. Don't do it. There we go. <laughs> you can make it, Lolly. I believe in you. Yeah, we just have to be very careful when we actually get to it. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'm going to try something real quick. I should be able to fuck with it. Alright. Uh, this is only for luck. Shit. Yeah. I was kind of, I was kind of hoping, like, can I fuck with the actual moving? Yeah. Uh, whenever I say brutalized, like she, like I, I mean brutalized. Uh, Locke has to, uh, Locke has to watch some guards. The, the guards go in and take turns beating her, like actually beating her. Uh, and in the in the localization, they just yeah. taunt her from the cell. There's nothing in JP script saying Celeste was actually raped. I think that going that far makes it needlessly edgy for that reason. No, it's implied. It, it is flat out implied. Like she, she, she gets beaten. That's what is. That is what is is. Uh, and you, you get to see it. On, on JP, if you play the JP version, you get to see them go in the cell and beat her. Yeah. Yeah, they gotta do shit where it makes sense, or at least not too much for shock value. Uh, I mean, it's a it's a torture scene. Yeah, they're, that's what happens in torture. Uh, I hope you never read up about what happens in war. Uh, Birds of... Birds of Play also did a Final Fantasy X double video for the translation differences. Uh, here, I'm going to space out the link to the playlist in my next message. Is there a way to force a save? No! No, nope. This works completely off stages, so... Alright. Pray. Come on. This is a torture scene, it is. Oh my god! You saw that! Yeah. Like, it, it literally went completely to the fucking side. Like, I'm not crazy. The Hardy Boys. She was raped. Also, the Hardy Boys. Dirty whore. Yeah, you can only save in the PC version. Yeah. Need more games with meat werewolves, like in The Suffering. Those are pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. While with Dino and all, I wouldn't say anything to his face. He might not... I now understand why people don't like the PS2 version. <laughs> Like the torture scene in MPS5. 
Which torture? Mo okay, MGS5 had several torture scenes. Forward now, right? Yeah, seriously, it's like I, I'm not fucking crazy. You know, that, that's why where it's like, oh, if you turn the brightness up, it's like, no, I know where I'm gonna go. Max just doesn't want to go there. Yeah. He's a, he's a bit of a silly guy. He's a bit of a goofy guy. <laughs> Quiet. Okay, again, which torture scene? I, I assume you mean the one where she, uh, the guy threatens to rape her and is dunking her head in the fucking, uh... uh salt water, yeah. Yeah. Got him down. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, shit. Pretty sure that worked. Go. All right. It's time. Take a deep breath. Max, take a deep breath. I swear I thought the PS2 version had a quick save. Nope. Nope. It Dang. won't let us. Because that was the first thing I thought uh, the first time we ran into platforming issues. Like, all right, I'll just quick save. Mm -hmm. No quick save. No quick save. The Xbox version had quick save, if I remember correctly. MGS mutants are, are honestly weird. MGS4 is weird as fuck. I think the main reason it's bad is the devs uh, forced to recreate a lot of the game in a different engine. Uh, imagine they had limited time to test stuff like this. You know what? That would explain a lot. Yeah. Uh, oh, you talking about the frog soldiers or the genome frog soldiers? Uh, I like them. They're cool. They just jump. Like, Max, I just need you to move straight. Honestly, the hardest part for me is in, in MGS5 when uh, Quiet's pressing the knife against the Outer Heaven Soldier's teeth and it cracks. Yeah. To be fair, the Outer Heaven Soldiers <laughs> kept uh, kept uh, harassing her. My foot is clipped into the beam. Yeah. My foot is clipped into the beam. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jump. Yeah. How did that not kill me? Jumping solves all your problems, Lolly. You tried this game on mobile? Uh, I downloaded a rip of it on my phone and I played it on mobile. Ah! <laughs> Should have jumped, Wally. Damn. Just tap it in. I did. I was. It's like golf. It's, it's like golf. Just tap the ball in. Just, just tap it in. Wow. I think it's enough that Celeste was just beaten. Well, yeah. It, it, oh yeah, she like like I said, she's she's beaten. Like, it that's, comes that's down to a, it, it comes down to a thing of if the JP script said she was raped, she was fucking raped. No, she doesn't say she was raped. She was beaten. Uh, in the JP version of the game, you see the soldiers go in there and yeah. they beat her. But my, my point being, like if the original vision says it, we're going by that. We're not going by the localized version. Yeah. Well, that's not the localized version. That's the original version that she just gets beaten. But but you get my point. Yeah. Well, your point doesn't exist because it's not what happened. Go to your home! It's your fucking home! You're too good for your home! Sometimes. Alright. So we're getting there. We're getting closer. Game Boy Advance version is, is uh, surprisingly good as well. The Game Boy, the Game Boy Advance version had uh, even more censorship in it because they censored a lot of sprites. Yeah. Also, like there, there's general dialogue censorships. Like I know, I know they renamed the Jihadists to, to Crusaders. Yeah. Maybe the guards are all gay. It's, it's true, chat. They are. So they beat her harder in homo rage. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It's not like my mother refusing to be wrong. No, I say it is implied. It's not. It's not implied in the dialogue. Uh, because you, uh, they literally cut, in the Western release, they cut out a scene and it's just the, the soldiers standing outside the, they, the soldiers standing outside of the, the jail cell. Uh, in the Japanese release, you see them go in there and they, they attack her model. Maybe do the dive. Maybe the dive is, is Maybe? easier to line up. Maybe? I, I, like I said, I have no fucking idea why Max slips around like that. Uh, what was the message to go through? Uh, I'm not sure if it did. Uh, I didn't see it. it has arrived. Oh. My wife did. Ugh. My wife did. Oh, 
killing me. It's not his fault, Jack. It's not his fault. There we go. There we go. Hell divers your way to victory. You might actually have to. <laughs> like I said, like Max will just start moving in different directions, and I do not fucking know why. Mm -hmm. Would you like to see a ninja guide make a new uh, version of Sigma 2? Keep the gore mechanic of Nolan with the Sigma quality life improvements? That would be cool. Almost threw me off the fucking stairs there. Mm. Uh, it's not implying the dialogue, it's implied by the context of the scene. Yeah, but you, uh, like I said, you see them go in there and, and beat her. Alright. Ah! Yeah, just <sighs> the, uh... Walk sideways while looking down. I will try it, but this is a lot more precarious than the other ledge. Oh, yeah, I, I see it now. Uh, nope, that has oof. got me even closer. Holy shit. Even worse off. Uh, yeah, you, can, you can just download the Succession mod, and it works. Oh, fuck. Aww. Damn. You literally just start, like, getting bounced off it. I don't. I do not understand why. If you were given the choice to choose one or the other, uh, with one of the choices resulting in your death, would you pick Tomboy Childhood Friend or Princess Friend to Lovers? Childhood Friend Chat. Tomboy. Uh... So Shoto was gaslighting Lolly for months saying rape You're goddamn I know, right, chat. I know for a fact you right. said it was a rape scene. You're goddamn right. The Xbox version have stiff movement, never played the console version. I don't know about the Xbox version. Uh, I remember, yeah, I remember the Xbox version being playing basically the same as this. Uh, hold me now, I'm six feet from the edge and I'm thinking, thinking of jumping. Does Succession work for the remastered version? I believe it does. It should. I think it worked for any any PC version. Come on. Oh my god. I'm about to break. Uh, but while well, I fixed the, I like to fix the Sigma too. I feel like the gore being removed is uh, sort of a step down from Ninja Gaiden. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Like gameplay improvements, I, I like it more. But uh, yeah, I, I always prefer the gore. It's just kind of weird when they spew purple mist. Yeah. Mission Lolly makes it and dies. Oh, I will. <laughs> I will legit be pissed. Times. E. I hope all is well. Right now, thing. Oh my god. Right now, things are not very well. We're dealing with Max Payne platforming. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. uh, Six doesn't have a rape scene, nor is it implied in the JP script. Uh, where it is implied, however, is uh, we know how women being tortured in the real world is handled, especially in those times. Yeah. Uh, love Max Payne slip and slide ad beam, Kino as hell. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. God just hates well, you. He do definitely do. appears to be. The god of game design. The most dangerous thing in third-person shooters is platforming chat. Always remember. Yeah. Is the collision on platforms bad or they just have ice physics? It, it's it's kind of both. It, it, it's Max, excuse me, it's Max Payne's movement. Yeah. Max seems to have this weird ice physics thing where he'll start slipping around as you're trying to move. Because I, he just cannot keep himself straight. And on top of that, if, if you fall off the ledge a little bit, it'll consider you at a wall. So now you're dealing with collision physics. It, it, it's two tiers of like, holy fuck, that's kind of clunky and annoying. Or did you show the Musashi to Lolly? Because, yeah, damn, uh, I did not, I did not see Musashi. Did you want another Max Payne game or no? Oh, absolutely. Max Payne, like, the, the yeah. Max Payne games are fun as fuck. And I, I'd love for them to, to finish the Max Payne 1 and 2 remasters they had going on. Or remakes, I guess. Ugh. Oh, 
the other guys too are demons, uh, and not humans, so they're not spilling blood kind of makes sense. Uh, but I still liked it when enemies would turn into guys of blood. Well, demons still bleed, like, demons still yeah. bleed normal blood. Ragdoll physics for the win. Mm -hmm. uh, is this only on the PS2 version? Wasn't that the what the game originally came out on? No, it came out uh, on PC. It came out on PC, PS2, and Xbox. Uh, it seems like it, it's probably just the console ports, because I remember the Xbox being a pain in the ass here, too. What would Dino and all? Uh, there are mods called Ninja Guide and Sigma Black for both 1 and 2 uh, that try to combine the graphics of the Sigma games with the encounters of more of the original. Yeah. I, I like the I like the retooled uh, encounters for Ninja Guide and Sigma 2. It, it's just the it's just the lack of gore that yeah. upsets me. Some uh, some demons beat red, uh, others red. Uh, I assume you mean like others don't. Shoot him with his dick. You shoot his friend in his dick too. I got him. Uh, Ninja Guy intends to spy Sigma 2. Oh, uh, I'm not reading that. Okay. Uh, like, I'm still trying to figure out the, the reason for this. The only thing I can think of is Max will move physically where his legs are, are pointing at. Mm -hmm. So it's a thing of, like, you know, hey, he's not just going to move straight. It'll be a thing where. He'll actually try to like move his body to be in that direction. Yeah, that's that's about the only thing I can think of. Even then, I'm not too sure. It's just the fact that like, man, I, I really don't get it. I see got to get is involved in Ninja Gaiden again, which I don't think will ever happen. I don't think it's coming back. Yeah. Oh, Ninja Gaiden, probably not. Tried uh, jumping the whole way. I will try that because I mean, at this point, fuck it. Yeah. Uh, make a Ninja Gaiden video. I wish people talked about it the same way they talk about DMC because I genuinely think it deserves that level of recognition. Uh, I like it. I don't think it deserves as much recognition as DMC does. Yeah. In general, is there such a thing as uh, as a redeemed demon? They can try. What did your demon do? Yeah. This is what I mean. They probably screwed up the implementation of that feature. Yeah, probably. Well, on Xbox, like, like I said, uh, they let you save on Xbox. Yeah. So it's nowhere near as a pain in the ass. Yeah. I, re I remember because we had a uh, me and my cousin had a save on the Xbox uh, on the Xbox version uh, that was at the top of the tower uh, on one of the last missions, uh, and we used to just throw ourselves off the tower because it was fun. <laughs> All right, just straight. Oh. It was trying really hard to kill me right there. Yeah, Holy yeah, yeah, fuck. Yeah. Holy fuck. That was trying really hard to kill me. I don't die. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even want to. I don't. Uh, no! Oh, come <laughs> on, you motherfucker! Okay, now do it more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on! Uh, oh. Why? I wouldn't say anything. Hasn't had a brand new game since 2012. I get why it's not as popular. As it is. Yeah, to be fair, not not having a new game release did hurt it. But also, Ninja Gaiden 3 wasn't the best. Maximum suffering. Oh my god. We're in for a long night. Let's go. Why are we still here? Just to jump? <laughs> uh, I used to know the player character in Dave uh, Dave Mirror Freestyle BMX 2 in the Windows because the noise is the glass and the guy made it funny. Sure, but did you 100% did you, uh, BMXXX chat? How many how many videos of naked women do you have, chat? Answer in the comments below. <laughs> I'm kind of 
Oh. Oh. That's the problem. It exclusively didn't. Yeah. It had it had bits and pieces here. The story the story in general in three was like kind of all over the place. Not gonna lie. I don't miss this part of Max Payne at all. <laughs> There's a reason you don't remember this mission. Yeah. You, you actually make a good point. You try to forget all the bad things to maximize your your no Oh my god! Yeah. Should put in a cheat code, skip this. I forgot it's a PS2 game, it does have cheat codes. Looking up cheat codes, chat. What would Dino in all? I wouldn't say anything to his face. I don't think I ever I don't think I ever actually put any of these cheat codes in that. If I did, it was usually it, it was usually just stuff like all weapon cheat codes mm -hmm. or like infinite pills. Okay, do you think unlimited bullet time would assist with moving across those beams? I don't know. I tried it before and it didn't really feel like it. Okay. It's literally a thing of I just want to fix it to where there's not a fucking weird ass, I don't know, like dead zone or, or thing on startup with Max where he moves. Uh, check the controls. It did have something on there. It was all look. Because I, I thought the exact same thing. is like maybe it's a sensitivity issue. Uh... Oh, here, that's configuration. That's not what I meant. Yeah. Look at that old-ass PS2 controller. Yeah. Uh, control options. Yeah, it's a look stick. Oh, uh, yeah, it's just a look stick. Okay. This is agony. True. We did say we were going to maximize the pain. Remember cheat code books? I do, chat. They were the greatest. Chat, what do you think they sold the most at, at book fairs at your school? Cheat code books or, or regular books? Ugh. Try spinning, that's a neat trick. That was only in two. Unlook, unlimited pills looking real good right now. I mean, I mean, I can get through the gunfights just fine. It is literally just the platforming. I wonder, I wonder if it's a set amount of damage it deals to you, or if it's an insta kill. It's insta kill. It, it I mean, we haven't made it up there with with more than half health. Also, the weird frame locks. The, the yeah. frame locks are fucking with me. Yeah, the frame drops. Lego and Minecraft books. Oh, you're too young, chat. Until the player guy top secret passwords 1992. Number one book sold for what? Ah. Oh. Yeah. Damn. I bought the Kingdom Hearts 2 manga for my books, uh, book sale at junior high. Too bad I lost that manga. <laughs> I wouldn't say anything to it. The uh, problem is, Max Payne would never be in those uh, cheat code books. It would be uh, rated E games like Toy Story or the B movie games. Oh no, the suffering was in there. Yeah, like for you. Yeah. Maybe maybe you were buying the wrong cheat code books, loser. Dude, uh, one of the ones I bought from a book fair sharp had Conker's Bad Fur Day in it. Yeah. Come on. Burn. I just forgot my brother the Zelda Twilight Princess manga uh, when she went to Japan. Yeah. I looked down that left, right, left, right, B8. Hey, I know that code. I hope GTA 6 still has cheat codes. Uh, GTA 5 have them, so I imagine it probably will. Yeah. I never bought books at the book first, and my parents would say they could just buy me books anytime. Yeah. <laughs> Chat, if you're here, you need to you need to make a time machine so you can go back in time and whenever your parents whenever your parents go no I, I can just buy you a book anytime you got you got to take a, a bite out of your your celery stick and go if you're just a, if you're a broke boy just say so. <laughs> lolly, lolly, don't do it, lolly, don't do it, don't do it. I'm waiting. I'm gonna pause the game. 
All right, you're, you're gonna do L1, L2, R1, okay, wait, wait. R2. Here, hit, it, it's not that long. Uh, no, I I hit back instead of start. Okay. Okay. So. Oh, I guess it's just. Yeah, never mind. L1, L2, R1, R2, triangle, circle, X square. square. All right, now press start. Eight. All right, now. Oh, that was the painkillers one. Oh well. Let's see if it works. Damn! Yeah, no, it's it's an insta kill. I told you. Man, time flies. That was eleven when Bam Conquer's Bad Fur Day comes out. Yeah, it was so good. What with Dino and all, I would come out. say anything to his face. He might not. What do you mean by the newspapers? Newspapers had them. Oh, you can also just look them up. Yeah, but you know, it was cool. Give you an in-universe way to, to find them. I thought that was cool. Just skip the level, but we want to see the ending cutscene, chat. Where are they? Uh. Did what? Did did they bug out? All right, let's go. Just a test. Oh, they, <laughs> they they were over there. They got stuck on the on the geometry. They got stuck. All okay. Three of them. Oh yeah. Oh. Still remember when Max Payne Three came out? Oh shit. Oh yeah. Got him. Counting pills before walking on the beam didn't work. That totally would have worked in real life. I remember being really sad when I heard about Mark Self buying rare. The the only the only good thing that came out of that was we got the rare replay cor uh, correct collection. That was pretty cool. It was. It was like one of the best deals for a game ever. Games up. Okay. Okay. What the hell? <laughs> Uh. <laughs> there goes my <laughs> hero. <laughs> Watch him as he goes. I wouldn't say anything. All right, here. Fuck it, so we don't have to die. Uh, 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 uh. Well, uh, use this one this time. Okay. He might not. All right, let's try it. All right. All right, guys. Yeah, so yep. I have become God, destroyer of men. I'm pissed. I, I wanna, I, I wanna know. That way, whenever we inevitably fall off, I wanna know if it's a death claim. It could be. Let's actually try that. What? It's not full invulnerability. How much invulnerability did it give you? I don't fucking know. What? What with Dino and all? Well, he make it make sense. <laughs> well, he make it make sense. I, I don't. I don't fucking. I wouldn't say anything to his face. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're gonna test this out now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What, so, if, what if they? What if they just? What if they're just missing? Okay, I saw the blood. Never mind. <laughs> what with Dino and all? Local drug, <laughs> local drug dealer kills God. Is it because is is it because the fight ended on a cinematic? I don't know. Did you use a pill? It oh is. my God! It is. It literally is. Okay. Okay. Many cinematics uh, cause issues. It would seem. What if one of these guys just has a God killing gun? You don't know. Guess we know now. I was 18 when Persona 3 came out, and I was wondering if it's still on the PS2. Uh, when the PS3 was already out. All right, so I have to enter so, it in again. <laughs> yeah, I, I I remember at this point. Yeah, it's not a hard cheat code. L1, L1, L2, L2, R1, R1, R2, R2. The golden gun. I think I took damage. <laughs> Game psyching you out, man. It's in your head. Okay, no, I didn't. Wait, no, I did. Okay, so it's that... an inconsistent invulnerability. <laughs> okay, so that 
<laughs> that cutscene didn't actually make it stop. It's just the one downstairs, apparently. What the hell? Yeah. Alright, so now we will actually genuinely attempt to do this. Oh, thank God! Oh my <laughs> oh, God! God. We, we have a saving grace! We made it out of the hood, Jet! You need God mode to solve a fucking basic puzzle! <laughs> Does this game have cool golden guns? Uh, it. No, this one doesn't have golden guns. I, I think, think two started the golden gun thing. Yeah. Because I know three had them, but I thought three was a reference to two. He forced a quick save. Yeah, quick save. All right, now you don't have to worry about... Okay, well... <laughs> now we just have to solve the platforming. <laughs> Platform, forehead. <laughs> this, feels, this feels like a puzzle. Yeah, the puzzle is look up... Uh, go out and buy a cheat code book. It might actually have been... It might have actually been the expectation. <laughs> This is like that. This is like that guy that made a game that was unsolvable unless you bought the DLC. <laughs> All right, Lolly, full tilt, full tilt. <laughs> okay, full tilt. All right, this time we'll just try repeatedly jumping in a straight line. We'll see if that works. Yeah. Yeah. Girlfriend saw me getting raped. Things have been going downhill since. I don't know if you watch anime, but I think you should watch Berserk. The protagonist went through something very similar to you, and I, I think that you'd relate to him. <laughs> I've been raped and my life is falling apart. It's just like Berserk! <laughs> Alright, you didn't jump, Lolly. Yeah, I didn't. Here, <laughs> I gotta take a piss. You you attempt to solve... <sighs> don't worry, chat. I'm here to... S I'm, I'm with the government, and I'm here to solve your problems. Yeah. I'm gonna chug this lemon tea I've got. All right, I'm gonna go piss in my gas tank. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just like me, chat. For real, for real. Yeah. Game. Oh yeah, I paused. That might have turned it off. We're gonna make it out this hood, chat. We're gonna make it out this hood. I'm gonna do it, chat. <laughs> Listen, chat, the economy's in shambles. Watch out for the air. It's dangerous. I see. Oh, unfortunate, chat. Unfortunate. Round two. Round two. Now we're hell diving all alone. Chat, you need to hell dive. You need to you need a hell dive on on hell dive. Forehead. Obviously, Berserk's gonna end with Casca raping the God Hand. I can't believe Rickert and inv invented the the strap on. How do you come back from that, chat? He'll go down in, hi in history as the man who made the strap on. It was just warm. It was just, just, it was just warm, chat. Hey, Batman, I, I got a, I got a little Pokemon here, Batman. No joking. What are you doing with that? I, I, I got, I got a little Lopity here, Batman. I got, I got, I got a Lopity. Oh, don't, don't you want to see what I'm gonna do to the Lopity, Batman? No joker, don't do that. You can't do that, Joker. I'm pressing forward, and he keeps going left and right. I told you. I fucking told you. Yeah, chat, but I'm built different. So that storm that I was supposed to get, like, just not there. Yeah. Oh, like, they changed it to, like, 8 a.m. now, so we might get it around 8-ish. Maybe. Also, chat, second try, Lolly is, uh, pathetic. Refund all your donos, chat. Oh, we do have a tornado watch, though. Yeah. Watch your warning. Watch. Fuck. <laughs> That's not good. Uh... Well, Lolly, it seems invulnerability has caught up with us. 
Huh. Um. I see. Well, wait a minute. If it's not Death Plane, that means we were supposed to come down here at some point. Uh, no, we weren't. <laughs> we were supposed to come down here at some point. Uh, I think God has forget forgotten us. Walk into the light. That light's scary. I think I saw some dude get shot over there. <laughs> to the abyss. Brother! Oh. Oh, we'll let you go into the abyss. He's the chosen one. <laughs> Max has been chosen, chat. Out of bounds. This is Boundary Break, where we, we take the camera and we just go out of bounds. You fumbled it. You fumbled <laughs> it. Where's the load plane for the next fucking mission? <laughs> Complete. We're in the back rooms, chat. We made it out. Oh. Uh. Still got grenades, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, we do. Okay. Will blow up in your hand? Uh, I don't know. I can also figure that out real quick. Wrong button. <laughs> what a sick joke! <laughs> Better if that was your last one. Wee. <laughs> Stuff like this doesn't happen anymore. You're right, chat. All right, Lolly. Yep. Get on the bed. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. More for the gold. What with Dino and all, I wouldn't say anything to his face. There he is. Oh. 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 There we go. That's all the bad guys in the stairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you at least dive straight? In which case, I have an idea. Alright. Hey, uh... oh! Fuck him. Why, why did you go over here, Max? I didn't even touch the stick. <laughs> Max, tonight we're Tokyo drifting. Aww. I would you have to turn on God mode just to make it a normal puzzle that doesn't need to kill you? It's like, Jesus Christ. I don't even understand the point of that. Wait, what's the point of a death plane there? I don't know. Like, the, even worse than that is like the next section. 
We need to do yeah. this, but for forever. <laughs> I, I, I don't get it. I'm never going to get it. Tonight, you know. What happens if you fall into the death pit? I assume it just kills you. It didn't kill us before. Come on. Can you strafe, strafe it? No. No. It, it also has the same problem. Like, we may be able to shimmy it, but as you can see, it, it just spurts you. Why did you do this, Remedy? They, chat, judge them not, for they know not what they do. <laughs> no! Oh, thank God for invulnerability. I, I I fully believe, bottom of my heart, it's an issue with the stick. Not not saying the controller is bad. I mean, like, it doesn't really respond that well to a stick. Yeah. And you're kind of supposed to use a, a keyboard for it, so you can kind of put in the the little little taps here and there. <laughs> or you have that more solid, like, straight backwards, sideways that. Well, I, I feel like it probably more so is an issue with like the dead zone on the on the left stick. But we don't have an option to adjust that. It's yeah. only the dead zone for the right stick. What were they thinking? This camera's ass. So yeah, I, I can do it if I literally just do this. Yeah, if you tippy tap. All right, all right, all right. It's fine, it's fine. Now we need to make it to the next part. Turn around. Yeah, now, now we yeah. literally do it again. Holy fuck, that... Do it, but way longer. That that got its revenge on me. That was just trying to push me into the wall. Okay. Come on, Max. Come on. You can strafe, kind of. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> well, he paused again. Wait, wait, where's it at? Where, 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 where's, where's, where's it at? Uh. All right. Now go to the go to the go to the load menu. All right. What level are we on? Uh, eight. we're on eight. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe, maybe that's the one that we were on. A uh, triangle. Oh. 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 Here, let me let me do it again. Let me do it again. Uh. Up, down, left, right, up, left, down, circle. All right, low, low, low. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my god. I'm trying to think Max really is suicidal. He can't take this shit no more. <laughs> Lisa Punchinello. Lisa Punchinello was the Don's wife. Mona Sachs. Lisa's evil twin. Your safety's off, evil twin. You might hurt someone with that gun of yours. Uh, you know, Lisa's Batman. the damsel in distress. It's pretty good. It's good. I'd blow you away without batting an eye. Sure. And you can check out my credentials splattered all over this joint. Puccinello? Jack yes. couldn't have framed you, not the state he was uh, in. Spaz Spaz for, for Valor, I can't find anything back. even close to a retranslation mod for FF8. The, the, the only fucking thing I could find is a mod that brings up the English translation. I'm at the fucking point not giving a shit and just skipping the game completely. I say it's a succession mod. That's what it is. put a contract on the Arch Fiend. This one's mine. I hate the guts of that sadistic wife. Do it already, you stupid bitch. It only gets worse. It only gets worse. Why not pool our bullets for this one? I thought you'd never ask. Yeah, we do have we do have the, the much much like much stricter 
uh, uh, pl platforming section I'm next. Easy, as long as you don't try to slip me a Mickey. You're a real angel, Max. It was good stuff. Tasted sweet as honey going down. Nothing personal. Can't risk you going berserk and getting Lisa killed. The nightmare was always the same. Violent shapes moving. Oh, but wait, old and ugly. there's more. The laughter was a riddle filled with wicked innuendo. Somewhere, the baby was crying. All right. Now we have the actual platforming section. I know. Right? <laughs> what the fuck was with this game and so much platforming? It was a it, listen. It was a problem that all these 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 uh, transform. Uh, God damn it. Uh, middle era games did okay. DMC three has way too much platforming too. I mean, say what you want about Half Life. At least Half Life felt like you can you know it felt consistent with how it controlled. Yeah. Problem with this game is I I think it's an issue with the stick where it just wants to. Like, you can see it, Max is slipping around like a little snake. <laughs> All of the blood. And two and three have it, yeah. Four also has it a little bit, but it's less platforming and more fuck you, fight these enemies. Yeah. Golly gee willikers. You don't remember the Max Payne laser hallway before the final boss fight? Oh yeah, the one with the QTE where you dance through it? <laughs> Should have known when we found you snoring next to Lapino's corpse. A comedian, huh? Eh. Michelle looked at me from the photo. The pictures were I'm filled with cop. good times. I'm a hero cop. Yeah. Oh no, it's happening all over again, guys. Uh. Yep. I fucking hate this part. It is a it is a nightmare in all versions. Alright, Lolly. <laughs> I'm ready. Don't fuck up, Lolly. Don't fuck up. The game just trained you to do this. Come on. I must save my family. I will not harbor guilt in my heart. No. <laughs> See, the it difference has a, it has is... A, it has a checkpoint. Slash, you don't take damage. Baby represents my fucking moo right now, for real, for real. Well, really, another platforming section? Yeah. Some about th some about this era, man. <laughs> Shut that kid up, or I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I hope you're ready to listen to this baby cry for two fucking hours, Chad. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yeah. It's literally just a thing of, like, Max just fucking move. <laughs> Max, in a straight line, please. That's why everyone memory holds the PS2 port. Yeah, Xbox is just like it. Yeah. Only you had quick saves, which here doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Put the god mode cheat on and see where you go. Well, yeah, it's not actually killing us. It it's, teleports it's us. Just teleporting us. We're all gonna be crying by the end. <laughs> Come on. Can't fucking walk straight, yeah. Max is the titular hero cop. A, a fucking beer bottle in hand. Any news on a new Berserk chapter? No news. Supposedly in June. Mm. 
too. I believe it's on the PS2 or PC. Well, on the PC, you can you can get a patch to punch it up. Come on, Max, stop fucking. Why why do you fishtail fat? Like why why? I will never understand the fishtailing. Jesus, just had a ten-hour flight with a fucking baby crying next to me. Wah, wah. It'll be done when it's done. <laughs> this crying baby loop's gonna make me use violence. Best part is I'm not even I'm not even like a, all the way through the puzzle. Uh, yeah, this is the first turn. Come on, Max. Jeez. Might be best to mute the game at this part. You should turn it up to Max. I might. I might. Someone shut that baby up! Wah! Wah! Well, he found his way to the, the, the Disco Elysium Reddit. <laughs> you do it. Oh, <laughs> This is hell. Yeah. This is Max's hell, actually. It literally is. His hell isn't that his family died. It's remembering all the fucking platforming. <laughs> there, should have, there should have been a level in Max Payne 3 where you have a nightmare and it's just this. Yep. Someone playtested this and went, ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, I, I can just take the headphones off. <laughs> I can literally just take them off and I don't have to hear the baby. <laughs> crying baby is integral to the game. Stop fucking crying, bitch. Wah, wah, wah. I don't want to fucking hear it. <laughs> ah. It's all the nights the baby woke him up. <laughs> Uh, Max in three was probably too drunk to remember this. He did. He did always have a, a bottle in hand. Sparrows mute the game. Don't leave us here, Lolly. The baby won't shut the fuck up. See, it's a thing where once again the the wonky ass like I will never understand it. Why why does Max fishtail? <laughs> I mean, it'd be a thing if I was like moving the stick. Like you know, why did he, why did he move more? You can walk. You can, you can go in a straight line, and he'll just fucking go. Whoop. He walked a bit more straight when I was actually flicking it around. <laughs> what the fuck? It reminds me of when my parents would leave me in my crib for hours. <laughs> I might just lay down and think about what I did to make God so angry. <laughs> Max is a fish tail. He drifts. <laughs> Actual unironic drift. Whatever you want to call it, Max, it doesn't fucking matter. Go in a straight line, you drunk bastard. This is the one thing that kept Max from killing himself. He knew hell would be this. <laughs> Max wants to live a long, peaceful life so he doesn't have to go back to this. Feels like I'm on Heelys again, bro. Pop them wheels in, chat. You know what the best part is? We gotta jump. We gotta jump! We gotta jump. <laughs> game the game at least tries to accommodate for that. Come on. Shut up that goddamn baby! Never. Alright, one second. It is crucial I do this. It is crucial I do this. Yeah. We're about to filter. Chat's about to be filtered, chat. All right. Three, two, one. I can hear it. I can hear it from over here. I don't hear it. Never mind. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait,
¿Por qué? <laughs> oh my god. How to lose all your viewers in one easy swoop. We gained viewers. We literally did. Okay, he just flat out flew off that. Holy shit. Like, what the, what the fuck, Max? I still hear the little shit in my nightmares. <laughs> Max, I'm fucking begging you. Not a vibe check, I take pride in passing. <laughs> I want to say your controls are messed up. It has to be a console thing. It just has to be. I've never had this issue on PC. This is just how this is how the, the Xbox and PlayStation versions were. You know what? I'm just gonna skip some major steps. Yeah. We can't use the D-pad for movement, can we? Nope. Damn. It's only weapon select. Damn. Okay. Okay. What? Is there an option in the menu? No. Damn. Was a trap. We gained 10 new viewers. <laughs> no, I'm fine. It was close enough to the beginning anyway. We are in hell, chat. We're playing this on PC and just doing no clip because it's bullshit. <laughs> Look up no clip. Look up no clip. Uh, well, I, I apologize for you, but uh, that is a PC only future. Look up no clip! I repeat. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Just jump it. Just keep jumping. We have more control in the air than we do on the ground. <laughs> Ooh. When we move in a straight line in the air, we're safe. Incredible Hulk. I remember this part of the comics. It was my favorite. This would be a nightmare Banner would have. It's Banner doing the, the, the Hulk jumps. Alright, alright, you gotta turn here. There we go. It turns out jumping was our salvation the entire time. Amen. Not gonna lie, kinda bullshit. <laughs> it's Guts' his dream from Black Swords. <laughs> Almost got ourselves. Fucked. Oh. I believe in us. I believe in the us that believes in the them that the believes in the in the us that believes in the them. Mm. Fuck! I got greedy. Wally. Ten more years in the baby room. I don't want to go to the baby room. I really don't want to go to the baby room. All you had to true all you had to do is trust your inner Mario. It's a me. Problem with the jumping strategy is that once to like throw the camera back so you can like see Max do the cinematic jump thing. Yeah. So it's hard to keep track of where he's going. Uh. There's a lot of parts of Max Payne that you just kind of memory hole, I realize. What is the narrative purpose of the of the baby torture room? Don't make me really relive that, man. <laughs> the narrative purpose is, is they knew one day they would have the option to remake the game and people would cheer when it was taken out. <laughs> the purpose was Half-Life did it and we're, we gotta rip them off because everyone's ripping them off. Yep. Like, but those parts of Half-Life weren't that great either. <laughs> Max, you need to learn how to crouch jump, Max. 
Max, come on, don't make me put you th th through the tutorial again. Don't make me put you in the baby room. <laughs> oh, not the baby room. No. Wah. Wah. I would rather see my family die again than go back <laughs> to that fucking baby room. You know what? Take my family. Fuck them. I don't care. Take my wife. Take, Take my kid. Kill her. I'll oh, kill her for you. Go ahead. Give me the shotgun. Give me it right now. Oof. Come on. We're almost there. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Channel your inner Superman 64, man. No! <laughs> <laughs> this gave me an idea for a story. <laughs> the curse has been cast. I bet they thought this was funny. <laughs> I bet they thought this was enjoyable. They put they put twelve playtesters in a room, gave them a loaded gun, and put, made them made them reach the end. <laughs> zero zero playtesters walked out. <laughs> I sentenced you to twenty four hours in the baby room. No, please. And you must complete it. No. No oh, fuck it. There goes my hero. Watch him as he jumps. Sex one sixty five dollars baby torch room. This is a Planned Parenthood for people who can see dead people. No one, no one survived that play test. No one. I swear to God, this one's also gonna be a trap, isn't it? <laughs> It's your home. Are you too good for your home, Lolly? It's a trap. No! Oh, God damn it! At least now I know. Chat, where, where's Remedy based? Where's Remedy based? Right, we need to know. Where's the studio based? You know, everyone talks about the yellow paint discourse. What about the red blood discourse? What about this discourse? What about the, you know what, maybe maybe, maybe some parts of gaming should be left behind. Finland? Chat, someone, someone mail a pipe bomb to Remedy. <laughs> make sure you, make sure it's, it has a, a bomb proof uh, note attached to it that says fuck you for the screaming baby. Make sure it has our name, our address, our face on it. Any identifiable piece of information so we can take credit. Fucking bullshit. No, oh, come on. No. All right, you do it. I'm, I'm losing my fucking mind here. There goes my hero. Just jump it. Just jump it. Watch him as he goes. <laughs> Just remind me of what I waits in eight months. Your baby will cry. Your baby will scream. Your baby will make you do platforming segments. <laughs> Your baby will make you beg the Lord for forgiveness. I'm cracking open the vitamin water, or whatever the hell this stuff is. Okay, so I think I figured out what the issue is. Hmm. If you push the analog stick all the way, that's when it fucks up. But if you do like the half ones? Yeah, I'm doing like I'm not even a half. I'm doing like quarter presses on here. Okay. He's walking in. The, he's walking in the perfectly straight line. Okay. So maybe they actually overtuned the sensitivity. Possible. Come on, gamer subs. Don't fail me now. Do a bump. Do a bump. Just like that girl that grabbed my dick. Do a bump of coke. I did might. You, did you jump forward? Yeah, just jump forward because that. Uh, is that no? Is that what you did last time? Yeah, that's what you have to do. Trust in Lolly, Chet. Okay. The second gamer subs poor. Successfully transplanted. I will snort a little bit of it. Just like a baboon's heart. <laughs> <laughs> My nose is bleeding. Which way do we go? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I didn't go forward. Ah. Uh, uh, that was a bad idea. Oh, <laughs> uh, why did I do that? <laughs> Suffer. 
Oh my god. Uh, Taking the path of, le a path of least resistance, chat. Oh, my nose is actually bleeding. Oh my god. It tastes good, though. My nose tastes good. Uh. No! No! Chat! Oh my god. Uh. Homie going through the cycles of guilt right now. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Get Shadow of War in a DLC for eight bucks. I already have it. Yeah. Yeah. Chat, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I saw it, chat. Yeah. So, uh, do not snort gamer subs. Can't confirm. Snorting powders are usually not good. No! Oh, Max, now is not the time! Max, it's Max! Super not, it is super not the time. Eh. <laughs> Here you go, Lolly. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, 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 put down the fucking bottle, Max. It's finally over. It's finally over. It's just some dude at the end of the hallway <laughs> with a shotgun. <laughs> This isn't mixed up enough. <laughs> the baby's still fucking crying. Uh. Dead. It's finally over. It's so much agony. Let's make it out of here. Let's get the fuck out. It's over now, Mr. Frodo. It's over. Dice him, shoot him full of holes, blow him to bits. Vaporize them, disintegrate them, no matter what you do, <laughs> they'll still be back, good as new. The baby's still fucking crying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, please, Max. Why? I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. The one at the end of the hallway was Max. <laughs> What would you do if a woman stole your sperm and impregnated herself with it? I would kill the baby before I had to do fucking platforming! Eh. Game crashes to keep you in hell. I woke up in a bad dream. My head felt two sizes too small for my brain. <laughs> Max Payne. I envy your name. And the killer was smiling. Pleased to meet you. I'm Frankie the I'm Bat Frankie Niagara. The Bat Niagara. Niagara, as in you cry a lot. He had a baseball bat and I was tied to a chair, pissing him off was the smart thing to do. I love that line. Yeah. He had a baseball bat and I was tied to a chair, pissing him off was the smart thing to do. He just like me, chat. We get knocked out and have to do it all over again. <laughs> Watch cartoons. Cartoon violence is a fascinating thing. Let's take a break. I need to take a leak and maybe grab a cold one at the bar. Uh. Don't worry. I'll be back to finish this off. Don't find stupid a company just patched a game that wasn't censored ads and some models like for a game uh, we had bought that's basically vandalizing. Oh yeah, yeah. It's becoming way too normal in the industry. And the door clanks shut behind and locks clicking into place. How's, how's Max not bruised up? He has the chin of a god, chat. Everyone makes mistakes. Uh. If I hadn't been to crack jokes about the goon with the bat, he'd have cracked my skull regardless. It hadn't even been to trust a girl with a gun. <laughs> I had blindly gone after the first bad guy on my hit list when I should have been aiming further up the ladder, at the head of the Punchinello family. Oh my god. I couldn't bring myself to be pissed Deep breath, deep breath. Guess I had a soft spot for a pretty face. 
I had to turn the game console off. But when yeah, Punish Show is the birth of Punish head, Lolly. You the didn't door the turn off my pain inhibitors. Clank! Back to the basement Bonk! The hotel. Doctor, turn them back on! It hurts. I felt like a chair I'd broken to get free. Get that Bruce Campbell invincible chin, damn straight. Can you play crush corn, uh, crush oh, porn of kittens now? That cleans chat's palate. Blood. <laughs> Pick up the baseball bat and do them in, Lolly. Hopefully, hopefully. I pray you don't die. Hopefully, fucking Lee. This is the last of the platform we have to worry about. It's not, but it's the last one we'll, we'll have to worry about tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you! Wee! 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 with Max's wife saying that shit in the dream. I don't think it was ever mentioned what it was about. Uh, he feels guilty. Yeah. Max feels like he killed her. Is he good to protect her? And also, she may or may not have had, uh... All I had uh, ties to back. things. Sticky it's been a Max where I made a Baldur's Gate 3 video. You what? Oh, Max where? Okay. okay. Alright. No, you, you went the right way the first time. Yeah, that's one of the things I should see. No match for like gun? Man. Yeah. I'd have to play hide and seek with him. We'll take <coughs> you have slow mo. Yeah. Bonk! Bonk! Slow mo, Lolly! Alright. Yeah. Oh, wait. Hang on. Retarded punish Lolly and flaccid punish Shota. Mm. Yeah. You'll let me in. Him? I will. Thank God. Thank God we can skip it. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking, oh, forcing you to do melee and third person shooter. Well, the entire point of the segment is you're not actually supposed to be doing this. You're supposed to be sneaking around. But we're not going to do that. Uh... Yeah. Pull out the fucking commando, baby. It's time to heat teach them godless heathens a fucking lesson, Lolly. All right, pick no your pick your friends, action man. music I'd of choice, with them. whether it be that uh, thanks song from John Wick or or any mid two thousands edgy emo rock. Or we're we're going to war. Reload, Lolly. Reload. No. Free burb. Play free burb. Zio, French girl's talking about AI translation. I hope he's saying, I hope he's saying he's gonna replace all of his translators. Yeah. Once again, there's a major shakeup happening. They're gonna try to convince you it's not. They're gonna try to justify their own job, but there is a shakeup happening. Yeah. They they were warned. They were warned for well over a year that if they oh, didn't yeah. clean up their act, people are gonna push for it. Yeah. And the gel apocalypse thing has only made people even more steadfast. Yeah. The consequences of that we haven't even seen yet. Mm -hmm. hey. Playing blow me away right now. <laughs> Another newspaper. I'm playing Evanescence right now, chat. Yeah. I am all the me. Snap me into my mystery. Dear Agony by Breaking Benjamin. Calling card. The Captain Baseball Bat Boy. Meet up, Game Eternal. To a sewer passage filled with bodies. You'd better not mess with Captain Baseball Bat Boy. Even my arch enemy, Bicycle Helmet Girl, swoons at the sight of me. Aha! There were enough corpses to put a mass murder. Is the TV on this level? Yeah. Yes. But see, the actual gunplay is really fucking fun. It's really good. The only problem is the platforming. And everyone agrees, this era of platforming for games that weren't really made to be platformers, never the best part. Mm -hmm. Never the best part. Whoa, look at the bodies and make them weep. Yeah, here's where you get all your shit. Yeah. Yeah! I'm curious about something. Oh, yeah. Uh, I gotta find somebody alive to do it with, though. 
cut my life to pieces. This, this is, is my, my last resort. resort. Suffocation. No breathing. You know what? There's actually a distance. Yeah. yeah. M79, baby. Okay. I think you turn around and uh, take a left once you exit. Yeah. Just I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah. Because it's right up here. Yeah. That platform was genuine, true torture. It was. Now we wait. Stop fucking around with translations. I'll be a temporary. Uh, temporary. Seems people are catching on to what we're doing. We can get replaced by AI. Nope. Yeah. The cup at the the cup that they tried spewing out is well. The AI will also be be uh, forced to be woke and, and translate to it for that. Yeah. Kind of ignoring the fact that like well, in terms of translation, it is literally you give it two different dictionaries and it'll try to turn one into the other. That's basically the point of it. Uh, it would be someone specifically going in and fucking with that AI, like we just saw with Google, mm -hmm. uh, to make it politically motivated. And as we saw with Google, it will completely break down and become schizophrenic. So if they want to attempt it, they risk breaking their own robot, and for the sake of what? Okay. I'm pretty sure this will hurt us, but we don't... It seems to be you need to actually be pretty close for it to do that. So thank God. You say that until you die. Yeah. <laughs> also, shotgun. yeah, super cool shotgun. You know, you know, companies will go in and fuck with it. Yeah, but they'll immediately get called out for it, just like yeah. Google. Oh. And once again, they risk breaking their own robot to a degree where it can't work. Yeah. Just like Google. I like watching companies lose millions of dollars because they're idiots. Billions, even. Billions, trillions, chat. The economy's in shambles. Quadrillions, possibly. Things Septillions. Going from bad to schizophrenic's not schizophrenic. There's two of them, but they're not schizophrenic. <laughs> oh god, another fucking jack pancor jackhammer. Pancor jackhammer. Can manga publishing just make their own AI translate and cut out the middleman? Yeah, That's what a lot of them are cool. doing. Yeah, they're, they're trying to do. The place with chalk That's why Crunchyroll is trying to go in, uh, go in and be like, no, we're coming up with our own. Yeah. The uh. Oh, is it the, um... The cops who had stayed behind were dead. The Magus Bride translation was pretty fine. Ourselves. Yeah, it was pretty exact. Mm -hmm. Right now, literally the only cope they have is, well, the Japanese version is boring. To which it's like, just because it's written in Japanese and translated directly does not make it boring. Yeah. <sighs> just forget about it. <laughs> just forget about it. Hey, just forget There's about it. There's a fake it. gun in this game. Yes. Yeah. I don't remember what it's called though. I think it's the squirt gun. That crazy witch you should have heard of. That camera the kind that you have to fully take apart to reload. To yeah. the oh, that's freaking bad. To the trio? To shreds, you say. Frankie's doing that poor bastard downstairs. She's gonna take a long Baby screaming, baby screaming, nightmare, 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 nightmare. About Mona. The little things that can never be. The little things that can never be. The little things that can never be. Boring. He has the right to be boring. Stories, the stories have the right to be bad. Well, they're trying to say that because the, the characters no longer use the dumbass flowery Shakespearean yeah. bullshit. Because guess what? The characters aren't written with that intent. Well, even well, more basic than that, that is that they're not using like dumbass that. slang and memes. That's literally what it amounts to. It's like, well, why isn't this rom-com using memes? Teenagers talk like that. It's like, no, they fucking don't. Oh, no, I'm talking about, uh... I'm talking about Magus Bride. It's, it's they yeah. dropped all the flowery bullshit. Yeah. It's more to the point. I'm walking in. The fake gun is the Pancor Jackhammer. Oh. No, on chat. I thought you were talking about like an actual collectible. It's like, I think I remember something like that. I looked it up. The Pancor Jackhammer is real, chat. Case closed. Don Punchinello had the power to be that reliable Yeah, bo source. it's boring Which translation. Where's our shitty humor? Yeah, literally. Yep. Put dumbass slang in the gushing over Magical Girl subs. Yeah. yeah. It hadn't been enough. Don Punchinello had put a hit on me. He wanted me dead. It had been important enough. Here's a hard event to the story, and yeah, I can confirm Aragus is a retard, and Xehanort won't succeed because everyone else is an idiot. Yeah. Or Mad Max is an American dub. Australia speaks mostly English. Yeah. 
What do you mean mostly? Uh, Jackhammer ain't fake, but I never really did see any significant production apart from one prototype. Uh, Ian from Forgotten Weapons has a video on it. There's three. Oh. There's actually three prototypes. But yeah, it never actually got mass produced. Uh, when I was in high school during 2020, uh, you would get beat up for using Zoomer slang. Literally, no one talks like that. Yeah. What the hell? Teabag him. L3. Yeah. God bless America, you fucking monkey. Hey, wait a minute. He was crouching on his dick. Woo! <laughs> USA! 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 That's one of the few still good Sandy not included skits that did not age horribly. Yeah. It was the, it was the, what the fuck are you doing? I'm teabagging. No, you're supposed to put your balls on his face, not yeah. sit on his dick. Yeah. Jesus Christ. How the hell did you get loose? Got bored waiting. Thought, what the hell, we could just as well finish this here. Fine by me. Oh no! I can't believe this is the second time we've killed a man in a suit and tie in this very bar. It wasn't even a woman to shoot. We'll find her body. Someone mentions the jackhammer, uh, Zach Hander, I don't, uh, Zach Hazard. I don't know why, but I'm mildly irritated. <laughs> the Life is Strange dialogue is so realistic. Yeah, that bullshit. It's like, listen, Life is Strange was an original story. It had the right to do whatever the fuck it wanted to do. When you're shoving it in shit you didn't make, that's different. I spotted the tail as soon as I left the you're hotel. You're dead, Max a Payne. Big black Mercedes. <laughs> Bet. I'd seen the car before. That time it had heralded impressive explosions. You're for Life of Brian or Holy Bye. Grail? You're dead, Max Payne. Mm. I might have laughed if I remembered how. Holy grill, but Life of Brian has some real good stuff. Life of Brian has some really good bits. What's this supposed to be? Cops and robbers? Have you read up well, on, on uh, how the crew Please, man, is doing relax. nowadays? You know, no, what happened to them? Fucking like terrible. <laughs> like, literally, literally broke, uh, broke down. Uh, one dude ran away with all their money to the point where they're 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 all fucking poor. It's a bum. My God. One of them one of them does like fucking podcast streams now to make money. My God. I'm sure you had good reason for doing it. Want to hear me? Jackhammer only exists in the minds of retarded man children on the internet. Three prototypes, chat. Three. A gas-powered shotgun. The way the world. Judean's People's Front. We're Watching the People's Front of Judea. Judea. But that's not all. There is this guy, Boris Stein, used to pull jobs for me. Monty Python's He's fallen on harder times than white, uh, wise kids now you know. Now the bastard Turncoat has gone over to the other side, Ponchinellos. The ship's Who has more dead members? <laughs> yeah. My business. Nightcore Jackhammer was an official attempt at some real bubba ass shit. Yeah. Won, and I have lost. And you'll have your work cut out for you. You want to get to Who the fuck's this guy? Is Vladimir? I am just the man to get them for you. Change the ship back under my flag. Maybe pop two in the traitor dime's head while you're at it. You'll get enough guns to start the apocalypse. This by the Russian mob was never an option in GTA or games. Always Italian or triads. Get some new material, world. Rockstar. Vladimir <laughs> was one of those old-time bad guys with honor and morals, which made him almost one of the good guys. If that's bad, you should hear what happened to the extra same. George. He got stabbed 60 times, got cancer, and died. And worse, he was a beetle. Was amazed, <laughs> rusty containers, sharp bone cranes looming up from the snowstorm. Remember when Grand Blue Fantasy like versus added simping in the line of translation, even dead, if the characters are comedic, but still simping should be in a fantasy story like Grand Blue. As yeah. it's slang should not be there. Yeah. yeah. The first thing that ages the worst is slang. Yeah, Gra Grand Blue is fucking like horribly butchered. Uh, you have the you have that fucking dude uh, who uh, is like a he's a dude who's a wrestler, and the localization turned him into a fucking tranny, and that is that that's more egregious than the Bridget thing. Because it is quite literally just a, a joke over there to call mus uh, like masculine men women. Yeah. And they just straight up turned turn them into a fucking tranny. Yeah. Yo. And but since Grand Blue wasn't like, it's only popular in niche circles because the only way to play like a play a version of it is to use the web client. Get 
passed over. Airbug is the best slang because it's made up fantasy slang. slang. It's good slang, chat. I will always use Corpo. It's literally Okama, which is like cross dressing F slur. Only neat characters can use slang. Even then, I don't like it. Well, it's a thing where, like, in universe slang is different because that is literally you trying to show off a language you wrote. Yeah. A lot of time, no, that's not it. They're just trying to sound modern and hip. Mm -hmm. It's retarded. The, the big thing is don't don't fucking localize slang if slang wasn't being used. Yeah. Corporal, the only good slang for real, for real. It's the only one that's actually ended up kind of being adopted in reality. Okama is its own, its own fucking thing in Japan. One Piece has an entire Okama island with an army. Sorry, chat. Training now. Yep. Even though they themselves are like, no, we're not trainees, we're just gay. Yeah. That's literally the whole point of, of fucking Okamas. Talking about Ladiva? No, I'm not talking about Ladiva. The I'm not doing that one. wait, no, it might be Ladiva. Yeah, the the wrestler dude. Okay, a little bit short. See, these are just jumping puzzles. I can live yeah. with this. We can dive. Damn. I wish you took. I wish you took like a tiny bit of damage. <laughs> Bonk. Actually, I might not. I might not uh, be able to get up there. It is Ladiva, yeah. I, I was remembering L, like la, la, like Latvia or some shit. That fucking baby's still crying. There goes my hero. Oh god, imagine if it bugged and like the baby would just <laughs> never stop crying. He has this really weird momentum to him. Proper translation. I have a bad feeling about this localized version. Man, this be some sus as hell as shit. Yeah. That's a localization that pisses me off. Like, it used to be you could argue that there was a more nuanced perspective and like, oh, well, you know, maybe maybe in this case, but now it's a thing of like, no, people are getting much, much more extreme. Yeah. Alright, I genuinely don't think I'm supposed to go over there. Because it didn't even look like there was anything you can get up on. Let me in. Yep, there we go. Number 16. Annoying Max Payne baby cry. The last thing you'd want to hear when you're doing your platforming section is an annoying baby screaming in your ear. But that's exactly what you got on this platforming section of Max Payne. I am wood. Zimmer talk is only used by Twitter boomers. Yeah. Yeah. You're so bow bow. Uh, I don't actually remember the rest of it anymore, chat. You're so beat with tax. Burger King foot lettuce. Woo! Let's go! Another one bites the dust. Alright. I didn't know. I didn't know Latvia was butchered in the translation of Grand Blue Fan uh, Fantasy Versus. In Grand Blue, in general, I th it started with the mobile game. Like the the dumbass twins, they're not supposed to act like that. They're goofballs, but they're not. They're not spamming that much fucking sling. I, I think the. I think the new. Uh, I think the new Versus game that they have that they're adding two B into. I think one of their intros uh, has them saying "gat," oh, yet. God. Once again, guys, this is why you try to get your your foot in the door with translation, so you you get to be the guy in the room that's not doing this shit. Yeah. Game looks like the blueprint for the Punisher game. Kinda was, not gonna lie. Sort of. It's like, yeah, the Punisher game basically was just you know volition going, eh, fuck it, we just use Max Payne. It's a good DNA, and it was. And they had their own spin on it. So it was someone going, we can make money off of that. Yeah. Sticking out your gat for Nerizzler. I hope all VTubers die painful deaths, chat. Just playing Japanese is what I always do. 
it decreases the chance of something abrasive reaching my ears. Yeah. Oh, like I said, I, I just flat out stop playing games and dubs now. There, there are very few occasions where I will swap over and be like, eh, I'll, I'll take a listen. You're so bow bow. Hope nobody adds Vinny Sling into a game. <laughs> listen, chat. The the people the people that mod games to just be nothing but str like streamer amalgamations. Those people do the Lord's work. Uh, that Punisher sequel game ended up becoming Saints Row, and now it's so sad because of recent events. Yeah. yeah. Well, the original, the original, uh, uh, the original Punisher game was going to be open world, but they had to scale it back for obvious reasons. Yeah. For the best, honestly. Yeah. It's, it's better to be more focused, uh, kind of shooter. I want to be able to do drive-bys on criminals and be called a hero, Lolly. Fuck you. Yeah, I mean that would've been great for a sequel. good thing about dubbing is the idea of Bruce Campbell playing a protagonist in an RPG. That is true. Bruce Campbell needs more work. I want him to I want I want him to, to spend his last years comfortable. You guys okay? Oh ow. Not okay. Ollie it's a fucking shotgun. You're <laughs> you're 80 feet away. There we go. You guys talk about the retroactive censorship in the now four-year-old Final Fantasy VII remake. Yeah, it's in its it's in its uh, uh, re-release version, Intergrade. So it's like two and a half years old. Yeah, we should do more voice work. Yeah, he probably doesn't like actually go out and apply for a bunch of stuff. But man, I wish he did. Yeah, he, he's kind of accepted. It's like, dude, I'm old as shit. I kind of want. He will do something if called. Yeah, probably. I mean, he, he does, like, this... I don't know. He does something video game related. Where he does, like, yeah. some announcement... Or, not announcement. Some... He hosts some show. Yeah. Because uh, I see him on Twitter posted every once in a while. But it's, it's, like, never when I have time to sit down and watch it. And I don't want to fucking go on Twitter to watch something. Uh, uh, props on Max Payne not doing the cut shotguns, though. Yeah. Oh. Wow. I was losing my mind there for a second. Now, to the R, I took my sister to the gun range for the first time, and as I'm driving on the highway going over 60 miles an hour, we hear a knocking noise on top of the car. I banged on the roof of the car and knocked, uh, but in a, uh, knocked but in a rhythm fashion. Uh, the funny thing is, I'm always walking about, uh, talking about the urban legend about the old uh, knocks on your car when on the highway. Never, I've never heard of a of knocks on your car when you're driving. Yeah, it's a thing. In regards to like spooky stories, it's a thing. I know the I know the being parked and the hitchhiker shit. Yeah, yeah, the hook on the door. I'm gonna weep when Bruce passes away. I'll be sad for sure. Hey, Twitter, trying to be a video hosting site. Well, I was trying to do more than that. Like uh, Elon wants Twitter to be like a, a one-stop shop for literally everything, which is yeah. possible, but it's not exactly something I would like to to cultivate. Yeah, not something I'd like to cultivate. And Elon is not the guy to get that done. We play Evil Dead Regeneration just for him. Game is hot. Uh, I I love I love Fistful of Boomstick. Re Regeneration wasn't very fun to play. Uh, turning Evil Dead into a fucking survival horror game, genius. Especially one that plays well. Yeah. Not like that PS One game. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it either. I like my I like my shit to be separated. Yeah. Hmm. Did that thing go down? It did not. Ow! Might be one of those things where you got to press a button and then run there. I think it's a thing where it's uh we just go back over here. Thank God. The pills? Thank God. Rico Muerte had come to town to do more than just sort of. I dozed off and I no longer hear baby crying. Number one, two, three. <laughs> Briefcase of money, a sniper rifle, and an envelope. Uh, I can't wait for celebrate. That's one game might drop seventy dollars on for maybe. Uh, I'm not dropping seventy bucks on on it. Uh, Didn't sound like but it does seem like it might be fun. Is it I'm, even going to be priced at seventy bucks? I heard it, it wasn't. Oh, it is. Uh, after what's it called? Uh, after Magna Carta, I'm interested in it. Old hag that knocks on your car when, uh, when on the dry, uh, highway is an Asian urban 
Legend. It was in the OG Soul Hacker game from the 90s. Ah. Oh, okay. You know what? That does make sense. Asia has a whole bunch of urban legends with, like, you're driving and something fucks with your yeah. car as you are driving. Which is a scary thought. Most of, most of Japan's urban legends are, like, uh, in order to, to, to defeat this evil spirit, you need to slightly, uh, or be slightly mean to it. Yeah. Or, or just be, like, disgusting or uncouth. Uh, there's a, there's that one where it's like, uh, oh, you're you're shitting in the toilet, but uh, you you uh, don't have any toilet paper, and a, a ghost spirit will offer you uh, a red and a pink. Uh, no, I think it's a blue and a pink yeah, toilet it's, roll. Uh, it's red and blue. Yeah, red and blue uh, toilet roll. And if you accept either of them, you you fucking die. <laughs> you need to walk out of there without wiping your ass in order to beat the demon. <laughs> Gotta be rude. Yeah, you just gotta be rude. Bing, 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 bing. Some of them you have to be rude. Others, there's like not really any kind of logical reason behind it. It's like a uh, slipmouth woman is. Slipmouth woman is. Uh, you gotta you gotta ask her a question and run. Yeah, ask her a question and run, or throw a piece of candy at her, or something yeah. like that. Oh, fuck me up. I have no toilet paper and I'm a <laughs> shit. <laughs> What if I want to give the spirit a kiss on the forehead, huh? What about that? You're going to die with a shitty asshole. What if he hands you a green one? Chat, don't, don't accept uh, non-white toilet paper from any entities. Yeah. The whole idea in, in Japanese horror is don't get involved with it at all. Don't interact with strangers. <laughs> the moral of the story. How's Iggy? Alive. She's doing good. She's For doing now. Good. You, walk, you walk out with one white ass, you become the demon at that point. <laughs> yeah, basically she's, uh... Like, Iggy is a thing where, like, she's not kind of realizing she's back to being the smallest dog in the house. Yeah. So so she's all, like, weirded out by it, where it's like, well, wait, wait, wait a minute, I remember when I used to bully Winston, what the fuck? Now, now Winston bullies her. Now she's like a fucking midget. Slip mouth woman, I'm gonna kill. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Isn't the ring a Japanese story too? Yeah. Yeah. Ringu. It is. Uh, that was a book initially. Yeah. Slip mouth woman, you can defeat by asking her if you're if you're beautiful. Distract her with candy or my favorite. Just say you're busy and do not have time to answer a question. And walk. Yeah. <laughs> Ma'am, I am going to work. I am going to work. Leave me alone. The ring has insane lore. It does. Yeah, that's that's one of the reasons I kind of prefer Juon, even though that also has insane lore. Yeah. Wally. Okay, you actually need the sniper rifle for that. I was gonna say I think it might be invincible to anything other than sniper. Okay. Want to be sure. The lack of slow mo just disturbed me. We haven't really needed it. Bink, bink, bink. Wee. I am Japanese salary man and busy fuck off for women. No time. Juwon cursed house in many cases, chat. Uh, what part of the idea I'm writing involves an uh, immortal with blood manipulation powers tackling all sorts of supernatural uh, for us stuff? And one of the first things I show him, uh, put him up against is the Unreal. I think you should just shoot it, chat. Just kill it. Just kill it. Just put a fucking gun to its head. Be, be like Brock Sampson on one episode yeah. of Venture Bros. Go ahead. Try and take it from me. Tom, you're dead. <laughs> Leave the Ventures alone now. Tom, you're you're dead. Your wife's moved on. She's married another man. She's married me. Oh, <laughs> that's such that's a good so fucking, fucking good. joke. It's so fucking good. We finally got Irishman to sit down and watch more Venture Bros. And and we got to that episode. We were fucking dying laughing. It was great. We get through like one episode a week. It's agony. When seasonals start ending. <laughs> yeah. It's not our fault. All the fucking seasonals we watch are twenty four fucking episodes. For no goddamn reason. I want to write a story with mutants that have similar symbiote-like powers from the ones uh, from the ones from Prototype. Which are pinned to the paper. 
Big, 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 big. I like, I like that man uh, fucking circle strafing that pole like a hero dog. He was putting his, he was putting his kids through college. We both circle strafed the pole and only <laughs> shot the pole. Still love the comment of the slipping off woman getting asked out by the blind guy. It was cute. <laughs> yeah. Ma'am, I have to shit. Get out of my way. Weird hand that came out of the toilet and offered me paper. Rock killed the man with his ass. Two men. So good. I love the ghost pirates. They're so good. Man, I'd... I'd kill for a smoke right about now. <laughs> it helped me loosen up. Come on, man, give him a smoke. What if he's lying? Would that make this any better? <laughs> Would him lying make this situation any better? Wait, what if you just take a whole bath after each shit? Well, you're you're you take a shit, and then the what prompts the demon is that you're out of toilet paper. So I guess the real the real moral of the story is make sure you restock your your toilet paper, otherwise a demon will uh, will kill you. Uh, I know there's like legitimately creepy Japanese folk tales. Uh, yeah. uh, there's the one. Uh, there's the one about the. Uh, it's a, like a teenage girl that has been cut in half. Uh, yeah, that, techie, that around, techie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's around uh, train tracks. Yeah. And I've seen several movies with uh, techie techies in them, and they're all like they're, they're always genuinely creepy when you see them on screen. Yeah. Because just the torso of a woman fucking hauling ass at you is like. Yeah. Yeah. No. Nah, yeah. I don't want to be without my guns right now. How much for a rusty venture? <laughs> yeah. Techie Techie's creepy. Uh, hide and seek alone is always one that kind of weirds me out. Because yeah. it's basically getting a doll to be possessed so it can come and try to stab you. Mm -hmm. That is literally the, the point of hide and seek alone. Yeah. Well, that, that's it's not just Japan. Like, There's a bunch of cultures yeah. that have... That have uh, urban legends like that which leads me to believe it at one at one point in time in human history someone must have died while playing hide and seek by themselves yeah yeah there there had to have been a legitimate fear that a it's, demon would possess a doll and try to kill you it, it's like how most major religions all all trace back to like there being a major flood at one point in, in human history which and they like, found like <laughs> geographical evidence that it happened yeah, where, where it's like okay so like like now we know there's there, there's been a, a great flood at some point in time so Reasonably, at some point in time, someone someone died while playing hide and seek by themselves. Yeah, just makes sense. Chad. It just makes sense. Perfect height for sloppy. Was she really busy during the twenty twenty uh, toilet paper apocalypse? <laughs> yes. I really liked that one series of games going around where it was like the they were like styled after like PS one games, and the idea behind them was that they were like adapting obscure Japanese myth. Well, I say obscure. One of them was literally the Yuki Ono. Uh, but, like, actually made them strictly horror-focused. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of them was the bathroom one, where I, I think it... I think its name is literally Red Blue, where it's like Aka something, and it's the Japanese word for blue. Akashiro? Yeah, Akashiro, or something oh, like that. Oh, uh, Aka Ao. Yeah. Ao, Ao Aka. Yeah, something like that. Because it's literally just called the Red <laughs> Blue Demon. Uh, okay, so that's a trap. He will blow me up there. I was wondering why I was taking damage. It's like, oh, yeah, because fucking explosions. PS1 Fair. Haunted Collection. Yeah, the PS1 Haunted Collections are, are fun. Yeah, yeah. I, I like that, you know. Uh, Yuki Ono one was also freaky with the fact that it actually took the demon seriously. Yeah. You know, because a lot of time when you hear Yuki Ono, you, you think of it as like the monster girl trope, and, and she's not meant to be creepy. But, you know, that actually addressed the idea of like, no, but actually, if you were in the middle of like a snowstorm and you saw a woman there, that would be kind of fucking creepy. Mm -hmm. Akamanto. Uh, there, uh, there's that one big mama yokai with... Uh, the hat that looks like a vampire mine from Ari Village. Uh, she's yeah. all about kidnapping kids and something like that. Yep. Yeah, uh, Hachi, uh, uh, Hachisaku sama. Yeah, which Miss eight feet tall. Which is one of the, uh, that's one of those games. It's uh, you're being chased by yeah by Hachisaku. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, you need to make it back to your your house in time. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I, I remember that one. Yeah, that's another one where where pop culture kind of flanderized because the the actual story is fucked up and creepy, where where it's like yeah this like you know giant stranger will come and try to take you away. And, and no one knows what actually happens to you. Uh, the girl in the gaps fucks with me on a psychological level. It seems uh, it seems like the fear of things being in gaps of your house is unrivaled. Yeah. 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 Uh, po, 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 po. Yeah, that shit. Yeah. Well, uh, Kane Pixels. I think it was Kane Pixels. It might have been someone else. 
uh, they they kind of did a riff on on that, uh, but it was a full on like uh, video based series. Yeah. Uh, but essentially, what it revolved around was uh, this dude just had a little pocket dimension in the corner of his fucking house. Yeah. They just started to leak on through. Yeah. Uh, really, really interesting shit. Um, no. can't go back to Japan if you're in the hot sheet. Yeah. I don't think. Nah, you know what? I'd still go. I'd still go there for the food. Yeah. And it only targeted children, so you know. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I learned about most famous Japanese urban uh, urban legends in Yokai through SMT games. Yeah, SMT games and Fatal Frame. Fatal Frame yeah. talked about a lot of their ghost folklore. Yeah. Well, I, I have a bunch of uh, I have a bunch of books regarding uh, urban legends from all over the world. Uh, what would you do upon encountering a Hachishako Sama? Would be uh, would be the second thing aside from flapping. Jerk off. So the the actual way of getting away from it, I don't remember. I think it's literally just you run. You run and get to your fucking house before it touches you. Yeah. So, by a very, like, in a very roundabout way, it is once more uh, playing tag by yourself. Yeah, it's playing tag by yourself, yeah. So the, as to, that, that's what I think it is. I don't remember the actual, like, way you defeat it or get away from it. Mm -hmm. That was Mr. Manicor's uh, corner folk. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Uh, that's in La Llorona. I always thought that, that was creepy. boring. I always thought that one was boring. I always thought it was freaky. Run the fuck away and don't look at her. Every every time you turn around and look at the demon, it gets faster. Why would you keep looking at it? I don't know. Yeah. Morbid curiosity. Did Orpheus teach you nothing? Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh. Keep shooting. Oh. Ah, fuck. Here, can you give, me, give me the one for max pills. Max pills, hang on. That's literally all I need, just max pills so I can heal. Uh, I was like Lika Chan, a uh, Japanese Barbie that calls uh, uh, that calls its old owner as it gets closer. The way it's written is creepy as hell. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the the one where it's like I'm getting closer, I'm getting closer. That that one's yeah. freaky. Oh yeah, like uh, something something that gives you an, an audio or visual cue that it's getting closer and actively wants you to know about it. Yeah, that's creepy. Yeah, that's always freaky. That's malicious. Yeah. Final Fantasy making my first comic of the year. Thanks. I uh, must oh, stay in your room at night. Also, salt and talismans help. Oh, with Hachisako? Yeah. I imagine that helps with a bunch of them. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, Tokyo Ghost Bar had a lot of the shit in the game. It really yeah. yeah. That's uh, one it, didn't do, it didn't do well enough to get a sequel, sadly. It didn't do well enough, but that's one of the reasons I really like Tokyo Ghost Bar. It was it's literally just fighting Japanese mythology. It was fucking fun. It, it is incredibly fun. It is genuinely sad how much it kind of got fucked over by not being marketed mm -hmm. enough. Uh, not being marketed enough, which is a problem that Tango Gameworks just runs into when they work yeah. with Bethesda. I think it's another case of, of Bethesda trying to buy out a company, so they just yeah. run it into the fucking ground. Yeah. Um, and on top Bethesda, of that, Bethesda has a history of that. And on top of that, people are complaining about the combat not really having that much of a flow. Uh, it, it the combat is fine. Uh, yeah. It could. I mean, you can always improve uh, improve upon stuff, but. And funny enough, they released an update that did try to do that. Mm -hmm, yeah, they straight up gave a like a fucking extended arena mode, which I, I need yeah. to I need to go and play play that. Yeah, update. I gotta play it now that the update's uh, out. Yeah. yeah. I haven't touched it in a while. I uh, last time I touched it was I platinum it a little bit after we streamed it. Uh. Yeah, it, it was fun. Uh, <clears throat> the biggest complaint I saw whenever I was whenever I was looking at the game, the biggest complaint that I saw about it was people going like, "There's too many collectibles in the game," and I was like, "I just like exploring." Yeah, it's like I, I like walking around modern day Tokyo. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it was badly marketed. It was an action shooting game instead of a horror game. Yeah. Well. I would say yes, where it's like, um, from the get-go, the marketing material revolves around you fighting the supernatural. I mean, mm -hmm. you had the, uh, you had the reveal of it where it was directly like, you know, don't fear the unknown, fight it, you know, so it's yeah. like very clearly leaning towards that. Tango Games always leaned into action horror with Evil Within. Yeah. So, so it's like, I understand that where people are like, well, I wanted, I, I wanted more, Ugh. oh, fuck, okay. I wanted more explicitly, uh, you know horror focused game and there are some segments that do seem to try to do that you know yeah. where you're exploring apartments and uh yokai are affecting the apartments mm -hmm. it's like oh, those are pretty cool yeah well like they, they did put in uh genuine effort to, to yeah. try and shine a light on some yokai yeah yeah some yokai were very clearly meant to be bigger than others mm -hmm. and, and like play the, bigger the roles. tall the tall woman they, they yeah put she shows up the first time she shows up is like a mini boss yeah 
Uh, and I don't even think that was Hachisako. I think that was Slipmouth Woman. Uh, it might have been a mix yeah, of both. She, it was a mix of both. It was a mix of both, but she it was, did attack you with scissors. Was, yeah, yeah Slipmouth Woman, but she was really tall. Yeah. Which isn't something characteristic of her. That's something... They just merged two of them into one. Yeah, I think they just did it to make it a freaky mini boss. Yeah. And it worked. I mean, it, yeah. it's fun. It's a fun game. Yeah. Like I said, it has a really cool, you know, systems to it. Uh, oh, yeah. I like the idea of, like, fucking whipping Tengu to climb up buildings. Yeah, that's cool. And then once you fully upgrade that, you kind of just have, have like, access to Tengu at any time. Yeah. This thing's neat. It's going to be a DBA. I yeah. really do. Uh, that Manticore thing with people who can be seen in corners is very similar to Hounds of uh, Tindalos, which was a Lovecraftian story written by one of Lovecraft's friends. Yes. E. Yep, yep. Uh, different. Uh, different in, like, uh, both execution and uh, premise. Uh, there was a school building. It felt it felt like a completely different game. Yes. Yeah. When the, it, like, it's completely and totally overriding it. Yeah. I actually like Evil Within. They're fun games. Also, one has really cool horror stories. Dog shit, though. I did like two story though. I didn't like horror. I didn't like Evil Within one. Two's two's yeah. much much better. Yeah, two two to me feels like such a refinement and like they're trying to come up with something. Yeah. The only bad thing about two is it doesn't have the best design for a female cop ever. Nah, no, nah, it really doesn't. And on top of that, like, it kind of just ended up reusing the same boss over and over and over again. Yeah. Which kind of sucked, but you know. The the design for the boss itself was cool. Yeah. Kill it faster, forehead. Oh, this way. Yeah. yeah. Although, although Ghost Fire didn't sell well, but at least High Five Rush became a success for Shadow Drop. Yeah, yeah. Even though they also tried to kind of fuck that over. Yeah. The shadow Drops are not a good idea. No, they, they are never a good idea. They're never a good idea and almost always are, like, not what they wanted to do. Yeah. Is there core games Atlas one? I don't like Atlas. I don't like the Atlas games very much. Yeah. They they, they are purely the the runaway from monster shit. Oh, I love that. It's always cool. Let's go on, brother. In this, in the back of this dome. No. Have fun walking. I found out something about that Gaijin dude directed Evil Within too. Yeah. He did a good job with it. I, I <laughs> genuinely liked High Fire Rush a lot. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. In one ear, out the other. Oh! Ah, oh. damn it, that one's so cool. <laughs> Game had us going. No, I'm coming back for salty seconds. In the arm. Blew his guts out. Are you okay? Would you like to see a triple a triple A game based around? Uh, I don't oh, know. Fuck. I don't know very many that could constitute an entire game. Um, it wasn't triple A, but technically the Grudge got a a Wii game, <laughs> the Grudge Simulator. The the Wii got a a, 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 a I'm sorry, not the Wii. Yeah, the uh, Grudge got a Wii game based on it. Yeah. Uh, the Ring got a. Uh, Sega Dreamcast game yeah, based around it. it was that like was fucking weird. incredibly fucking weird. Um, the Grudge also got a 3DS game. Yeah, actually three 3DS games, I think. What do you think of Implement? I haven't watched them in a while. I haven't watched them in. I don't know. I was wondering as soon as I had uh, the footage of the Impaled Guard, I would be out of that fucking asylum. Yeah. Yeah, Outlast kind of struggled with a thing where they really could not justify their own gimmick very much at all. Like, Amnesia also was pretty bad about the you can't fight the monster thing. Yeah. Because you are surrounded by, like, pitchforks and axes and things like that, where it's like, dude, I don't care if it's, oh, you're not a fighter. In a survival situation, you don't know what the fuck you are. Yeah. I miss Ahoy's gun videos. Well, now Ahoy makes guns in games. Yeah. Yeah, I like I I always I'm always like annoyed by the you can't fight the monster stuff. Yeah, because like that, that is just lazy. That, it is just lazy. It's like someone someone someone's always going to try. Yeah, they're going to try, and you need a better excuse of well, you're just not a fighter. Like, say what you want about Alien Isolation. Um, I I still think the whole you can't kill the xenomorph thing is kind of bullshit. Mm -hmm. At least they explain it of like yeah, go ahead, try to fight it. Yeah. 
Like, it, it lets you fuck up and, and, and see what happens if you try. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm once again asking for video background music recommendations. Uh, any video game music soundtrack, or any video game soundtrack. Deadly Premonition. Except for, except for, uh, uh, uh Disco Elysium, because every single song yeah, every single is copyrighted. Song is copyrighted, yeah. Uh, if you need something lighthearted, look up the Unfinished Swans uh, soundtrack. It's yeah. very peaceful. Very peaceful. Yeah, very chill. Implement used to be a YouTube pooper, but is now known for talking about how bad YouTube is. Not a big surprise. Yeah. First they came for the YouTube poops, and I said nothing. <laughs> because YouTube poop was a shit genre. <laughs> look at you, all you assholes that, that, that laid the foundation for, for the Skyrim President's Play. Rusted crypto hot cool always listens to hot cool. Ago, or his time would be hey, you should look up yeah, Iki Nigyo, uh, Ningyo. Uh, it's a haunted Japanese doll. Supposedly, almost killed people on live TV in the eighties. Uh, that's yeah. the equivalent. Uh, that's the Japanese equivalent of that fucking uh, Raggedy Ann doll. Yeah, uh, I think is that the one where its hair keeps growing. I maybe. Yeah, because it, it's a. Uh, it's one of the dolls where it's it's a basic little oh shit, it's a basic little shrine doll, but it's supposedly possessed by the spirit of a little girl, and because it is possessed, the hair on it will continue to grow like a normal human, even though like that's impossible. Yeah. Uh, can't you drive the Xenomorph away for a short amount of time? Yeah, you can do it. You can do it with the flamethrower. You you uh, can, but you're still think, not killing it. Yeah, yeah, you can never kill it because it's uh, it, it's dumb. dumb. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. It, it's for the it's for the sake of gameplay, but it, it's dumb. Yeah. Especially later on when they establish when they there are more than one. Yeah, there's more than one. That one is Okiku. Okay. Okiku. Golden Sun uh, soundtrack doesn't miss. It's good. Uh, we're getting a Golden Sun remaster, aren't we? I think so. Or was it just uh, was it just re-release? Uh, re-released. Sorry. I know. I didn't know you didn't care for YouTube poops. There are good ones, but the rest of the genre was lazy as fuck. Yeah, it is mostly just someone uh, dicking around in an editor. Yeah. yeah. Like, the, the best way to describe it is, like, I, I've seen clips of the, like, Super Mario Galaxy thing where it's explicitly, like, a Mario shit post thing. Wow. Holy fuck, my head actually hurts looking at that. Do you read? Yes. What happened to The one where its uh, arms and legs seriously keep getting broken and has uh, seemingly disappeared as well as the person who built it. Uh, is it the doll? I think so. The, the doll that tried to kill people. Uh, Golden Sun released on the Switch subs subscription service. That's what it was, yeah. They have that, and uh, oh yeah, on the JP version of the Switch subscription service, uh, they have Mother 3. Yeah. But not on the English version. <laughs> What kind of books do you, do you read? Uh, thriller, horror. I like horror books when they're done well. Uh, classic you, literature. Tell me, how much did Dime cost you? I bet it was more than his name. Right the first Mother time. 3, never. We don't... Sure chat, the West doesn't deserve Mother 3. Especially not now. But you are right, Especially not now. I, I gave up on Mother 3 talk. the moment uh, uh, LGBT you know, shit became big. Game. Not, not, not even bad. like once you reach the, the tranny arc. Uh, That's before that, whenever it just became big, because I was like, yeah. all right, yeah, it, it wouldn't, the the cross-dressing dudes would not fly here in the West, fine, I give not, up. Not by any means. And it's only gotten worse. Uh, you, you two groups were mostly uh, shit, but a few were good. Well, bang, okay? Animals. For extra salt with Mother Three, they announced plushies for the characters, but only in Japan. Yeah, why would you? Why would you? Uh, why would you have plushies for characters in a in a country that doesn't have Tell the game chat? The yeah. The dime sent you. Uh, I was influenced by YouTube groups, but I'm trying to be uh, less cracked in my editing. It takes too much time and doesn't have as much substance in the video. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, I understood people really liked YouTube poops and they liked uh, dicking around with them. A lot of them were, a lot of the people who started it were legitimately people who were, like, figuring out editing software and just fucking, uh, fucking around seeing what they could do with it. You know, it's like, hey, I'm in film school and I'm, I'm trying to figure out how editing works, so I just want to practice these concepts, you know, like, uh, yeah. Yeah. 
bunch of guns. Tons yeah. of guns. You know, they they want to practice specific content uh, concepts and, and and different you know ways you can you can uh, do special effects and things like that. So I understood that perfectly fine. It was the fact of they weren't really that funny. No. Yeah, that's kind of the biggest sin. It's like I I just don't find this genre particularly funny. It was right. The West would misinterpret that so bad. Yeah. Well, we were talking about it earlier earlier with the 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 Lavia from Grand Blue. Yeah. Which is literally just a dude. Uh, that is that is uh, that's this is called a lady off. because it's it's what a joke in Japan about muscular dudes. And uh, and that was that was turned into tranny Black shit. You think you think people that like, that cross dress wouldn't be immediately turned into tranny, bro? Yeah. YouTube poops were like everything else on YouTube. See a dog shit with a few gems. Yep. Very much. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the sentence mixings of YouTube poops were pretty well made. Yeah, most of them, most of them didn't go that far though. Yeah. Listen, if your if your YouTube poop didn't at least have the the same effort put into it as like Ooh, someone who fun. made a Half Life map back in the day and remixed the voices, I don't want to fucking hear it. Yeah. And now it's it, it's kind of uh, it's kind of evolving. You know, people people like Maxor kind of live up to the. You know, Maxor, Seth, Senza, where they have like very hyperactive editing styles. They're they're kind of the the new generation of I guess YouTube poop people, but they turn into more of a <laughs> review format, I guess. Uh, review format slash they're trying to structure it a bit more. I, I just can't do hyperactive editing. I, I'm just a thing of like I, I I I just don't see the point of it. Yeah. You know, that's just me. I'm much more to the point and blunt. I don't want to attract the fucking Zoomers that have to have four yeah. TikTok videos playing at once. Yeah. They disgust me. Yeah, so it's a thing of like, I, I just don't get it. It's not for me, but I understand people who enjoy it. Seth can be pretty funny. You know, it's like, his stuff can be pretty funny, and he, he doesn't get as psychotic with it. He's not, he's not hyper edited like Maxwell is. No, he... He he is energetic, but it's nowhere near as bad. He's the energetic part of it. His editing isn't isn't nearly as energetic. Yeah, he has his moments. Fire walk with me, free Palestine, free Palestine. And with that, we're we're moving over. There we go. Okay. There you go. That's Max Payne one. Holy fuck! I forgot how <laughs> bad the platforming is. Yep. Isn't you and show to Zoomers? I'll ban you. I'm you fucking banned. Yeah, oh, oh, you want to get banned, huh? That's it? You want to get banned? Yeah. Mods, do your job. I blame Yahtzee and Zero Punctuation. Nah, as stated, nah. it was it was kind of a mixture of things. Because uh, Yahtzee wasn't the only one who did it. You also had guys Ooh. like Movie Bob. You also had uh, AVGN. There, there was kind of always the hyperactive, you know, reviewer thing. Because a lot of the time, reviews weren't meant to go longer than like five minutes. Just lay out what you liked and what you didn't like, and you had to do it as fast as possible, as succinct as possible. Yeah. It's only really recently that, like, multi-hour-long video essays dissecting every yeah. single factor has become popular. Gotta get your watch time up, bitch. Yep. Favorite Mario game? Uh, Sunshine. I love Sunshine. It's fun. Sunshine. Sunshine's pretty over underrated. Uh, I like Galaxy. Galaxy's good. Oh, you would say some horse piss like that. Cynical reviewer plague of early YouTube. Yeah, that was yeah. a lot of it. Will you review the Japanese live-action City Hunter movie when it comes out? I plan on watching it. I still need to watch Angel Dust, too. I'll probably do that back-to-back. -back. You, you need to buy a deck of triple triad cards so we can play. Do you have Ifrit? Because <laughs> <laughs> if so, I'm not playing you. Remember, YouTube videos didn't allow... Uh, I remember YouTube didn't allow videos more than 15 minutes long. That is true. Mm. Best Mario game is Mario Land 2. I guess arguably, you could get started the log video format. Arguably, uh, there's yeah, an argument one. to be made, yeah. I don't play Mario games since I don't want to be crypto and Chibi Neko. Uh oh. Mother, uh, Mother 3 was never coming out in the West uh, at the time because it was a GBA game that came out in 2006, and this is uh, this is a time when the DS had been out for three years. What are your thoughts on the movement of people saying Dark Knight was overrated since it's only popped up since Batman came out? Eh, I think elements of it are overrated, but all in all, I still think it's a pretty damn good movie. It is the best of that trilogy. Yeah. The. Begins is still nice. Begins is one of those I feel like is slept on a lot. Dr. I'm sorry, two bucks be fun to do a Mario Party stream. No, it wouldn't. People will kill each other. You don't understand how dangerous that would be, Chet. Viacom lawsuit fucked up YouTube a lot still makes me sad. Yeah, yeah. fucking cunts. Brick I, I I hope Viacom dies a painful death. Brick by Big by Bob Chipman. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's a thing where there's a lot of aspects of YouTube culture that have formed over the years... 
Uh, Mr. Medicare went on to inspire a whole genre of people who are exactly as psychotic as the people they they cover while pretending to have an air of superiority. Yeah. Of course, that wasn't Jim's fault. It was everyone else around him. It was the fact that talking about shitheads on the internet attracts shitheads. Yeah. Uh, obviously, Red Letter Media has attracted its contemporary slash ripoffs, not just in the long movie review format. I mean, you can literally see people set up the exact same fucking... Uh, tables that they would set up yeah like the most famous one is uh avgn you know cinema massacre he started doing kind of a half in the bag type show where he invited his his buddies on and everyone could kind of smell it's like oh it's just a this, this is just regular media now it's a good format it is a good format if you have decent chemistry people will listen to it it's amazing how great uh jim was in hindsight shame all the health issues yeah yeah oh, he's uh he's improving uh he's now cancer free I used to see free anime. Now I watch free anime on a Russian website. <laughs> Jay, we have become the AIDS. Oh my god! Yeah. Retro reviews, they got rid of it for a reason. Uh, for some reason. Yeah. Uh, you had that. Um, as stated, the whole thing with like... Mahler kind of ended up spawning a subgenre of like... You know, uh, here's the 12-hour long Persona review. You know, shit like mm -hmm. that. Where it is literally just milking watch time for the sake of it. Yeah. I say is I have a 21 hour long video on, but fuck you. To be fair, that's like a book club more than it is a review. It really is. It really is. I'll never understand the the love for Red Letter Media. They just have some good opinions, man. They just they're just fun to listen to. Even if you don't like them, and you think, man, Jay's a fucking retard. At least it's like, eh, at least Jay's just a retard. I agree with Jay far more than I agree with Mike. Yeah. Even the early days of YouTube, long videos were still popular. Mr. Plinkett, Phantom Mass, full review, all the videos combined is one hour long. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fat guys and James videos were from his network. Everyone called them the slobs. Yeah. Berserk Saga was an elaborate eulogy, not 12 hours of Ryuji wankery. Yeah, yeah. When, when you go to like... When, when you go to like, hey, I'm going to make a nine hour long video essay and it's about one character <clears throat> from the game. It's like 90% of this is just going to be general plot synopsis. Mm -hmm. Ripped off Mandalore, Seth, and a loser named All My Lolly. I only watch for Rich Evans. Sexual superstar Rich Sexual Evans. Sexual superstar Rich Evans. If he got laid, you can too. The first hour wasn't even about the game. Yeah, shit like that is actually yeah. just clickbait. Still have puppy? Yes. Yes, puppy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, baby section Max Payne is the most compelling pro-choice argument. <laughs> we are now living in the YouTube podcast era. That is true, yeah. 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 We're living in the podcast era in general. Yeah. Dude, I, I, I was just like trying to find background noise while I was working, and I found a dude covering Andrew Dobson. Uh, let me try to find the guy's name. Dobson? Yeah, Andrew Dobson was the subject. I'm talking about the actual <laughs> video. Uh, and it's a thing where, like, it was a decent enough summary of, of Dobson's shenanigans. Where, where, okay, Club Doom, that was the guy, Club Doom. And it was a thing of, like, all right, this guy seems to know what he's talking about. The way the motherfucker talks was actually driving me insane. <laughs> like, yeah, the drawl to it or something? No, unironic Zoomer speak. Uh, like, would drop gyat and, and bra and shit like that regularly. Uh huh. Full Zoomer lingo. And it was to the point, I literally paused the video and said, why the fuck are you talking like a yeah. nigger? Well, it's, it's, it's a bunch of people. It's a bunch of people that, uh, I mean, it's it's the modern day kiddos that are just reading a kind of a synopsis from a website. Yeah, yeah, they're reading a synopsis from a website, but as I say, it's just like the, I, I can deal with the synopsis of the website, just stop the fucking Zoomer nigger speak. Like, holy shit. It's called being a wigger. It's like, oh my right god, one. it was driving me fucking crazy. I hate to be negative, but this is the reason I'm pretty much done with Western modern games. Yeah, for real, for real, no cap. Yeah, it, it's real, like for real. saying that shit ironically as in like a bit where it's like, oh, that's what the kids say these days. That's one thing. And then then you actually try to mix it into your speech. And and that's where I start getting pissed off and start going like, all right, I'm, I'm not enjoying this. Mm -hmm. So the video the other day, I had to quit halfway through. Yeah, like I said, some people will like it. He seems to have a, a pretty good handle on what he's doing over there. It's just, I can tell I'm getting old. I can tell it's like, all right, this is not this is not for my generation. This is not for me. This is for people who who enjoy this level of speak, probably speak it themselves, or they find humor in him speaking it. All I hear is a fucking nigger. Oh, you got how you got to stick out your get for the Rizzler for real, for real blood. Yeah, seriously, that shit. 
Yeah, friend, unfortunately, talks like that when we're, uh, when we're with more than just each other. Oh, God. Mm-mm-mm. Seeing this guy was going to watch Club Doom's video on Dobson. It is a good video. He does a good job on it. It's decent for what it is. I just hate the way he talks. You can probably just, you can probably just type in uh, Andrew Dobson and, and go to any website and find yeah. exactly what he's going to say. Is that really a bluegrass day or is it just poop because Mix McConnell? No, we're, we're bluegrass. Yeah, yeah, we got the bluegrass. Yeah. Yeah. McConnell only represents the problem. I know about you, but I hope the internet dies one day and is never replaced. Yeah. That's uh, I don't even understand uh, what the hell what the hell my niece and nephew are talking about. Oh, God. Yeah. You got to watch your, your own family uh, slowly slowly devolve. Yeah. And that's what I mean. It's like I'm, I'm not shitting on the guy or saying don't watch him. I'm just saying I can tell, I'm, I can tell the generational divide has hit because I'm like, I don't know what the fuck this guy's saying. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck this guy's saying. Yeah, we're we're at the dividing line of dialect and language. It really is. They need a listen, okay? You know someone means business when they walk up to you with a diamond detector chat. Yeah, seriously. Rich Evans having a mental breakdown on Force Awakens trailer was a foreboding threat about the future React content. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I'm almost twenty four and I feel the same way. Calm down, thy tits, said Dobson to Zelda Williams as she breaks out the news of Robin Williams' death. Yeah. Did I watch out by using words ironically? I said oof ironically, and now it's a common part on my lexicon. That is true. We are, un- we are the unfortunately technically Zoomers generation, yeah. <laughs> you say something once, Chet. You say something once, it becomes a habit. Uh, We need a, we need a universal language for real, for real. <laughs> Chet, every time we try to build the Tower of Babel, God punishes us. Don't start again. The Matchbook Tower will not stay. It will not stay. Have faith, Arthur. You cannot grow turnips with your mind. Have faith, Arthur. You can in Tahiti. <laughs> we all have weird ways of talking sometimes. I like to do some ye old accent as a joke and apparently adopted Polly's. Oh, from the Sopranos. Oh. Blue Bear Dobson hallucinates white knighting <laughs> for the Power Girl cosplayer and thinking her boyfriend was harassing her in public. As to Dobson is an interesting individual. Oh, yeah. So, I'm ready to call it here. Yeah. Yep. Pretty good time, pretty good time. Even even though Max Payne tortured us with, with platforming. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, like, as stated, I've not played Max Payne 1 on console very much at all. I've only ever played it on, on PC. So, I had no idea the platforming was that much of a pain in the ass on console. <laughs> you guys talking about the guy that game in so for Palestine? Very beginning of the stream, yeah. We, we opened on uh, Self-Immolate by King Gizzard, and it was great. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's in the name, Max Payne. You got in trouble for saying death threats to Trump and cause his own brother a job of the government. Yeah. Which I, I sincerely hope that his brother beat his ass. Grandma, this apple pie be straight busting for real, for real, no cap. What the hell happened to this country? <laughs> Eco for a dollar. Bigger, wigger, jigger, ligger, digger, nigger. Also, to watch the Slayers, nigger. Uh, you will watch the funny mage girl and you'll like it. No. All right. These streams have irreversibly changed my vocabulary on a related note. The economy is in shambles. The economy is in shambles. I've noticed that I'm unironically saying the economy is shambles sometimes as a response. <laughs> like I said, I'm playing D&D uh, with, with uh, Art Bro and, and uh, his group of friends. And there was a part where I fucked up a persuasion check. So it's like, all right, try to try to come up with a bullshit story. And I was put on the spot. Hey. So I literally just said the economy is in shambles. Listen, I... I, I take responsibility because I, I have rehashed it from always sunny nonstop. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you everybody showed up. We are tired. See you guys. Bye bye.
Let's have another drink or three. Don't be a bore. Crystal clear. It's all in between your ears. I have to scale these walls of fear. So I'm getting myself a nice cold beer and going back over the last few years. Busting open bottled tears. So get to step in, will you, kid? It's really about time you did. The hesitation is the worst part. I just keep going back to the start. Thinking over and over and over again and again and again. You go below. And then you can plan together here so i'm thinking about a trampoline it's not that high that grass is green i wonder if i could build a ladder over there it's not so scattered maybe i could tunnel underneath how'd that work out last week i found something when assessing options i can offer as a word of caution don't overthink shit that is a trap that is a pit and i'm blowing this old wall up if you see my old self ask him what up you pal have a nice life I'm not looking back I can't think twice fuck you pal have a nice life I'm not looking back I can't think twice yeah this is a call to the old me to the sit there and just scroll me the so so spooky and roll me the boiler plate he controlled me Inside the lights he patrolled me Over and over you pulled me The whole home strangle holds me The beat down's how you troll me